हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड ऑफ कॉस्टिंग हियर वी गो अ लिटिल बिट इंट्रोडक्शन बिफोर यू वॉच द लेक्चर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू आर ऑन सी ए आर्मर चैनल ओके नाउ हियर व्हाट आई हैव डन आई विल जस्ट गिव यू आइडिया I have uploaded free lectures for CA Inter Costing subject. A separate playlist will be made for English lectures and those who are comfortable with Hindi, they can watch Hindi lectures. Okay? Please do check the description and playlist of this channel for that matter. In description, uh, you will get the PDF that is a textbook and solution. Both you will get. Okay? And these videos are recorded in short span of time. How it will be useful to you? Because when I explain any question, it will take let us say around twenty minutes. Then when students are writing, it will take fifteen minutes. So this part has been deleted from the video. So you just have to listen to the video. Already solutions are provided, or you can pause the video and write it down. Okay. So this much is done for you guys, and you can follow me uh, on um, Insta and Telegram channel by searching C A R M A R K A R K A. and you can say thanks to me on this number which is on whatsapp 9967736613 and what i need from you is your support how can you support me just if you want that this video should reach out to maximum people you have to like the video you need to comment below the video if you like the video then only okay you have to like and comment if you like the video and do share with your friends uh, and don't forget to subscribe that is for sure and that's it for the day uh, enjoy the lecture have a happy study time guys my name is uh, ca rahul panchal yeah have a happy study time bye bye guys understand this so we're going to start with this chapter which name is marginal costing let's try to understand few things first of all here you can see the term which is written is marginal costing but before i start with this a uh, few things or a few answers i need from your side understand which are the first of all when you see this word marginal what comes in your mind marginal first of all what is the meaning of costing tell me costing means calculation of cost that we know now calculation of which cost marginal so can anybody explain what is marginal extra if you produce one extra unit what is the cost which you will incur example you are manufacturing a pen in your organization let us say so to manufacture pen you require plastic okay sir so plastic is which cost material cost okay so now you require let us say some grams of plastic that that is 10 rupees ka plastic so for one pen let us say 10 rupees ka plastic is required now suppose you are thinking to manufacture two pens what is the cost that you will incur 20 rupees right so can i say because you started producing extra unit even you are incurring extra cost suppose you produce five pens or you are trying to produce five pens and you will incur 50 rupees ka cost it means as number of units increases your cost will also increase that is variable cost or for every extra unit you are incurring 10 rupees because as you produce one unit extra you are incurring 10 rupees so that will be which cost marginal or it will be variable cost so sir one cost is variable so the remaining part will be which cost fixed cost like rent let us say your rent is 10000 you have a factory and in that factory you spend 10000 as your rent okay so in this case the rent of 10000 it is marginal cost yes or no is it marginal no it is fixed cost Listen. If you produce one extra pen instead of five pens, if you are producing six pens, will you incur more cost? No. Your rent will remain same. It will remain ten thousand only. Are you understanding? Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? So that ten thousand is not marginal cost. It is which cost? Fixed cost. It means I can say whatever cost you incur your in incur in your organization, it can be broadly classified into two parts. One will be variable cost. So what remains will be your fixed cost and this variable cost will be known as which cost your marginal cost this much clear okay this chapter is quite conceptual i will explain for 1 hour or 1.5 hour then you will be able to solve mostly 90% of the questions so i need your attention in the initial 60 to 90 minutes okay so first of all classification is very clear cost is divided into two parts variable cost and fixed cost and what is variable cost which changes with output clear with this much done sir aage so i can just say that as you have rightly said costing means calculation of cost okay sir and marginal cost if you just talk about that is variable cost extra cost for one extra unit if you produce one extra unit you will incur this cost as quantity increases cost will increase as quantity reduces cost will reduce it is in proportion to quantity like if you go to ice cream shop if you buy one ice cream it cost you 10 rupees if you buy two it will be 20 Let us say five friends were there, so you are about to pay fifty rupees. 
वन मोर फ्रेंड केम देन यू यू हैव टू पे सिक्सटी नाउ फॉर सिक्स आइसक्रीम दैट इज फॉर वन एक्स्ट्रा आइसक्रीम यू पेड टेन रुपीज दैट इज युअर मार वेरिएबल कॉस्ट नाउ यू ऑल लेटेस्ट से आर गोइंग बाय बस और लेटेस्ट सेवन दिक्शा इन विच यू कैन सिक्स पीपल कैन फिट सो नाउ वेदर देर आर टू पीपल और सिक्स पीपल स्टिल यू हैव टू पे दैट रिक्शा का कॉस्ट लेटेस्ट से तो दैट इज अ फिक्स कॉस्ट रिक्शा का आने जाने का ओके सो नाउ हैविंग अंडरस्टूड दिस Now, generally, how do we calculate the profit? Calculation of profit is sales minus cost. You get profit. But in this chapter, cost will be divided into two parts. And as a result of this, what we are going to do is sales minus variable cost. Then you will get one answer. Let's say you don't know what is this sales minus variable cost. You will get something. Then minus fixed cost, you will get profit. This is your marginal cost thing. This is your marginal cost thing. Clear with this? okay so this is your marginal costing sir why we are doing like this it will help us in decision making how i will tell you but it will help you in decision making acha first of all sales minus variable cost whatever answer you get that is known as contribution acha have you ever heard about this acha where yes. fm leverage yes, sir even in labor costing we heard about this labor turnover by contribution loss karke अच्छा व्हाट इज लेबर सर यू नो लेबर कॉस्टिंग करके हेल्थ से रोवेन एंड ऑल करके ठीक है तो अच्छा चलो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन एस टू व्हाई दिस इज नोन एज कंट्रीब्यूशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन डू यू नो वडा पाव एंड ऑल करके ना यस तो लेट अस से अपन एक वडा पाव बेचता है वडा पाव का सेलिंग प्राइस इज हाउ मच 10 रुपीस और इडली यू कैन से तो वी सेल वडा पाव वन वडा पाव यू सेल फॉर 10 रुपीस दिस इज योर सेलिंग प्राइस ओके your cost of manufacturing that vada pav that or producing making that vada pav like material labor whatever you say it is 8 rupees so as in when you sell one vada pav you get 2 rupees let me explain how let us say you are businessman let us say vada pav wala and yahan pe there is a customer okay ye customer hai customer gave you kitna rupees 10 rupees in cash and you gave him 8 rupees in kind You gave him vada pav, but on that vada pav you invested eight rupees, so it is like eight rupees in kind. So actually, what is the contribution or what the customer has paid you in net? I can say two rupees. He gave you ten rupees. Okay, you gave something, na? That is vada pav, and on that you incurred eight rupees. So at then what you got is only two. So by selling one vada pav, your bank balance increases by what amount? Ten rupees or two rupees? Two rupees. Because even though you get ten, you have to spend eight also, na? Against that. So that is why one vada pav is contributing two rupees in your business and not ten rupees. Ten is gross revenue, but what is coming in your pocket is only two. so that is why this is known as contribution one vada pav contributes this much rupees in your business which is two that is sales minus variable cost clear with this now you need to buy hat one thing if i ask you income statement you should be able to tell me sir income statement means sales minus variable cost contribution minus fixed cost profit sir humko aata hai we did this in leverages apne ko to iske aage ka bhi aata hai sir you don't know it is known as ebit then all karke Then वो इंटरेस्ट निकालने का ई बी टी टैक्स निकालने का एंड ऑल दिन सर देर आर लीवरेज इज ऑल्सो वी हैव डन एडवांस स्टडीज सर ओके सो नाउ सो यू नो दिस बेसिक राइट अच्छा सो यू नो दिस तो इफ आई आस्क यू एनी टाइम एज टू टेल मी इनकम स्टेटमेंट यू शुड बी एबल टू टेल मी दिस फाइव रोज अदरवाइज यू विल हैव टू राइट इट फाइव टाइम्स ओके सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू नो दिस सेल्स मैन इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मैन इज फिक्स कॉस्ट प्रॉफिट डन दिमाग में फिट है yes. ओके चलो लेट्स प्रोसीड आई है अच्छा टेल मी एज अ स्टूडेंट एज अ स्टूडेंट व्हाट यू डोंट वांट यू डोंट वांट टू फेल और व्हाट यू वांट इज यू वांट टू पास आई कैन से सिंपली रैंक वगैरह ठीक है सर वी वांट इट बट एट बेयर मिनिमम वी वांट एज अ सीए वी वांट टू पास वी कैन से दैट ओके दैट इज अ मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट मिनिमम आई एम सेइंग मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट देयर इज नो लिमिट फॉर मैक्सिमम रिक्वायरमेंट बट मिनिमम आई कैन से इज वी नीड पासिंग मार्क्स करके ओके अच्छा एज अ स्टूडेंट यू वॉन्ट टू पास और यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू फेल आई कैन से तो एज अ बिजनेस मैन यू वॉन्ट टू अर्न प्रॉफिट एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू इनकर एनी लॉस एज अ बिजनेस मैन यू नीड प्रॉफिट राइट ओके सो नाउ अंडरस्टैंड देर इज वन पॉइंट मे बी यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस बी ई पी दैट इज ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस वॉट इज ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट ब्रेक बोले तो गाड़ी में होता है व्हीकल में ब्रेक वैसा Now let's understand what is break even point. Otherwise, you will say there will be then clutch even point. Okay? So, ऐसा नहीं है. Please understand first of all, what is 
break even point let's try to understand okay when you say break even point so <clears throat> maybe we can relate that with something understand let us say that institute ka apun baat karte hai institute says paper 100 marks ka hai but we don't want 100 from your side we know that you cannot retain everything right we want bare minimum in aggregate kitna percent marks 50 percent marks we want acha so if you get below 50 in aggregate you are fail and if you get 50% or more then you have passed that examination clear hai so this point of 50% is breaking students in two parts these are failure wale students these are pass wale students karke so it is breaking in two parts ki ye failure and ye pass karke same way you have a business so there will be one point if you sell this many units there is no profit no loss situation if you sell this many units <coughs> let me <coughs> let me create an example if you want okay let me create let's see whether you can answer this or not very easy example sir selling price 100 i will give you the time to write everything you just listen to me carefully acha let us say selling price is 10 only bada pav ka variable cost is at uh, 2 rupees is my contribution sir acha now i must be running this business somewhere let us say we don't have money we are doing this business road side kahin pe side mein तो आई आपको क्यों पुलिस वाले को सब हफ्ता एनॉल करके भी कैंसर आप ऐसा थोड़ा पैसा देना पड़ता है बीएमसी को लेट्स है सो वी हैव टू पे टू हंड्रेड रुपीज लेट से टू हंड्रेड रुपीज एवरी डे दैट पर्सन विल कम आई हैव टू पे हिम टू हंड्रेड रुपीज सो इट इज विच कॉस्ट फिक्स कॉस्ट और लेटस अज्यूम यू हैव अ शॉप वेर यू हैव टू पे रेंट एज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज वॉट एवर यू अज्यूम टू हंड्रेड इज यूर फिक्स कॉस्ट इट डजेंट मैटर हाउ मेनी वडा पाउस यू सेल यू हैव टू पे दिस टू हंड्रेड एवरी डे Like rent we can say, okay. Now, tell me to pay this fixed cost, you should have two hundred rupees in your bank account. Yes. And in order to get two hundred rupees in your bank account, how many vada pavs you will have to sell? Hundred. Because one vada pav will give you two rupees. Arey, so if I sell hundred vada pav, one vada pav will not give you ten rupees. Please understand. It will give you ten. You have to pay eight in kind as in, by investing in vada pav. So you are getting only. In, You are getting only two in your bank account. That is a contribution it is making. So I need two hundred rupees, sir. So two rupees from one unit into number of units as x. So I only need two hundred in my bank account. Why to pay the fixed cost? So now x will be two hundred divided by two. That is hundred. So if you sell hundred units, it is a no profit, no loss situation. How? If I sell hundred units, hundred into two, I got two hundred in my bank account. Then I paid fixed cost out of that. Nothing in my pocket, nothing in my bank account. So no profit, no loss situation. That is break even point. Suna tha kabi? Yes. Acha, let's see. कितने लोगों के पास दिमाग है? If you have a break even point of hundred, if you manage to sell one hundred and one unit, what will be your profit? Two rupees. Because by selling hundred units, you got two hundred rupees, and you paid your fixed cost. Now when you are selling that one extra unit, is there any need to pay fixed cost? No, sir. That is a fixed cost. It is already paid. Now you don't have to pay for. तुमको समझता है? By increasing in units, it will not increase, right? So that two rupees will be in your pocket. It will become your profit. अच्छा सर ऐसे नहीं समझता तो long cut. One zero one, one zero one into two. What comes in your pocket is two zero two. Then you pay the fixed cost. Two rupees is your profit. अच्छा clear है? अच्छा if you sell less than hundred units, then you are a loss making company. Because you won't be able to achieve that fixed cost का two hundred rupees. Let us say you sold ninety eight units. What comes in your pocket? Ninety eight into two. My maths is very weak, so let me check ninety eight into two. That will be one ninety six. And you have to pay कितना? तो चार रुपए का four rupees का loss will be there. So can I say that it means hundred is the point I can say like this? If I sell Hundred के नीचे, I am a loss making company. If I sell more than hundred, then I am a profit making company. So this point is breaking companies into two parts. These are profit making and these are loss making. That is why it is known as break even point. It is breaking the companies into two parts. This one is profit making. This one is the loss making. And this is break even point कर गए. Clear with this? So break even point is that point where there is no profit, no loss situation. Below break even point, loss making. Above break Even point profit making. That thought process is very much clear. Okay. So now, 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 now. Acha. So as a businessman. Acha. As a student. Are you interested in knowing what is this fifty percent? Wala institute ke hisab se ki what is passing percentages? Yes. Or if institute tells you 
वंस यू अपियर फॉर एग्जामिन वंस यू अपियर फॉर यूर एग्जामिनेशन वी विल टेल यू कितने परसेंट पर यू विल पास यू नो इन एडवांस दैट फिफ्टी परसेंट इज अ प्रासिंग क्राइटेरिया बट सपोज इंस्टीट्यूट सेज टू यू लाइक दिस यू अपियर फॉर यूर एग्जामिनेशन देन वी विल टेल यू लेटर ऑन दैट वॉट इज माई प्राइसिंग क्राइटेरिया इट कैन बी सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑल्सो इट कैन बी सेवेंटी ऑल्सो इज दिस ओके नो यू नो इन एडवांस राइट Why you will have that target to achieve? Because by fifty percent, how will it come? Understand this. So same way as a businessman, you need that target before you start a business. I have to sell this many units, no matter what happens. I will try my level best. So you need that target to achieve. Because by I need to achieve this many units. If I sell more than this, then only I will earn profit, or at least this many I have to sell. So it means BP. You should know well in advance. On very first day, you want to know that BP, so that that target should be there, or whether you should start that business or not. Let us say that you are thinking hundred is your BP, and you are planning the area. We are planning to start Vada Pav ka business. You can manage only eighty Vada Pav ka celebrator, and no growth you are feeling. So you will say, don't start this business. Let's focus somewhere else. So, so much time. Calculation of BP is important. Break-even point is important. Okay, as of now, I have not introduced any formula. We will see that also. Okay. Ah, uh, still. Acha. Some sentence is written. If sales below BP, you will incur a loss. If at BP, there is no profit, no loss situation, and above BP, you will earn what profit. Okay. Now, uh, I recommend, but still, it is up to you. If you want to write this, you can first write this. पहला मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग कॉस्टिंग बोले तो कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट इट इज जस्ट टू गिव यू द आइडिया कि क्या मतलब वो चैप्टर ये लिख सकते हो क्या दिस इनकम स्टेटमेंट इज देर दिस वन यू कैन अवॉइड चलेगा दिस इज जस्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज बी पी वी आर डिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इन डिटेल जस्ट राइट दिस मच should by heart this <clears throat> d 
done? Okay, now understand this. Uh, let me give you a few examples so that things will be more clear to you. Now, this theory is there that I will make you write, but before uh, writing that, uh, you can understand one example. Chalo, uh, I think uh, that is gonna be a little bit complicated. Vada Pawal example will be the best. So, uh, let me just continue with that example only. Now, for next 30-40 uh, minutes, you don't, you just have to answer. Uh, it is like uh, we are understanding the concepts. Your thinking speed I want to increase, so please now pay attention, okay? So that we can solve entire marginal costing without a single formula. We will write formulas, but I want that you can answer everything without single formula. So let's understand. Let's understand the answers without any formula. Selling price minus variable cost. You don't have to write. If you want, I will give you the time. But as of now, just focus. Selling price minus variable cost, contributions are minus fixed cost. I will get the profit. Okay, sir. This is something that I understand. Okay. A basic example, this is 10, this is 8 and this is 2, okay. This is always per unit, this is always per unit, this is always per unit. Let us say fixed cost. Let's say your fixed cost is, uh, uh, so let's say that your fixed cost is 2000 uh, per day, per day. Thoda bada hai, uh, okay. 2000 per day. Can you give me the break even point? Abhi, abhi hua tha ye? This is something which we did, okay. So 2000 units, okay. So, uh, let's say, <clears throat> Achha, let me change the question now. Let's see whether you can answer this or not. I want to, Abhi please understand. Uh, achha, ye I can say if it is 2000, achha, what will be your break even point? Hello, uh, what you said? 1000 units. Achha, first of all, understand this if I write like this. Can I say uh, sales quantity, that is quantity multiplied by contribution per unit. I will get my total contribution and from that total contribution if I subtract my fixed cost I will get my profit okay sir done so now understand what is BEP I can think like this sir BEP is that point there is no profit no loss karke. it means if my fixed cost is 2000 I need 2000 in my bank account to pay that 2000 rupees that is 2000 should be my contribution and how will I get 2000 for contribution? So every unit gives me 2 rupees. So sir, 2000 ke liye, I will have to sell 1000 units, sir. This is without formula. Clear? Achha, now if I make one statement, you should be very clear. If this is your break-even point, at break-even point, your contribution will be equal to your profit. Whatever amount you get in your bank account as a contribution, that will be, sorry, your contribution will be equal to your fixed cost. Whatever amount you get in your bank account as a contribution, you will pay the fixed cost. Nothing will be left. If something is left, it is not BEP then. B it means BEP means no profit, no loss. Whatever money you got, 2000, that will be equal to fixed cost. Then only profit will be zero. Okay. So I can say one thing at <clears throat> uh, break even point, your contribution is equal to your fixed cost. That sentence can be said. Your contribution will be equal to your fixed cost. Chalo, done. Achha, now. So let me just ask you this. Let's see whether you can answer this or not. Now I want <clears throat> now I want to earn some profit. Let's say I want to earn 5,000 ka profit. Let's say 5,000. So 5,000 ka profit. Uh, let's not 5,000. Let's say... Uh, okay, so let me say uh, I want to earn 3,000 ka profit. Can you tell me in order to earn 3,000 ka profit, what should be my target then? How many units? I will have to sell 2500 you will say simply sir I want to earn 3000 right but before earning that I have to make arrangement for my fixed cost so my fixed cost is 2000 it means I need 5000 in my bank account sir 3000 I need profit 2000 I want to pay that landlord it means I want 5000 I just said 5000 kai se aega, every unit fetches 2 rupees as a contribution so into 2 but if you go reverse we are divide now aega. So that will be 5000 upon 2. You will have to sell how many units? 2500. 
दिस इज विच क्वांटिटी यू नो टोटल क्वांटिटी ये टोटल सेल्स है ये टोटल सेल्स अच्छा नो माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इफ यूर ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इज वन थाउजेंड यूनिट इफ यू सेल वन थाउजेंड एंड फाइव यूनिट वॉट विल बी योर प्रॉफिट इफ यू सेल वन थाउजेंड एंड फाइव यूनिट फटाक से टेन रुपीज एकदम फटाक से क्लियर होना चाहिए स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज सर एट वन थाउजेंड यूनिट यू पेड यूर फिक्स कॉस्ट अरे वी कैन सी दिस यू गॉट टू थाउजेंड एंड यू पेड यूर फिक्स कॉस्ट इन टू टू करके यू गॉट टू थाउजेंड नाउ आफ्टर दैट वॉट एवर मनी यू रिसीव दैट विल बिकम यूर प्रॉफिट एज अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विल बिकम यूर प्रॉफिट बिकॉज फिक्स कॉस्ट इज ऑलरेडी पेड अच्छा ना ये समझा अच्छा चलो मैं ऐसे बोलता है यू सोल्ड 1000 के ऊपर 1500 यूनिट्स इट मीन यू सोल्ड 1000 यूनिट्स देन देर वॉज ऑन ऑर्डर ऑफ 1500 हंड्रेड यूनिट वॉट इज द प्रॉफिट दैट यू विल ऑन सी यू सोल्ड वन थाउजेंड एंड आफ्टर सेलिंग वन थाउजेंड देर वॉज ऑन कस्टमर हु प्लेस ऑर्डर फॉर फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड यूनिट वॉट विल यूर प्रॉफिट थ्री थाउजेंड विच कैन बी सीन ऑल्सो टोटल यूनिट टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड अच्छा आई कैन मेक माई स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस कि देर आई सोल्ड वन थाउजेंड यूनिट देन देर वॉज वन कस्टमर हु प्लेस ऑर्डर फॉर फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सो फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इन टू टू आई गॉट थ्री थाउजेंड सर नो नीड टू पे फिक्स कॉस्ट माई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन विल बिकम माई प्रॉफिट बिकॉज फिक्स कॉस्ट इज ऑलरेडी पेड वेन आई सोल्ड वन थाउजेंड यूनिट क्लियर विद दिस अच्छा आई कैन मेक स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस ऑल्सो इट मीन्स अच्छा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल this sales which is over and above break even point i am safe over there so that is known as margin of safety we will write the full form but this is known as what margin of safety let me explain okay let us say passing criteria is 50% you got 80% you are safe by 30% 30% kam bhi aata there was no problem at all 50% is a writing passing criteria it is a break even point if you go below this you will fail that is your loss making but you got 80% so 30% is the safety ka margin by which you are safe so in order to achieve no profit no loss situation you should have sold 1000 but you manage to sell let us say 2500 so you are safe by what margin 1500 ka margin that is margin of safety and at margin of safety no need to pay fixed cost because it is already paid at break even point Please listen to this very carefully. What uh, for next twenty thirty minutes? Because then you will be able to solve the questions. There is no need to pay fixed cost at margin of safety because it is already paid. There is no need to pay fixed cost at margin of safety because it is already paid at break even point. ये कलर नहीं दिख रहा क्या? नहीं. I think this time there is some change in projector. मे बी ओके ठीक है चलो तो येलो कलर लाइट कलर सब गायब ही हो गए ठीक है ठीक है नेवर द लेस चल यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इट इज लाइक योर मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी वे यहाँ पे यू डोंट हैव टू पे चलो आई थिंक आई हैव टू राइट यर ओके चलो अंडरस्टैंड दिस मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी पे यू डोंट हैव टू पे द फिक्स कॉस्ट द रीजन इट इज ऑलरेडी पेटेड बी पी करके ओके चलो थोड़ा थोड़ा क्लियर होता है एकदम पूरा नहीं बट थोड़ा थोड़ा ओके नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस अच्छा देर इज वन मोर टर्म मे बी यू मस्ट हर्ड अबाउट दैट इज पीवी रेशियो प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम रेशियो एक्चुअली वेन यू से प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम रेशियो तो वॉल्यूम का मतलब क्या होता वॉल्यूम का मीन्स मतलब होता है क्वांटिटी या तो आई कैन से प्रॉफिट का वॉल्यूम क्या रहेगा लेट मी गिव यू एन आइडिया अच्छा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्चुअली यहां पर प्रॉफिट का वॉल्यूम इट मीन्स प्रॉफिट हैज सम कनेक्शन विद द वॉल्यूम बट नाउ यहां पे अंडरस्टैंड दिस अच्छा यू नो द फॉर्मूला व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ पीवी रेशियो कंट्रीब्यूशन अपॉन सेल्स इनटू 100 या तो आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली से इफ यू ट्राई टू गेट एनी लाइक फॉर्मूला वगैरह इफ यू ट्राई टू क्रिएट यू वोंट बी एबल टू लाइक आई विल टेल यू समथिंग सेलिंग प्राइस इज 10 वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज 8 एंड कंट्रीब्यूशन इज 2 minus fixed cost and uh, then you get profit okay fixed cost is 2000 let me tell you that you sold let us say that let us say that how many units of uh, uh, units let's say that uh, 10000 units and here you sold let us say uh, to let, let me sell 100 and uh, 150 units theek hai acha at 100 units you will generate 1000 ka sales then here you will generate uh, 1500 ka sales Uh, your contribution. I will directly go for a contribution. Let me calculate 8 into 
दैट विल बी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड हेयर इट विल भी थ्री हंड्रेड हेयर इट विल भी टू हंड्रेड और ए फिक्स कॉस्ट ना तो फिक्स कॉस्ट लेट मी राइट एज हंड्रेड दैन हंड्रेड हंड्रेड सो दिस इज गना बी हंड्रेड दिस इज गना बी टू हंड्रेड क्लियर है इफ आई कैलकुलेट प्रॉफिट वॉल्यूम रेशियो विल से सर प्रॉफिट का रेशियो मतलब दिस इट शुड बी दिस हंड्रेड अपॉन तो इफ यू कैलकुलेट हंड्रेड अपॉन वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड दैट इज गना बी टेन परसेंट प्रॉफिट यू आर अर्निंग इन हियर यू आर अर्निंग कितना प्रॉफिट टू हंड्रेड अपॉन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज गना बी थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री इज इट कॉन्स्टेंट नो अरे प्रॉफिट इट इज प्रॉफिट परसेंटेजेस कि माई प्रॉफिट इज सेल्स का कितना परसेंटेज इज राइट बट इट विल नॉट हेल्प यू फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग बिकॉज इट इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट सो नो वॉट वी डू वी जनरेट सम रेशियो बेस्ड ऑन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अंडरस्टैंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग सो द इम्पॉर्टेंस विल बी गिवन टू विच टर्म मार्जिनल कॉस्ट सो वी से दिस विल बी माई प्रॉफिट फिक्स कॉस्ट तो एनी विच वेज आई एम गोइंग टू इनकर नो मैटर वॉट हैपन इफ आई स्टार्ट माई बिजनेस आई विल इनकर दैट so that is why actually it should be contribution margin ratio it is also known as contribution margin ratio but popularly it is known as profit volume ratio that is what is my volume of profit it means when i sell one vada pav what is my profit 20% jitne ka bhi sale hota hai 20% comes in my pocket out of 10 rupees 2 rupees comes in my pocket so 20% will be my profit volume ratio acha if i sell you 1 lakh ka sales hota hai what will be your contribution you can directly tell me 20000 समझता है कैसे वो दिमाग नहीं लगाने का बिकॉज रेशियो इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट वट एवर यू सेल ट्वेंटी परसेंट विल बी इन यूर पॉकेट बिकॉज आउट ऑफ टेन यू गेट टू रुपीज सो आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी आउट ऑफ वन लैख यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इफ आई से टेन लैख इज यूर सेल्स टू लैख दैट पिक्चर इज क्लियर ओके नाउ इफ आई टेल यू लाइक दिस लेट सी वेदर यू कैन आंसर दिस और नॉट आई नीड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन आई नीड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन माई बैंक अकाउंट वॉट शुड बी माई सेल्स वन लैख रिवर्स क्लियर है आई कैन से डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट लाइक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डिड बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट यू विल गेट वन लैख करके वैसा अच्छा इफ आई एस्क यू लाइक दिस आई नीड टू लैख रुपीज इन माई बैंक अकाउंट एज अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉट शुड बी माई सेल्स टेन लैख बट इफ आई गिव यू सम ऑर्ड फिगर आई होप यू विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट नाउ इफ आई नीड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इन माई बैंक अकाउंट वॉट शुड बी माई सेल्स टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड Divided by 20% or or you can cross multiply also out of 10 you get two, so, or you get divide by 20% that 20% का value will reach to 100 clear with this okay so now now let me ask you questions now few other questions understand this understanding this selling price is 10 no? variable cost is 8 contribution is 2 sir sir my fixed cost is uh, 20 or uh, 2000 chalo and sir I want to earn थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट सर कितने रुपये का सेल करना पड़ेगा लिसन टू माई क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली आई वॉन्ट थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट वॉट शुड बी माई सेल्स वैल्यू नॉट सेल्स क्वांटिटी कितने रुपये का वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सेल्स आई विल हैव टू डू कितना ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड आई डोंट नो मे बी लेट मी चेक हाँ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड कैसे सर इफ आई नीड थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट विथ मी फर्स्ट आई हैव टू मेक अरेंजमेंट फॉर माई फिक्स कॉस्ट सो दट इज टू थाउजेंड इट मीन्स आई कैन से आई शुड हैव फाइव थाउजेंड इन माई बैंक अकाउंट सर आई विल पे द फिक्स कॉस्ट वॉट रिमीन्स दैट इज माई प्रॉफिट ओके सर आई नो वन रेशियो आउट ऑफ टेन आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस ऑल्सो सेल्स इन टू पी वी रेशियो आई गेट माई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सर सो माई पी वी रेशियो इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट यू कैन चेक दिस आउट ऑफ टेन यू गेट टू आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस so i can say if you go reverse it should be 5000 divided by 20% so 5000 uh, divided by 20% that will be 2000 uh, sorry 25000 acha if i ask you number acha ye answer aap aise bhi nikal sakte the there was one more approach you already got the answer as 2500 units if you want the 3000 ka ye profit you just multiply with the selling price then that units will be converted into amount Uh, 2500 units were there into 10. It means sometimes if you forget the formula of rupees na, first calculate answer in units, then multiply by selling price. You will get the answer. Multiply that with selling price. Clear it na? Acha, chalo. I need break even point uh, in uh, rupees. What should be the rupee sales I have to achieve in order to break even? 
what is the amount of sales I have to achieve in order to break even in this question? 10,000. Sir, no profit, no loss situation. Sir, break even point. So, sir, 2,000 ka fixed cost we cover kar ne ke liye. 2,000 I need because no profit, no loss. So, sir, 20% wala ratio I know if I need to. 10 may say 2 rupees comes in my bank account. So, I need 2,000 in my bank account. So, my sales should be 10,000. So, uska 20% aayega na. Clear hai pakka? Because I, I want each and every question you will solve. So if there is any doubt, I will repeat. You have to ask me to repeat this part. Karke. Right? Clear? Hai? Matlab, almost I can say 90% is going in your brain. Not 100%. So 90%. Okay. Now, whatever I taught you, that was without formula. But, institute writes formula. So I recommend we will also write the formula. Uh, I will recommend that, but if you are saying nicer, so entire marginal costing can be solved with this five lines only in the five lines. This without single formula, entire marginal costing can be solved, and it comes in examination. This is a category ka chapter. There is no examination in which this chapter was not asked. It is very important. Sometimes 10 marks, sometimes 15 marks we can say. So it is an important chapter. This chapter is also there in CA final for around 30 to 40 marks. So you can see, matlab, here whatever you are learning, it is very basic. What you will learn over there is like quite advanced. It is just a starting big answer, vaisa. but I hope you are getting whatever is being explained. Karke, vaisa. Okay. Now, now let me develop the formulas. Let me develop the formulas. Okay. I will develop one key formula for you. Understand first of all that. What is the formula? Sir, I will say BEP, boleto break even point. Then MOS, then I will say total sales. Achha, now let's buy hard the formula, then we will try to uh, derive the formula. And this sign is of divided by, this is divided by, divided by. Now, either you will answer, you will get answer in units or they will ask you answer in rupees, amount, value. So, question will ask you to calculate. See, this combination can be done, this combination can be there. Either they will ask you BEP in uh, huh. so either they will ask you BEP in units or they will ask you BEP in value. I hope you understand. Or they will ask you what? They say I ask you okay, break BEP in units. How many units you have to sell to achieve break even point? Or what rupees ka sales should be there to achieve the break even point? Or MOS or total sales? Achha. If they ask you, we can just buy hat, then I will give, logic is already given, then I will correlate the things. Sir, if BP comes, so BP, what should come in your mind when I say BP? When I say BP, fixed cost should come in your mind. What should come in your mind as fixed cost? Because your first objective is to recover what? Fixed cost. Achha, if you start any business, what is the major risk that every businessman is having? Is it about variable cost or fixed cost? Yes. Fixed cost or variable to if customer comes. Let us say we want to open a class. Let us say you became faculty uh, after becoming CA. Then now you want to open a class. So you are thinking that you have textbook give a textbook. tension hai, what will be the cost or the cost is rent? Rent. Let us say you have taken one premises on rent. And after that nobody has taken any admission. Still you have to pay the rent for 11 months. That agreement will be there. Then you have to attach one mirror, then you will teach yourself, no student is there. But still, rent will, will be paid, right? Can I say so, there is tension with reference to rent, not with reference to textbook ka cost. Textbook ka to care, students have taken admission, theek hai, chalo. Let's call the Xerox wala, take this much copies karke. So once the admissions are taken, you can take the prints karke. There is no problem with that. So tension ki sky rent ka hai. So as a business, when you have a tension with reference to which cost, fixed cost. First you try to recover that. Achha, once that is recovered, you will earn what? Profit. Aisa you can remember. Pahile break even point achieve karne ka. That is fixed cost ko recover karne ka. Once fixed cost is recovered, you will get what? Profit karke. And total sales bola to dono add karne ka. Main samjhata hai. I will tell you how, why. Fixed cost plus profit. Achha, if they are asking answer in units, you have to divide by what? Contribution per unit. You have to divide by contribution per unit. This is a master formula and if they ask you answer in a value, you have to divide by profit volume ratio. 
चलो फर्स्ट लेट्स बाई हार्ट द फॉर्मूला देन यू वेल अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक देर आर फाइव थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज बी पी देन देर इज एमओ एस देन देर इज अ टोटल सेल्स इफ इट इज अ बीई पी यू विल से सर फिक्स कॉस्ट देन एम ओ एस बोले तो देखो ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट तो ब्रेक इवन मतलब फिक्स कॉस्ट सेफ्टी मतलब प्रॉफिट तो मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी मीन्स प्रॉफिट टोटल मतलब दोनों का एडिशन दैट इज फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट टोटल सेल्स राइट डिवाइडेड बाय इफ दे आंसर दे आस्क यू आंसर इन यूनिट्स वी हैव टू डिवाइड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट इफ दे आस्क यू इन रुपीस वी हैव टू डिवाइडेड बाय पीवी रेशियो करके एंटायर कॉस्टिंग कैन बी सॉल्व विदाउट दिस फार्मूलास बट स्टिल वी आर लर्निंग बिकॉज़ आई वांट यू टू राइट दोस इन एग्जामिनेशंस ओके ओके देन आई विल टेल यू द हाउ द पेपर शुड बी रिटन करके वी विल डिस्कस दैट आल्सो बट अभी के लिए दिस मच पार्ट इज क्लियर यस सर अच्छा इफ आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन What is the formula of BEP in units? So your answer should be, sir, BEP in units. Now, so BEP in units. So formula will be fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So I will give you some time, 30, 40 second. Please, by heart this, then I will ask you the formula. You should be able to answer. Sir, BEP, MOS, total six. Look at this. चलो आई थिंक वी कैन प्रोसीड राइट चलो सो ना इफ आई आस्क यू द फॉर्मूला ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट ओके एम ओ एस इन रुपीज प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाई पी वी रेशो बिकॉज रुपीज इन एम ओ एस दैट्स वाई इट इज प्रॉफिट करके डन ओके टोटल सेल्स इन यूनिट्स फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट अच्छा हाँ बी पी इन रुपीज बोलो पी वी रेशो बराबर तो आई कैन से दैट थोड़ा थोड़ा याद हो गया मतलब देन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड लॉजिक नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक नाउ यू नो द फॉर्मूलाज ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक विच इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन एक्चुअली बट सिल आई विल एक्सप्लेन वन सेकेंड नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस सर selling price is 10 variable cost is uh, uh, 8 you will get contribution of this and let us say your fixed cost is 2000 now if i ask you to calculate bep first logically we will do then we will do with the formulas okay if i say kabhi bhi rupees mein answer units mein answer nikalna hai units mein aur rupees mein first the format will be like this if statement you make quantity into contribution per unit You will get total contribution plus profit is equal to sales. अरे sir plus sorry total uh, contribution है ना ये तो minus fixed cost. You will get what profit या loss. I need B E P right? If you need B E P, tell me can I say this is profit is nil? Yes. So if my fixed cost is two thousand, I want to achieve two thousand, and one it is giving me two rupees right? So answer is कितना one thousand? What you are doing at the end, I can tell you, is two thousand divided by two, and you are getting one thousand. And this two thousand contribution is nothing but fixed cost only, because at BP both are same. So formula wise, it is actually fixed cost divided by when you go reverse, so both are same. Then you divide by contribution per unit. So first formula of this is clear. Fixed cost divided by contribution. So logically, I need sir two thousand in my account. Every unit is giving me two rupees. So how many units I have to sell? ओके कंडन तो नाउ आई हैव एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला दैट इज बीपी इन यूनिट्स लेट अस गो टू बीपी इन रुपीस नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड कैन आई से इट इज सेल्स को अगर मैं इफ आई इन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीवी रेशियो आई विल गेट माय कंट्रीब्यूशन एंड माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट आई विल गेट माय प्रॉफिट इट इज नील 
सो इफ आई नीड टू थाउजेंड का फिक्स कॉस्ट रिकवर करना इन माई बैंक अकाउंट सो नाउ आई नो दैट इफ आई सेल समथिंग दिस मच कम्स इन माई बैंक अकाउंट आउट ऑफ टेन टू कम्स इन माई बैंक अकाउंट दैट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज माई पीवी रेशियो सो इफ आई नीड टू थाउजेंड इन माई बैंक अकाउंट वॉट शुड बी माई सेल्स टेन थाउजेंड अगेन वॉट यू डिड दिस बोथ विल ऑलवेज रिमेन सेम सो दैट इज फिक्स कॉस्ट वॉट यू डिड इज इन सेड ऑफ डिवाइडिंग बाई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट यू डिवाइडेड बाई पी वी रेशियो टू गेट आंसर इन रुपीज So now, can I say BEP in units and root value? Both are clear, or you can buy at the formulas if nothing is clear. Whatever I have explained it till now, if you got nothing, just remember these formulas. Sir, BEP बोले तो fixed cost divided by units value से तो contribution per unit rupees में तो divided by PV रहता है. That's it. But I tried myself कि I can explain the logic वगैरह करके so that you can answer without formulas also. You have answered these without formulas in the previous page. If you see, you have answered everything. See, you can see over here same one thousand and all करके. अच्छा चलो नाउ लेट मी चेंज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द थिंग्स लेट मी चेंज द रिक्वायरमेंट इफ आई टेल यू इफ आई टेल यू दैट सर 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 यू लेट अस से दैट यू वांट थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू विल हैव टू सेल थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट सर तो टू थाउजेंड का अरेंजमेंट फर्स्ट आई हैव टू मेक इट मीन आई हैव टू अरेज फाइव थाउजेंड सो इन टू टू बता तो डिवाइड टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड राइट ये टोटल है ये कौन सा सेल से इट इज टोटल आई हैव टू सेल 2500 देन ओनली आई कैन अचीव 3000 का प्रॉफिट बिकॉज 2500 इनटू 2 आई विल गेट 5000 आउट ऑफ 5000 आई विल पे 2000 का फिक्स कॉस्ट एंड व्हाट रिमेंस इज 3000 विद मी फार्मूला यू वेंट रिवर्स राइट सो यू एडेड दीस टू दिस इज प्रॉफिट दिस इज फिक्स कॉस्ट राइट सो द फार्मूला विल बी फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट टू गेट दैट आंसर so it is this total sales ka formula fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit clear thoda thoda ah, okay rupees mein rupees mein hota to what you would have said same you would have added numerator will to remain same na ki i need dekho i can think like this also ki i need 3000 rupees sir as a profit but i have to make arrangement for a fixed cost then only after paying fixed cost what what is left is mine so so I I have to arrangement 2000 calls. So, I need 5000 in my bank account and sir 100 में से 20 परसेंट कम्स इन माई बैंक अकाउंट सो इफ आई नीड दिस मच इज माई बैंक अकाउंट डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट विच इज पी बी रेशियो अरे इधर ये रुपीज बराबर है सो कैन आई सेवन दिस मच दिस वन इज क्लियर अच्छा एट मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी डू यू पे फिक्स कॉस्ट एट मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी नो because margin of safety is sales over and above break even point break even point is achieved 1000 units sold after that you are selling 5 units let us say so no need to pay fixed cost so when you go reverse what will happen profit no fixed cost nil so that profit will become your contribution now so that is why that profit will become your contribution then if you go reverse answer in quantity to divide by contribution answer in rupees to divide by pv ratio ऐसा क्लियर होता अभी मे बी यू विल मेक मिस्टेक लेट सी वेदर यू आर मेकिंग दैट मिस्टेक और नॉट लेट सी दिस यू वॉन्ट थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट वॉट शुड बी योर मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी इन रुपीज चलो यू वॉन्ट थ्री थाउजेंड का प्रॉफिट वॉट शुड बी वॉट विल बी योर मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी हा फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी परसेंट हा No need to pay fixed cost. Arey, if you do this, this is total sales then. Total kitna sale? Apun ko margin of safety nik. So three thousand divided by. Or I can see the formula profit divided by PV ratio. PV ratio is twenty percent. Only need three thousand ka profit, right? Clear hai cheese hai. Now I will ask you few questions and we will see whether you have got this point or not. Then we will write down. Uh, then you will write down few things. Okay. Now let me create few examples. Just aise hi so that uh, I will. Come to know whether you have got that or not. Acha, ek chiz aur. If I say, can I say like this? BEP plus MOS is equal to total sales. Yes, we can easily see that. BEP plus MOS is equal to total sales. Okay. If I say, if I tell you, total sales is hundred. This is twenty five. So what will be your BEP? Seventy five. So question. Suppose it is given. MOS is forty percent of sales. Can you tell me what will be BEP? 60% of sales because total sales is divided into two parts BEP and MOS acha one more thing if i tell you 
variable cost is 80 percent what will be pv ratio 20 percent are because sales value is variable cost contribution so if this is 80 so this is going to be 20 na 80 percent out of 100 sales no sir 80 percent is my variable cost it, is, it means whatever is my sales 80 percent i will pay i will give in kind so what comes is 20 percent so they will twist sometimes so you should know this ki ha bhai if variable cost is given remaining wala part is this if mos ka percentage is given to remaining is bp ka percentage is. how do you get a pv ratio it is contribution upon sales into 100 there is one more formula for pv ratio but i will explain that later on little maybe after one hour but the one formula is contribution upon sales into 100 is this much clear okay now I will create few questions. You just answer. Uh, selling price, let's say, uh, 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 1000. Uh, my variable cost is 600. So my contribution you will calculate. And my fixed cost is 1 lakh rupees. Sir, Bada factory. I have to pay 1 lakh of fixed cost. I need a BEP in units. Quantity. BEP in quantity. Bataiye. Kitna? 2? 250. Sir, one unit will give me 400 rupees. And sir, 1 lakh rupees I need to arrange. So divide by. So if I, once I arrange 250 ka sale, my job is done. Why? Because 250 into 400, 1 lakh rupees will come in my account. Right? Acha, if I ask you BEP in rupees, shortcut is 250 into 1000. Uh, pata nahi samjha kya. That answer was in units, right? Convert to 250 into 1000. You will get 2 lakh 50,000. Acha, other way round. Your PV ratio is kitna? 40%. You need to make arrangement for 1 lakh. So, if 40% indicates whatever is your sales, 40% will come in your account. Whatever is your sales, 40% will come in your account. You want 1 lakh in your account to pay the fixed cost. So, what is your sale? So 1 lakh divided by 40 percent, 250, 2 lakh 50,000. Thoda thoda clear hota hai sir? Yes. Now, now I see, I just give you examples. Here the examples are given. Now, I will make you read. Maybe you can write it down. Ya to likhne ka, abhi likhne ka hai. Likhte jate hai, right? Sun sun ke waise hi dimag kharab ho gaya raga. So now, let's start writing. Acha, suno. Let's start writing. Write down this. Marginal costing. Of decision making technique, it will help you to take decision. Ki what is the BEP ka target? So I will take the decision. This is my BEP. Let's achieve that and all. Help you to decide few things. Income statement is also there, which is sales minus variable cost. Write down this much. Uh, I hope you are uh, getting this part also. This is per unit. So this is known as contribution per unit. And because fixed cost is always spread in totality, so it is in total column only. And when you say this in percentage, this is PV ratio. Ki out of 10, you get 2 rupees. It is contribution per unit. And if it is 20%, that is your PV ratio. So uh, this is something which you must have written. Now uh, let's switch to the next part. Let me first explain then you write it down. Okay. I hope uh, second part is done. Income statement wala. Achha. Done. So now understand. Uh, 
let me just explain these three things first okay what is a break even point if you talk about break even point sir no profit no loss situation understood sir at bp contribution will be equal to fixed cost because if these two are same then only profit will be nil okay sir margin of safety sales over and above break even point once you achieve break even point then whatever sales you are making that is margin of safety once you get 50 percent then whatever extra you are getting is margin of safety at margin of safety at margin of safety contribution will be equal to profit why because at margin of safety fixed cost is nil it is already paid at break even point if you want to add ye nil kyo rahega because since uh, it is already paid at break even point acha what is total ka sales ka formula if i say total sales total sales is addition of above to that is third and fourth if you add these two then you gonna get total sales aapka that is bp plus mos and at total sales contribution will be equal to what fixed cost plus profit so now you can write still if anybody is writing so this is the part i think that is done but yeah so now please write these three Okay. Uh, if that is written, then Okay, so now uh, that is being written. Now what you need to write is see, uh, understand this over here, sir. Can I say profit volume ratio? First of all, shortcut me. I will say PV ratio, which is also known as what contribution margin. What is the margin of contribution and sales ka connection karke raisa? So ratio. The formula is this. This formula you know. That is contribution upon sales into hundred. Abhi abhi I have explained that. Okay. there is one more formula i will explain what is this formula all about you just need to copy as it is as of now i will explain later on acha other than this okay now few questions from my side if there is change in quantity will there be any impact on pv ratio will it change it will not change let me tell you why understand very easy understand you have a selling price of 10 you have a variable cost of 8 sir your contribution is 2 uh, this is your one unit ka data let us say you sold 10 units what will happen this will become 100 this will become 80 this will become 20 right the, here the pv ratio was 20% it is still same right it is a ratio are if there is a change in quantity to sales will increase variable cost will also increase and contribution will also increase in the same proportion so because of change in quantity is there any impact on pv ratio no impact on pv ratio hello clear if there is change in fixed cost is there any impact on pv ratio no are fixed cost to waise bhi idhar aate hai niche uska lena dena hi nahi hai it does not have any connection with the pv ratio fixed cost right so change in fixed cost does it affect pv ratio no okay now if i tell you this sir uh, there was a, or maybe say uh, there was no one in the market so i said let's increase the selling price now i am selling at 12 rupees does that mean that if i have increased my selling price my variable cost will also increase not necessary not necessary acha if i tell you that if i change my selling price to 9 because there was cutthroat competition in the market 
so I could not sell at 10 rupees. So I have to reduce my price 9 because there was one more Vada Pav one beside me. So I reduced my price to 9 rupees. Now, my variable cost, will it also reduce? If yes, then if you sell Vada Pav for free, your manufacturing cost will be 0, right? Kya, yes. Are if you sell Vada Pav for free, to kya? You are not getting my, my, my point. Let us say you have a business. Let us say that canteen wala is selling vada pav for free of cost zero rupees mein. So variable cost will also be zero, right? Nahi na? Achha, Jio. Jio ki baat karte. Jio has given two years ke liye free services. So cost for Jio was zero. Nahi na baba, revenue was zero. But cost it was incurring, it was their strategy. To first capture the market, then we will charge dhire dhire karke vaisa. Are, I am just saying one thing. That's the one thing. Achha. Can you do like this? Earlier you used to sell vada pav for 10 rupees. Now because of cutthroat competition, you have to sell vada pav for 9 rupees. Now you will tell your vegetable wala, De, now I am selling vada pav for 9 rupees instead of 10. So now you, I will pay you 1 rupees less karke. Aisa hoga kya nahi na? Are, there is no connection, right? So, Unless and until, if they say ki question is selling price has increased to 12, that doesn't mean you will increase variable cost also. Only if question says you will increase. Because these two are independent factors, selling price and cost. It can increase, it cannot increase. If question says to increase selling price, increase only selling price. Otherwise, we have a habit. Aray sir, cost of gaya, we will increase selling price. Aray, but that is a independent decision. You may or you may not increase. It is not necessary that it will increase. Tum go so much time? Yes, sir. Achha. So, achha, in the question it is said, selling price has increased by 2 rupees. So now it is 12. What will be your variable cost? 10 or 8? 8. 8, right? Will there be any change in PV ratio now? Yes. Yes, it will change. Earlier it was 20%. But because selling price has increased, now you are getting around 33.33%. Okay. So can I say, change in selling price will affect PV ratio? Yes. Achha, change in variable cost, will it affect PV ratio? Yes. Understand how? Let us say you used to sell one vada pav for 10 rupees. Now variable cost, is, there was inflation. But you cannot increase the price. Because if you increase the price, customer will switch to the competitor, let us say. They won't be happy. So now, 10 rupees is my selling price, my variable cost is 9 rupees sir, there is inflation in the market. So now I am earning kitna only? 1 rupee. Is there any change in PV ratio? Yes. Earlier I used to earn 20%, now I am earning only 10%. It means if I conclude, please understand, that PV ratio ke liye change means like this sign. So uh, will uh, change that is C. PV ratio will change because of following. That is selling price and variable cost. PV ratio will not change because of following. That is change in quality and change in selling price. If this does, there is no change. But agar ye, if this changes, your PV ratio will also change. Is this understood? Okay. So I have explained everything except what? Sir, except this formula. Sometimes patience. So yeah, you have to wait or we will explain that. So patience is important. So please write down. So, let's go. Then we will now start with questions and I will come to know if you come or not. Let's go. You will take break at what time? 10.30. 10 oh. Break will be for 15 minutes so it is your choice when you want to take. 10? Then another break at 12, right? 12 to 1, no? Nobody has informed me, 10 to 2, 30. Okay. So let's write down, we can proceed. If I ask you anything, you should be able to answer, okay? So now, uh, let's write the formulas first.
Okay, so writing part is done. Now there is one more part you will have to write that is a master formula. That is this. I recommend writing this also. Master formula as a seven point. Yeah, you can write this. That is what will come in the numerator, what will come in the denominator. So this much part is done, now understand while after writing this, okay. So now we need to solve our questions, okay. but before that what I want from your side is you need to buy at that income statement, sales minus variable cost contribution minus fixed cost you get profit, then this part which is VPMS and all that again. Now, now we are good to go, we can uh, start with the questions and let's see how many questions we can answer. So let's start with the questions, okay? Uh, let me check first of all, I think I started with question only, yes, uh, that explanation part and then yes, questions. Now let's see whether, uh, yeah, how many questions we can do at our end. And I think every question you will do, uh, let's see. So now, give me the answer uh, of first question first question okay let's start with this question here i need answer with reference to what sir sir i need a company has made a profit of, of 1 lakh 50 thousand sir sorry 50 thousand if the selling price is this find out amount of margin of safety only one requirement in the question amount of margin of safety but i have kitna sir 50 Hello. Are right, wrong, whatever it is, amount of margin of safety. Two lakh fifty thousand. Nay ara. Aya na. Are pele to formula by Sagar Dimag Nay Lagar Naga. Simple. Sir, it is amount of margin of safety. The margin of safety bole to profit. Or amount bullet to divide by PV ratio. Profit they have already given. A company has made a profit of 50,000. So I know 50,000 divided by PV ratio. I have to calculate. Achha, otherwise, you can do one thing. First, you can get MOS in units and then you can multiply by selling price also. Achha, let's get this first. Uh, if the selling price uh, and the marginal cost means variable cost of the product is 15 and 12 respectively per unit respectively below to pehla kon selling price so 15 minus 12 sir i get 3 as contribution this is sales pv ratio will be 3 upon 15 into 100 so 3 upon 15 into 100 so 20 percent so profit divided by pv ratio 50,000 divided by 20 percent 2 lakh 50 thousand clear eh? Again, there are methods you can go without formula also. How? Let's understand if you want to get that. Sir, aisa hai. Sir, sales minus variable cost contribution minus fixed cost profit, right? And your profit is uh, 50,000. Fixed cost will be nil. What is this? 15 and 12. Cross multiply. Alright, margin of safety fixed cost is nil because it is already paid at BEP. So now, 50,000 into 15 upon 12. That is all. Exactly. Alright, 12 nahi, sorry. 3, wo 15, 12, 50,000 into 15 upon 3. 250,000. You will get that. That is only happening when you are doing, doing this. Wo value is going up. 3 wala. So, yeah, you need to just copy the answer now. You know this. So this is the one method, uh, first question to answer it is, working note number one, where you can see the details of uh, selling price minus variable cost contribution, then we can see the PV ratio, then the formula. There is another method which is explained uh, that is Apkavo wala, Jo reversal wala. 
यू कैन अवॉइड दिस पार्ट हाँ यू कैन अवॉइड इट इज जस्ट एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट विच इज द और वाला पार्ट यू कैन अवॉइड दिस नो नीड टू लाइक दैट ओके और लेट मी जस्ट चेक फॉर वेदर यू विल बी एबल टू डू ओके यस अच्छा वंस दिस यू नीड टू कॉपी दिस आफ्टर दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड थ्री यू विल ट्राई यू विल हैव सम टाइम लेट्स सी इन रफ देन आई विल शो यू द आंसर इजी फॉर यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ इफ आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज योर आंसर फिफ्टी रुपीज Okay. Now let me understand. Uh, PV ratio is sixty percent. I will say sales minus variable cost contribution. When I say PV ratio is sixty percent, it means it is like this. Out of hundred sixty comes in your pocket. It means forty is your variable cost. Okay. Variable cost. Marginal cost is given as twenty, sir. Calculate the selling price. आ जाएगा ना. So that is twenty divided by forty percent, or no, that is fifty, right? Oh, so the answer is right okay so please copy that uh, okay hmm. question number very easy question 140 60 if you know the variable cost cross multiply you will get the selling price ओके देखो अच्छा सॉरी ट्वेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड अपॉन फोर्टी मिस्टेक ओके ठीक है अदर्स प्लीज दो आर कॉपिंग डायरेक्टली प्लीज मेक सम चेंजेस इट शुड बी ट्वेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड अपॉन फोर्टी ओके फेर इन Now we can uh, go to the next question. Question number three. Please try at your end first. Acha time was given, right? So, one second. But try nahi kya raga? Tumne time pass kya raga? Dekho. Now, kitna? Acha first of all, first of all, they have not mentioned whether break-even point should be in units or should be in rupees. If question is silent. then if possible calculate both answers if it is the data is given in the question so first give me answer in units bp in units very easy sir 15 or uh, 30 minus 15 uh, 50 that is sales minus variable cost so bas formalize what 
uh, fixed cost divided by contribution per unit that is 150,000 divided by 15 you got this 10,000 units Achha, if you need answer in rupees there is a shortcut also you will say what sir multiply by selling price which is 30 3 lakh or thoda long cut karne ka hai to to rupees ka ye ek answer hai other way round it is a fixed cost divided by pv ratio so my fixed cost is 150000 and my pv ratio is 50% still i will get kitna 3 lakh you can get this answer without formula also if you get income statement agar tumko samajhta hai to वो यू कैन गो रिवर्स इन ऑल करके वैसे बट नाउ आई एम गोइंग विद द फार्मूलास द ओनली रीजन आईसीआई डज लाइक दैट अदरवाइज एंटायर मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग कैन बी सॉल्व विदाउट फार्मूला इट इज लाइक सेल्स माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट कंट्रीब्यूशन माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट प्रॉफिट खत्म देन इट इज 30 इट इज 15 इट इज 15 व्हाट इज वी नील तो योर फिक्स कॉस्ट इज 150000 150000 क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई अरे मतलब एंटायर मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग कैन बी सॉल्व बट बिकॉज़ इंस्टीट्यूट यूजेस फार्मूलास आई एम यूजिंग फार्मूलास दैट्स इट uh, you can take your risk in examination maybe he can, he will award marks only but maybe you depend examiner can deduct some marks for presentation some marks so if you are like running out of time you can go for a shortcut but even this is shortcut formula zyada ho jayenge to zyada ye nahi hai sales to earn a profit of 20000 first i need to make arrangement for 20 separ i need to make arrangement for kitna 150 that is profit plus fixed cost this much I need in my bank account 170 and 50% is my PV ratio. Whatever is my sales, 50% comes in my account. So 170 kile I need to make sales kitna double 340 ka. Done. So as I said, the quite manageable. Uh, yes. Pele VP ka you can write down. Acha, in examination, if you want, you can avoid this parts also. You can directly write ye wala part either. In exam, what you can do instead of writing this. This 30 minus 15 can be written here itself directly. When you say contribution, so you can say 30 minus 15. Vasa. Write only this much part, huh? You upper ka. This much right now. Don't write. Uh, okay, so now you don't write extra part, that is okay. Ye wala. That is just oh, without formula how to get the answer and all karke wo. Thik hai. Uh, you can directly write now this third part. Okay, this part. So, Madhavi second part, sorry. And logical answer is over here without formula. But thik hai. Uh, total sales will be fixed cost plus profit and in rupees, okay, so. If they say break even sales, it is it means it is in value. Just say break even point, so nothing is specified. If they say break even volume, then it is units. If they say, just to give you the idea, if they say break even volume that is units and break even sales it means it is rupees but if it is break even point nothing is specified like here it was written sales so sales bole to total sales units nahi bola tha. volume to be achieved nahi it was sales to be achieved to rupees hota. are from our study material only uh, if you want you can cross or if I once the topic is done okay Achha. can we just uh, start Achha, 10 okay fair enough
So now we are done with question number three. We will start with four uh, after a break. Okay, uh, let's start with this. So before break, I think uh, we did uh, question number three. Then up to question number three, we are done, right? Now let's start with this uh, question number four. Okay, understand this. We know the basic formulas and all. Now if I ask you, if I ask you this, determine what profit. अच्छा generally अच्छा ये color it is visible okay this okay ठीक है so if I ask you to calculate profit generally if they ask you to calculate profit I will recommend to make a income statement या whatever comes in your mind so let's see I need answer of requirement number one what is your profit if your sales is two lakh rupees your fixed cost is forty thousand your VIP is one lakh sixty please try Okay, so ten thousand. Uh, let me check. Uh, if this is this, this, so I just need to get first PV ratio. That is forty thousand upon one lakh sixty two hundred. That is twenty five percent. So two lakh with twenty five percent minus forty thousand. Okay, ten thousand. Proper. Now understand your profit will be ten thousand. Little bit tricky, but yeah, still manageable. Understand this. Ah, uh, first of all, you have your BP with you. Generally, BP is not given in the question. In this question, they have provided you with the BEP ka data in rupees. They have given you the fixed cost also. You can get PV ratio. How? Because the formula of BEP in rupees is fixed cost divided by PV ratio. So, sir, I know this as one lakh sixty thousand. I know my fixed cost as forty thousand. So, what is going to be your PV ratio? PV ratio will go there. So that is one lakh sixty thousand and into hundred. If you want to convert that into percentages, in percentages, so forty thousand upon one lakh sixty. That is zero point two five. In zero point two five is as good as twenty five percent. Aya, once you get twenty five percent, I hope that is understandable. Now, once you get this twenty five percent, one answer, I can say my sales is two lakh. So twenty five percent my PV ratio. So two lakh into twenty five percent, fifty thousand will be your profit. Sorry, fifty thousand will be your contribution. From that, you will subtract your fixed cost, so you will get ten thousand ka profit. So first part clear. Please try second part. Then we give will write entire solution. Please try second part. Then entire solution will be written. I need sales. अच्छा सर sales के लिए अच्छा sales तो मतलब formula you should know sir. Fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio. ऐसा कुछ तो six sixty thousand. Okay, let's. I, mean, I don't know the answer. Uh, fixed cost is this, profit is this. I have to add this. Twenty plus ten divided by this. So I need to get PV ratio. So again, uh, twenty thousand upon forty thousand. That is fixed cost upon VEP into hundred. That is fifty percent. So sixty thousand. देखो. Hello. Understand this. When you say sales, your formula will be fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio. Sales in rupees. That is total sales. Okay, you know the fixed cost, you know the profit. So you add, you will add these two, twenty thousand and thirty thousand divided by. What I need is PV ratio. I can get the PV ratio. Why? I have BP ka answer. So I will say uh, BP is forty thousand, which is equal to fixed cost upon PV ratio. So BP is forty thousand. Fixed cost is twenty thousand. PV ratio I don't know. So PV ratio is twenty thousand upon forty thousand into hundred, which is fifty percent. Then you can apply this thirty thousand upon fifty percent. So you will get sixty thousand. Are right, you na? Yes, you are getting this. Okay. So now this uh, writing part, which is that. So you can check this uh, first part. This is our part. It is not recommended. Uh, that is without formula, but still you can write. First, I got my VP. It is not recommended. This is extra. So still you can write if you want to. Ki sir, ye. BP it means this, whatever your sales, usme sir, but right other wala part bacha hoga, remaining part right now.
ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅವಾಯ್ಡೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವಾಲ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಗೈಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವಿದರ್ you can get the answers or not so let's see the question question number 5 sir acha uh, so i will explain then you give me the answer sir ratio of variable cost to sales is 70% this indicates one thing sir your tv ratio is 70%. clear na that is clear okay sir okay aage sir at the break even point occurs at 60% this will give you one more hint your margin of safety is 40% because total sales may say out of total sales if b p 60% mis will be 40% okay of the capacity sales okay theek hai find the capacity sales see it is like this b p is a 60% plus mos is 40% so you will get your capacity total capacity is 100 they are asking to calculate this capacity sales i need to get one of the values or i can say see uh, like this also i can write like this total sales is divided into two parts so this is going to be 100 now this answer is in percentages i need any i need this value i need this in rupees so first i need to get either bp in rupees or mos in rupees then i can cross multiply barabar i need to get bp in rupees or mos in rupees acha if data of fixed cost is given i will calculate bp it is easy to calculate bp if data of profit is given it is easy to calculate mos so which data is given fixed cost can you calculate bp in rupees calculate please bep in rupees fixed cost is 90000 pv ratio is 30% clear that fixed cost divided by pv ratio so i can say fixed cost is 90000 upon pv ratio is 30% so 90000 yeah divided by 30% sir that is 3 lakhs acha if bp is 3 lakh which is 60% so sir what is going to be your m uh, sorry total sales 5 lakhs 5 lakhs clear hai i hope that is clear so can i say first is clear capacity sales which is kitna 5 lakh also compute profit at 75% of capacity sales as a company i could not achieve 100% 100% it is 5 lakhs if i have your capacity sales i am working at 75% so what will be my profit 22500 please check your profit is 22500 sir my sales is 5 lakh right but i am achieving only kitna 75% so 5 lakh ka 75% can i say 37500 will be my 3 lakh 75000 will be my sales what will be my pv ratio so i know my pv ratio is 30% so what comes in my bank account if this is my sales 375000 30% that is a 112500 this is my contribution i have to pay fixed cost out of that which is 90000 22500 i hope you got the point as to how it is calculated yeah that so bus we need to copy this now uh, that is uh, first is this uh, pv ratio of like because it was given your variable cost it was given in the question your variable cost is 70 to pv ratio is 30 so based on that i got my bp first then i calculated capacity sales 60 40 and then i got this 3 lakh cross multiplication right down this if done with this uh, we can go with the next part uh, i that was this profit at 75% of sales copy this so having done this having done this we are done with this now the next question will be a uh, question number 6 okay in this case fifth part is difficult but other than this i think you can answer 
it is written specifically break even sales so formula should be bolo what fixed cost divided by pv ratio give me the answer chalo 12 lakh 50000 chalo dekhte hain please everybody cross check whether you are getting this or not then i will explain first we cross check next 20 lakhs acha uska then or 20 lakh ka 60% ha kitna 12 lakh 3 na please cross check these answers okay whether you are getting these answers or not i will explain it is just written for your understanding ki whether whatever answers you are getting to the right or wrong you can cross check thoda difficult hai maybe strike nahi ho raha hai maybe dheere dheere you will get that okay can i start rough me then you can write down understand margin of safety is this much sir margin of safety it means this total sales plus break even point plus margin of safety it is 37.5 so sir this indicates out of 100 37.5 subtracted you gonna get 62.5 now i need one of the values acha let's see overall contribution to sales ratio is 40% acha सबसे पहले फर्स्ट तो वेरी इजी सर कंट्रीब्यूशन टू सेल्स मतलब डायरेक्टली पीवी रेशियो इज गिवन कंट्रीब्यूशन इन सेल्स का 40 एंड फिक्स कॉस्ट इज दिस तो आई कैन सिंपली से 5 लाख डिवाइडेड बाय 40% तो 5 लाख डिवाइडेड बाय 40% आई गॉट 12 लाख 50000 अच्छा वंस यू गेट 12 लाख 50000 इन रुपीस यू कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एंड यू कैन गेट टोटल सेल्स आल्सो दैट इज गोना बी 20 लाख हेलो This is your total sales. Can we get variable cost and then contribution? Yes. I hope you understand. If your contribution is 40 percent, it means your variable cost will be 60 percent. So for 20 lakh ka, 60 percent will be your variable cost, which is 12 lakh, and then 8 lakh will be your this contribution. And from this contribution, if you want profit, see this is 20, this is 12. They were asking for. And if they ask you profit, so what you need to subtract from this five lakh ka fixed cost, and then you will get three lakh ka profit. So I hope things are clear. Now, new margin of safety. If the sales volume is increased by seven point five percent, sales volume बोले तो sales quantity. अच्छा एक sales volume increases, your margin of safety will also increase. Example. 50% is passing criteria. You are expecting 80%. The margin of safety is how much? 30. But you got 90%. The margin of safety is now 40%. Okay. So this 50 so will remain same, na? Break even point. As it, this will remain same as quantity increases. What? Okay. Okay. Break even point change. Break even point will change. It will change when? If there is change in fixed cost or if there is change in PV ratio. Then break even point will change. But there is change in volume because of this break-even point. Will it change? Are you aware? Break-even point will remain same, right? It is like this. Uh, I hope it is clear. So now, see how it is written. First of all, I, you can check this answers. Uh, okay, answers. Let me just talk about the first answer was this B P. You can write down later. Pehle suno. Sabse pehle yahan pe ye first. It is or method. You can ignore. Wo reverse wala. ठीक है कि प्रॉफिट इज नेल तो फाइव लैक का फिक्स कॉस्ट है तो फाइव लैक का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन नीड टू अर्न पीवी रेशो इज फोर्टी परसेंट तो इफ यू गो रिवर्स एंड ऑल ठीक है दूसरा यू गॉट दैट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई करके ट्वेंटी लैक्स एंड देन यू मेड दिस स्टेटमेंट तो फर्स्ट राइट डाउन दिस देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू फिफ्थ पार्ट तो फर्स्ट राइट डाउन दिस एंड इन दैट दिस पार्ट कैन बी अवॉइड दिस इज एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग Okay, so if BP वाला पार्ट इज रिटर्न दैट वॉज एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट आई होप मतलब 
लिख रहे हो तो दैट इज एट यूर रेस रेसि सो नाउ दिस इज सेकेंड एंड थर्ड फोर्थ का आंसर थर्ड एंड फोर्थ पार्ट दे वर आस्किंग इन द थर्ड एंड फोर्थ पार्ट दे वर आस्किंग फॉर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट they were asking for this right now okay now listen to this uh, the next part which i am discussing is your selling price is 10 your variable cost is 8 your contribution is 2 uh, and your fixed cost is uh, 100 that uh, is 200 So what is going to be your break-even point? You will say, sir, 200 rupees I want. Every unit will give me two rupees. So 100. Okay, now, so I have sold 150 units. So what is my BEP? I can say 50 units. Oh, sorry. I have sold total sales is 150. So what is my MOS? 50. If I say my sales volume has increased by 10 percent, let us say. So what will be my revised sales volume? One sixty-five. Or my sales quantity is one fifty. It has increased by ten percent. Let us say. So ten percent below the fifteen, so it will increase. So it will become how much now? One. Will there any change in BP? No. Now the quantity we are increasing, right? BP will remain same. So no, there will be a revision in this. Your MOS. अच्छा योर सेल्स वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग बाय हाउ मच परसेंटेज वी कैन से इन दिस क्वेश्चन 7.5 सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस योर सेल्स वैल्यू विल इंक्रीज कितने से देखो यहां पे इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड करंटली 20 लाख इज योर सेल्स इफ क्वांटिटी इंक्रीजेस सेल्स वैल्यू विल आल्सो इंक्रीज अकॉर्डिंगली ना अरे लाइक हियर इट इज इनटू 10 नाउ इट इज 165 इनटू 10 ना सो देखो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ यहां पे आई कैन जस्ट से earlier our sales was 20 lakh it will increase by 7.5% so now the revised will be 21 lakh 50000 and my bp was kitna 12 lakh 50000 and you will get 9 lakh as your answer and the revised ratio if you calculate that will be different acha many people what they are thinking you know you will calculate revised sales and then you will apportion in this ratio ratio will change is it clear Huh. Anybody has any doubt? So just let me know. Any confusion? I will say BP will remain same. That is twelve lakh fifty thousand. As sales increases, your difference will increase. Why sir? It is passing is fifty percent instead of eighty. You got ninety. So forty percent. Your margin of safety will increase accordingly. So this is your total sales. Okay. Still, any clarification you want? Any doubt with reference to why that percentage is not same? Kar ke aisa kuch. Clear? Ha, to tell. If you want to ask something, you can ask. Now this is revised figure or ratio. Out of hundred, BP is achieved at fifty percent, and forty uh, percent is new margin of safety. Other percentage, say if you want to calculate, this is actually your answer. Right like now. ओके स्टार्ट करें यस सो नाउ अंडरस्टैंड लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ दिस पार्ट इज रिटर्न एनी कंफ्यूजन यू हैव प्लीज आस क्लियर है ना सब हाँ चलो नाउ Let us start, sir. Let us start with the next part. Yeah, I think little bit. Let's see uh, what the question is all about. Let's have a look. Next question we are going for. That is question number this uh, seven. Sir, 
If margin of safety is two lakh forty thousand, which is forty percent of sales, can I say total sales is equal to B P plus M O S? Then this is forty, so this is sixty, so this is hundred, and I know value also as two lakh forty thousand. Can you get these individual values if you want to calculate? Yes, two lakh forty thousand it is given. So divided by forty into sixty, this is going to be three lakh sixty, and this is going to be a hundred. What is it? Six lakhs. Any doubt? No. I hope oh, that part is clear. Cross multiplication, wala. And sir, PV ratio is thirty percent. Okay, sir. PV ratio is also given. It is like sales minus variable cost contribution. So hundred seventy thirty. PV ratio is thirty percent. Okay, very good. Calculate break even sales. Sir, break even sales should be calculated. Three lakh sixty. Calculate amount of profit on sales of. 9 lakh rupees so if your sales is 9 lakh rupees what is the amount of profit that you will earn first of all you need to get fixed cost tell me first fixed cost kitna hai 1 lakh 80000 8000 kai se to i know my bp ka answer fixed cost divided by pv ratio so i know my bp is 360 Over here it was calculated. I know my PV ratio is 30 percent, so my fixed cost will be a 360 into 30 percent. That is 1 lakh 8 thousand. Now, if my sales is 9 lakh rupees, what will be my contribution? 9 lakh into PV ratio, which is 30 percent, will come in my pocket. Now, 9 lakh is 30 percent, so sir, 2 lakh 70. And what I have to pay? Fixed cost 1 lakh 8. 1 lakh 62. That was the answer. Now, yeah, he said it. 1 lakh 62. See, don't forget to subtract this fixed cost. There is a possible. Jabi bhi, if the break-even point once you get, na to wo, kuch na kuch something will be missing. You can easily calculate out of these two. So, answer was a uh, second. The first answer was 360. Second answer was 18. First of all, let me check. Uh, 360 was your first answer, and the second answer was after getting 1 lakh 8 thousand. One lakh sixty two thousand done. Now the next part. First of all, next part. If sorry, X Limited has earned a contribution of two lakh. Wait a second. Let me just clear everything. Okay. Now, if I tell you that what sales minus variable cost contribution minus X cost profit. If my contribution is two lakh. If my contribution is two lakh, I am telling you, if my contribution is two lakh, my net profit is one lakh fifty thousand of sales of eight lakh. When my sales is eight lakh, can I get the balancing figures? Yes. When my sales is eight lakh and contribution is this, so it is going to be two lakh. Out of two lakh, one fifty is my profit. The fifty thousand will be my fixed cost. These are balancing figures. What are they asking for? Margin of safety. What is the formula? Profit upon PV ratio. Can I get the PV ratio? Yes. 2 upon 8 into 100, kitna? 25 percent is my PV ratio. So profit upon PV ratio, that is 1 lakh 50 thousand. Upon 25 percent, kitna? 6 lakh rupees. That. Let me check that. 6 lakh rupees. Uh, yes. So as I said, once I explain the concepts, now then majority of the questions will be done by you only. Okay. So copy this now. B P then there is a fixed cost. Question number seven, please copy. Okay, if the B P wala part is written. Okay, so. Is it done? Okay. Now there is one more part uh, which is there. You can see this. It is uh, this. That is the second part now, uh, which is uh, MOS ka calculation. Uh, then here it is. Okay. This is extra method. Uh, first, I got these values. This, this, this was given. These two are my balancing figures. Where's it? Then I got my PV ratio. Then I said profit upon PV ratio. Right now. 
So I will hide few values so that uh, you can do something at your end, okay? Fair enough, uh, if that is done, uh, we'll start with the next question. दिखता है क्या वहाँ से? हाँ ठीक है नहीं तो उसको पूरा। ओके आगे बढ़े? अच्छा मेनी पीपल मोस्ट बी थिंकिंग और पॉडी पाइव में दें सी आप एक पी पाइव में दें फर्स्ट फर्स्ट साइड देन वी विल हैव अ ब्रेक ओके नाउ इन द सेंटेंस नाउ लेट्स कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट लेट्स सी so can I ask you individually solutions are better than you will give this collectively that is better unity is a strength unity is a strength okay let's see unity is strength so let's see margin of safety is given in the question total cost system let me see who can answer these things whatever answer you get if any of the answers you get out of these for you tell me sir this answer is profit answer is this or TV ratio answer is this Read the question at your end, question number 8 and let me know as to the answer, if you get any of the answers. There are four requirements, one is profit, second is PV ratio, BEP sales in rupees and then fixed cost. If you get any of the answers, let me know. Let's see. Please try. You will come to know how much it comes and how much it doesn't come. First of all. If this is given, hotel sales is equal to BEP plus MOS. Units may answer is given. BEP is 3750 plus this is 1250. So 3750 plus 1250 is equal to 5000. Okay. क्या सिक्स टू फाइव बीपी सेल्स अच्छा हाउ डू यू गेट दैट विदाउट कैलकुलेटिंग फिक्स अच्छा प्रॉफिट इट इस सिक्स टू फाइव इट इस रुपीस राइट ओके लेट्स सी थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट है अच्छा फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल टोटल कॉस्ट मींस व्हाट बोलो टोटल कॉस्ट मींस वेरिएबल प्लस फिक्स that two of this we will say. Total, na? So total sales ka total cost. Variable plus fix. Total cost is given. Sir, they are, can you get the selling price first of all? Yes. Because you know the sales value is 187,500 divided by 3,750. So you can easily get this as 50, right? So once you get this 50, achha. So you said then 50 into 1,250. Okay? And 60 to 500. Okay, perfect. Okay, so once you get this as 60 to 500, I think we can get then this, if this is 60 to 500, huh? And this was 187, 500, right? So it's equal to 187, 500 plus. So I, I have my total sales with me. So from total sales, if I subtract total cost, I will get the profit. Total cost I have, which is kitna 193, so 193, 750. If that is being subtracted, so sir, 56,000, 250, that is going to be your profit. So sir, this is also 56,000, 250. So PV ratio, sir, once I get profit and I have margin of safety also. So PV ratio, sir, MOS is equal to profit divided by PV ratio. So I have MOS which is 187,500. I have profit 56 to 50. So PV ratio now. 30 percent. So much that this is going to be 200. It goes the 30 percent. Acha, how you will get the fixed cost now? If you know the PV ratio and you know the break-even point. कितना बोलो फिक्स कॉस्ट 
sir, V P is equal to X cos divided by P B ratio. Yeah, eighteen thousand. Seventy. Seventy. Okay, let me calculate that. What? What are the factors? One eight seven five zero. One eight seven five zero. One eight seven five zero. Samjha kaise ye X cos I don't have. I have P B ratio which is thirty percent. If it goes there. तो सिक्स सिक्स टू सिक्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड इनटू थर्टी परसेंट इफ यू डू दैट पक्का यू आर गेटिंग लाइक है नाउ यू नीड अ कॉपी बट बिफोर दैट व्हाटेवर हैज हैपेंड लेट द इक्वेशन बी मेड अच्छा लेट लेट अस टेक द आंसर इफ इट्स सिक्स टू फिफ्टी सर सर तो फर्स्ट वर्ड इफ इट्स सिक्स टू फिफ्टी then you are equal to seven five zero, but then seven five zero. Yes. So you need to copy first. So in the first requirement, actually you got profit also and BP also here. Take care. Units ka data was given. Okay. So copy this now. प्रॉफिट लिख के हो गया था प्लीज कॉपी दिस ओके सो हैविंग डन दिस नाउ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ दिस इज रिटन दिस वाज आपका क्वेश्चन नंबर एट Now we are gonna go for question number nine. No, I think we don't have to go for nine. Then we have changed a chapter of nine. Let's go for nine. Question number nine. As to what data they have provided? Okay, again. So. Let's see. Sir, uh, MNP Limited sold two lakh seventy five thousand units of a product at rupees this price. So yes, this is my selling price. Okay, this many units we have sold. My variable cost is this. So if I just make one rough statement, that is selling price minus variable cost contribution. Total, how many units I have sold? Two lakh seventy five. At what price? Three uh, seventy five. What is my variable cost? One seventy five. Manufacturing cost is one forty and selling cost is thirty five. What is manufacturing cost? Where I manufactured, it was one forty, and to deliver or salesman ka commission or packing cost that became thirty five. But and then it is my cost, so it should be subtracted. So one forty uh, plus thirty five, and then it is my cost one seventy five. Okay. So what is my contribution? So three seventy five is my selling price. One seventy five is my uh, variable cost. Two hundred is going to be my contribution. Hello, clear, Anna? अच्छा सुनो सर फिक्स कॉस्ट आर यूनिफॉर्मली आर इनकर यूनिफॉर्मली थ्रू ऑफ द ईयर एंड अमाउंट टू रुपीस थ्री फिफ्टी लैक्स ओके माय फिक्स कॉस्ट इस थ्री फिफ्टी लैक्स इट हैज बाइपरकेशन इंक्लूडिंग डेप्रेसिएशन ऑफ रुपीस वन फिफ्टी इट हैज डेप्रेसिएशन कितना सर वन फिफ्टी लैक एंड व्हाट इज योर � Yes. FM is somewhere you must have heard. Yes. Yeah, actually, when you record depreciation, do you have to pay to someone else? No. Yes. When you bought that asset, you already paid that amount. Now you are just providing it every year. But every year there is no outflow of cash. When you say labor cost, you have to pay your worker. If not paid, you will say outstanding and you will pay next year. But there is a payment which is which will be done. But when you say depreciation, payment is already done when you bought the asset. It is now you are charging, so when you are charging the depreciation every year, you don't have to pay every year. So that is why we say it is what non-cash expense correct. Clear agents? Okay. Now, one fifty is a depreciation, and then there is no beginning or ending inventories. So there is no opening closing stock. Okay. So this is the data. Compute break-even sales level quantity specifically mentioned. And cash break-even sales level quantity. ठीक है. First give me this answer. Break-even sales level quantity. Formula will be sir fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. I know my fixed cost 350. I know my contribution 200. कितना हो जाएगा? 350 lakhs. 
if I earn 100 rupees, I have to pay 40 ka tax and 60 will be my profit after tax. So if I need, so 60 if I want to earn after tax, I will have to earn 100 first. Then I will pay taxes and I will get 60. Same way, if I need 25 lakh rupees in my pocket after paying to government, so first what I have to earn is cross multiplication, sir. So you can do that. 25 lakh rupees into, either divide by 60% if you understand, you will get that value. Aja, is there any, uh, have they mentioned anything about interest? Nothing is mentioned, the interest cost and all correct adventure wise and nothing is there. So that will be copied here itself. We are going reverse if you see. So now, having done this, uh, do we know the fixed cost in this question? Yes, I think that was mentioned, 350 lakhs. That is there. So you have to add there, 350 lakhs. Now if I add, if this much profit I want to earn, there is a fixed cost also. So what is the contribution that I will have to earn, you need to add this. Whatever answer was there on your calculator, it was this. So you need to add uh, plus 350 lakhs. So you get one value which is this. Again, there is a ratio. If your sales is 375, what is your variable cost? 175. That was mentioned in the question if you check. 375, 175. And this is 200. So 200, if you want, you have to make sales of 375. So if this much money you want in your bank account, what do you have to do? Some value will pop up like this. Samja? And this is rupees. Mein. If you want to convert this in units, so one unit cover divided by what do you 375, this value whatever is there, so this divided by 200 into 375, whatever is your value divided by 375, so 195, 4, or you can round off that, is it 334, clear? Please write down this, and any doubt, please ask. Please don't write, don't do like this, first I, I recommend first write this, then write this and then go reverse. Otherwise, you will first write this, and then you will write this. Then when you revise, you will wonder as to how did you get this. This came last. So please indicate this arrow. It is a reverse working actually. It is like if I want to give you the numbers, first we have written this. Then second thing we have written this. Third thing we have written this. Fourth. 5, 6, then 7, we have written this, then 8, you got this. That is how the numbering is. First, you got 250 and all. So, this is your answer. And then, again, you got the answer. Okay, so, okay. Okay. Now, understand this. Uh, now, we are done with this part. Okay, now, let's get to the next questions. These are, now, we are done with basic questions, I think. Okay, now, achha, there is one more question. Question number 10. Chalo, dekhte. Uh, question number uh, 10, okay, uh, let's see as to what is given over here, let's see. Sir, it is written that a single product company sells its product at rupees 60 in 20x8, the company operated at 40% uh, a margin of 40%, first of all, the selling price is given in the question as 60, okay. And it is said we operated at margin, we operated at margin of safety of 40, bole to. It will be like this, 60, 40 and 100. Total sales break even point margin of 50. That you will say. Sir, fixed cost uh, amounted to rupees 3 lakh 60 and other variable cost to sales ratio was 80 percent. Achha, first of all, selling price, variable cost, contribution. Variable cost, achha, fix, and then there is a fixed cost. I know the fixed cost. Fixed cost is kitna? 3,60 and variable cost ratio is 80 percent what does that indicate 20 percent PV ratio can we get the 60 rupees is actual selling price so into 80 percent your variable cost will be 48 right so this is gonna be 12 you know your contribution you know your fixed cost can you get the achha, first of all uh, okay and then there are some changes in 20x9 there are some changes it is estimated that the variable cost will go up by 10%. What will be revised variable cost? 48 plus 10%. This is rupees. These are percentages, okay? 
So earlier my variable cost was 48, so now my variable cost will be 48 plus uh, 10 percent. So 52.8. Okay. What is going to be my fixed cost? That is also said it will increase by 5 percent. So 3 lakh 60 thousand plus 5 percent. That is going to be 3 lakh 78 thousand. Sir. Find the selling price required to be fixed in 2 zero. The selling price they are asking only. Ki kya selling price rakhne ka? To on the same PV ratio as in 2 zero except. The PV ratio which you are having is this. 66. 66. You need this same PV ratio, right? That is 100, 80, 20. And you need, you have this answer. Konsa? 52.5% as your variable cost. Or it is like your question number 2 upon the third of all. You have to question number 52.8 divided by 18 into 100. Kitna? 66. Right? Yes. Then what is shortcut also? Shortcut also. Shortcut also. Shortcut also. There was shortcut also. Samjho. I said, if there is change in selling price, will there be any impact on PV ratio first of all? If there is change in selling price? Yes. Are ha na? If there is change in variable cost then? Yes. No idea sir. Yes. Yes, no, we, have, we have discussed that array selling price is? Yes sir. Yes, sir. But if your selling price and your variable cost changes in same proportion then no impact on PV ratio. Yes. Understand why? Sir, selling price uh, 10. Uh, yeah, if you see selling price 10. Variable cost 8. Yeah, so let us say it is 100, it is 80. The PV ratio is 20. I say it increases by 10%. So, sir, it is 110. Will it impact your PV ratio? Yes. But if I say that this also increases by 10%. So, 80 ka 80%. Uh, sorry, 80 ka 10% increase. That is 88. Now it is 110 minus 88. That is 22. Here also it was 20%. Here also it is 20%. You can check. 22 upon 110 into 100 because both are increasing in same proportion so that ratio is same so if there is change in selling price individually so PV ratio will change if there is a change in variable cost PV ratio will change but if both changes simultaneously by same percentages then that PV ratio will remain same if you understand this so I can say like this sir this was 60, right? And sorry, variable cost is increased by kitna? 10%. So if you increase selling price also by 10%, your PV ratio will remain same. And what we want to keep in 20x9 is PV ratio same. So if you 60 ka 10%, if you add 66, you will get. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Achha, otherwise, working. We have done with the cross multiplication and all. Achha, ek second. And what uh, any other thing they were asking, find selling price to on the same PV ratio, that's it, that was the requirement. So the solution can be this, therefore, question number 10. First, I have just summarized the data, again, that can be ignored, if you think that you can ignore this part. It was written, selling price, uh, yeah. the PV ratio, MOS was 40 percent and all. Then there were two changes in 20x9. This is just a summary of the question. But still it can be written. this over here, your selling price is in 20x9 for the 66. And this, 
इतना होने के बाद लेट सी एज टू वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट लेट्स रीड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अजीमी अच्छा सो वी वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज अवर सेलिंग प्राइस एंड वी वॉन्ट टू कीप सेलिंग प्राइज एज कितना सिक्स बट सर वी वॉन्ट टू कीप दैट सेलिंग प्राइज Assuming the same selling price of 60 into 0x9, you want to increase the selling price, but maybe there is a competition, so you cannot increase the selling price. Your selling price is only how much? 60 only. You cannot increase the selling price. Okay, you wanted to, but you cannot now. Okay, find the number of units required to be produced and sold to earn the same profit in 20x8. Okay, I will explain. First of all, give me this. Profit of 20x8. First of all, give me this. Profit of 20x8. You have this data in front of you. 20x8. Me, you must have earned how much profit? One lakh. Or if you you have this data, right? So can I say it is 100, 60, 40? Then you will say, ah, uh, okay. What can you calculate? You were having fixed cost also, right? So you can get the BEP, right? So BEP is how much? 3,60,000 divided by 20. Say it. 18,000 is your BEP. What will be your total sales? Thirty thousand. And what is the profit you would have earned then by selling thirty thousand units? Thirty thousand into twelve. Are thirty thousand? Are one second. My miss. One second. I will go with the units वाला 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 वो वो मैंने वो रुपीस में निकाला right? we, uh, so it should be 3,60,000 divided by 12 so I will get 30,000 ये units में आंसर आ जाएगा I hope you got that कि 3,60 divided by 12 करके so that is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit you got your BEP once you got your BEP divided by 60%, if you cross multiply, how much will go? This answer is what in quantity, right? Now, 50,000 into, if I do what, 60, that is see the 50,000 into 12, do you understand? You will get, see the total contribution. So, 50,000 into 12, you will get total contribution and subtract fixed cost. 360, what is going to be your profit? This is something you have earned where in 20x8 and the same profit you want to earn in 20x9. First of all, understand. See, this is the profit. Somehow that must be shown somewhere. Okay. I followed some different approach. Okay. I think, okay. Uh, so, I went for this actually uh, in the solution wala part. I will explain. First, uh, I did that. That only. Go up now. Kya bolte? मैंने 18 लाख रुपीस से वो 30 लाख रुपीस सीधा रुपीस में सीज निकाला एक सेकंड क्या किया देख लेते हैं हाँ फिक्स कॉस्ट डिवाइड बाय पीवी रेशो आई डिड सो आई डिड पीवी रेशो तो आई गोट 18 लाख रुपीस दिस बीपी इन रुपीस तो दिस 30 लाख आल्सो इज इन रुपीस हेलो एंड देन इनटू 20 परसेंट देन तो आई so I got my contribution. अच्छा ठीक है। I should have explained that अभी। समझता है ये doubt है कुछ? दिन 240 आएगा। वो बस यहाँ पे मैंने बताया था वो units में निकाला था। Now this is in rupees it is being calculated. No change as such. When you write maybe again that will be clear. So now I got this value. I want to earn this. अच्छा। What are they asking in the question? To earn the same profit. What you need to do? What you need to do? Number of Units required to be produced and sold. They are asking for this total quantity to be sold. They are asking total sales in quantity. So what is the formula? You know the profit. Do you know the fixed cost of 20x9? Yes. That has been revised. And revised kitne se you can see. Earlier, uh -huh. it was uh, 3,60,000 to increase by 5%. So kitna ho jayega? 3,70,000. So 2,40,000 And what will be your revised contribution? Nothing is mentioned. They have, they have mentioned your selling price will remain kitna? 60. But your variable cost is increasing, sir. Kitna ho jayega? 42.8. So 7.2. So fixed cost plus profit divided by 7.2, you will get this answer. Number of units to be sold. 
to earn the same profit as in 20x8. In the 20x8, the profit is 240,000. Clear? So you will write from where you have a total unit. It is, it is a summary. Working group number two is a summary. The contribution of 20x9 for unit top. Your selling price depends this, not 66, it is 60, it is given in the question only requirement if you read. But variable and fixed cost has increased. The contribution is 7.2. Then, it is a date of x9 and then some uh, profit earned in x8 and all that is given. Now this is profit into 0 x8, the calculation, you may have a different calculation, but you can read the units also, but at the end answer should be 2,40,000. Okay, so this is profit into 0 x8, profit into 0 x8, profit This page, I think that is done. Hmm. So let's start. Uh, let's have a short revision, then we will wind up the session. Or uh, we'll take a break. Okay. A long break. Take it. Now, understand this. So, uh, it is like this. The name of the chapter is uh, Marginal Costing. I will ask you individually. So, please, uh, better. Uh, that is better if you pay attention. Achha. When you say Marginal Costing, it means variable cost is segregated. What remains with you is then fixed cost. So, the statement will be sales minus variable cost. You get contribution and then you get profit. So, you need to understand this statement. Achha. Then, your this sales, Achha, when you talk about this sales, this is let us say your total sales if I just talk about, this is your total sales. So total sales is divided into how many parts? Two, break even point plus margin of safety. So there will be some ratio, it is like if I write total sales over here, total sales is equal to, so suppose if it is given in the question it is 40%, so we need to understand that it is going to be 60 and then total will be kitna? 100. Achha, there is another thing. Sometimes they will give you that variable cost is 70%. Can you give me the PV ratio? 30%. Now, Baba, if variable cost is 70%, then PV ratio will be 30%, right? This is 100. Okay. Now, now they will ask you either calculate B, total sales, BP or margin of safety. That too either in units or in rupees. So, if they are saying BP, MOS or total sales, so numerator, what will come below? Fixed cost, profit, Fixed cost plus profit divided by if they ask you answer in units so divided by contribution per unit if they ask you answer in rupees divided by PV ratio. Achha, now first of all how do you get contribution sir selling price minus variable cost you get contribution. Sir 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 how do you get PV ratio there are different ways to get the PV ratios like first will be contribution upon sales into 100 there is one more formula which is not discussed change in profit upon change in sales into 100 but there is one more formula that we will discuss then another thing is that we will discuss later on then sometimes they will give you variable cost ka percentages so you can easily get pv ratio ka percentages like if it is 80 so it is pv ratio is 20 sometimes sometimes they will give you bp cancer they will give you fixed cost cancer so PV ratio will be the balancing figure. So what will be the answer? PV ratio is equal to fixed cost upon BEP into 100 to convert that in percentages. Sometimes they will give you MOS cancer, profit cancer and PV ratio you don't know. So PV ratio is equal to profit upon MOS into 100. So you understand this ways? Okay. Profit upon MOS into 100. Karke. Now, after doing this, sometimes they will not give you the fixed cost also. So what to do? So fixed cost comes where in the formula of BEP? 
दे विल गिव यू बी पी का आंसर दे विल गिव यू आइर पी वी रेशो और कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट सो दे गिव यू पी वी रेशो एंड दे गिव यू बी पी तो फिक्स कॉस्ट कैन बी इजिली यू कैन गेट दिस तो इट इज बी पी इन टू वॉट पी वी रेशो यू विल गेट यू सेम हैपन अच्छा इफ एट एनी टाइम दे आस्क यू प्रॉफिट कैलकुलेट द प्रॉफिट आई हाईली रिकमेंड मेक इनकम स्टेटमेंट दैट इज सेल्स इन टू सेल्स माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल गेट फिक्स कॉस्ट माइनस करके यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट और सेल्स इन टू पी वी रेशो यू विल गेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन देन माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट समझा सो दिस वॉज अ शॉर्ट रिविजन दैट्स इट ओके Uh, we will start with question number 11 but question number 11 is on some different concept i will have to explain what is that concept so first let's pay attention if you remember i just told you that pv ratio ke liye there are two formulas one is contribution upon sales into 100 we are done with that formula which is contribution upon sales into 100 there is one more formula let me explain that to you okay so let's understand this uh let us say this is your sales minus this is your variable cost So suppose if I tell you this is your sales minus variable cost, you get contribution minus fixed cost, you guys get profit. Done. Okay. Let me give you some random data. Let's say that your selling price is ten, this is eight, and this is two. The basic data. Ah, uh, acha. Now let us say two years ka data is given in the question. How many units you want to sell at uh, in year one? Batao. How many units you want to sell in year one? Bolo. अरे रेंदो रेंदो तो वो दे विल अक्यूमुलेट देन दे विल कम भाई साहब एक एक करके नहीं होगा ऑलरेडी आई वेटेड फॉर फाइव मिनट्स भाई साहब सो दे विल वेट आउट सर ओके नाउ टेल मी इन ईयर व्हेन यू वांट टू सेल हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स अरे बोल दो 1000 1000 ज्यादा होगा चलो 100 यूनिट्स थोड़ा सा एकदम देन वेलकम टू चलो यू डोंट सेल नथिंग नाउ सो नाउ आ इन दिस केस व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी योर सेल्स 1000 हियर इट इज गोइंग टू बी 1500 व्हाट इज द रिलीवेबल कॉस्ट Eight multiplied by hundred. That is eight hundred. Eight multiplied by one fifty. Thousand two hundred. So here you have contribution of three hundred. Here you have contribution of two hundred. Done. Okay. Now let's assume that your uh, fixed cost is. Uh, let's assume your fixed cost is hundred. Okay. So that is being subtracted. Ah, uh, you get profit of hundred rupees. Or let's say your fixed cost is fifty. Uh, fifty rupees. Ah. Uh, Whatever figure you take, let's say eighty eighty. How does that matter? So fixed cost will remain same, right? Ah, uh, here suppose in year two, can I say this? There is increase in quantity first of all. Yes, but because of this fixed cost, will it increase? No, it is a fixed cost, right? It does not have any impact because of change in quantity. It will remain constant. कभी सुना है ऐसा? Fixed cost, it is like a rent. Let us assume it is a rent. Acha, that's better. Let's assume this is rent. Can I say now rent? Whether you produce hundred units or whether you produce one fifty, that will remain eighty uh, rupees only. Rent, no matter how many students are there, that rent will remain same. Let us say you have taken one property on rent, so okay. Okay. So now in this case, ah, uh, fifty units is your change. Okay, fifty units is your change. Ah, uh, this has changed by five hundred. Ah, uh, this is by. Uh, 400. Then here we go 100. Was there any shortcut to get this 100? Yes. 50 into 2. If you understand, extra 50 units you are selling. So for extra contribution, how much? 50 into 2, right? Okay. Now I am just doing change, change, change. 80 minus 80. What will happen? Done. Change in fixed cost zero. Okay. Here you have a profit of how much? 120. Here you have a profit of 300 minus 80. 220. What is the difference? Change. 100. Okay. Now, can you just tell me as to what is your PV ratio over here? Twenty percent. अरे समझता है out of ten year अच्छा in year one what is per unit basis के PV ratio is twenty percent. In year one what is your PV ratio? Twenty percent. कैसे सर? 200 upon 1000 into 100. Here your PV ratio will be 300 upon 1500 into 
20 percent sir okay so can i say change in quantity does not affect your pv ratio you can see from 100 to you shifted 150 from one unit to you shifted 100 100 to you shifted 150 right but now what will happen same question will come in exam but they will hide some information so what information they will hide from us to the top the same question will be there in the examination same but they will hide this information they will give you only this data so will you be acha let us calculate pv ratio here also kitna aata hai that is uh, what this is what change in profit this is what change in contribution this is what change in sales so if i use this formula here i have used one formula which is change in uh, sorry no change it is actually contribution upon sales into 100 right instead if i go for this change in contribution upon change in sales into 100 just see to it whether you are getting same answer or not the change in contribution upon change in sales that is uh, 100 upon 500 Hello. 100 upon 500 into 100 that is gonna be 20 percent right okay so what will happen now when when we give you this question Achha, can i say like this change in profit will be equal to uh, change in profit will be equal to change in contribution yes the reason fixed cost will remain same in both the years so if you take the difference the difference will be zero so i can say change in contribution will be equal to what change in profit but there is one basic assumption what is same in both the years fixed cost is same so can i say instead of this formula i can use this formula also change in profit upon change in sales into 100 because see actually it is this change in profit plus change in fixed cost upon change in sales into 100 because this is change in contribution but because change in fixed cost becomes zero formula is change in profit upon change in sales into 100 now otherwise if you don't get anything just by heart one thing what change in profit upon change in sales into 100 is the second formula of pv ratio Pella formula is contribution upon sales into 100 and the second formula will be a change in profit upon change in sales into 100 okay so now in the question what they will give you is they will hide this information from you this only this information will be given to you is this 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 based on this can we get pv ratio if two years ka data is given and data is given like this can i say changes kitna 500 here the changes kitna 100 and then 100 upon 500 still you will get kitna 20 percent done okay now here we go so having explained this concept okay now you will not ask me if you want to ask any doubt tell me as to sir how why this formula formula is change in profit upon okay guys uh, let's start with the questions uh, here we go okay so guys uh, let's start with question number 11 i need pv ratio from you whether you know the logic or not that's okay but yeah kidna 25 percent what is your change in sales this is gonna be your change in sales right which is gonna be 20,000 what is your change in profit that is gonna be 13 minus it that is 5,000 so the formula is change in profit upon change in sales into 100 that is explained now so can I say 5,000 upon 20,000 into 100 so you get kitna 25% so we guys are clear with which ratio PV ratio 25% let's see who can calculate this now you have sales ka data abhi abhi you did that that your pv ratio is 25 percent right any doubt no no okay now so no. sir can i say sales into pv ratio i get contribution and from that contribution if i subtract fixed cost i get what profit i have this data one lakh twenty thousand i have profit ka data also can you give me the fixed cost calculate this you have PV ratio also, so I think fixed cost can be easily calculated. Please calculate. 20? 22,000, let's see. Your PV ratio is 25%, right? So I can say it is 1,20,000 into 25%. So 30,000 is your contribution. Still, you got only 8,000. So minus 8,000. 
that is going to be your fixed cost which is which will be there acha sorry sorry so once you get now your fixed cost they were not asking for a fixed cost but they were asking for vp sir but to get that vp we need that acha the vp in units is it possible it is not possible because date of per unit is not there in the question please understand give me the vp in rupees chalo fada fada 22000 divided by 25% that is 88000 right okay now i uh, just give me profit when sales are 1 lakh 80000 if your sales is 1 lakh 80 just make income statement you have the data what is going to be your profit 20 everybody should calculate otherwise i have to ask individually okay i will ask individually so better is please everybody calculate profit when sales are this so i can say 1 lakh 80 ka sir sales hai 25% will come in my a uh, year pocket so 45000 and i will pay what out of that fixed cost of fixed 22000 23000 is going to be your profit other way around sales if you want 12000 ka profit kitne rupees ka sale will have to do sales matlab fixed cost plus profit divided by pv ratio 1 lakh 1 lakh Okay. Otherwise, you can go reverse also, but I will uh, use that formula now because now we have that habit. So, sir, if I want to earn twelve thousand ka profit first, I need to earn my fixed cost ka VAB. So, I need to make an arrangement divided by PV ratio of twenty five percent. Twelve thousand plus twenty five thousand divided by twenty five percent. One lakh thirty six thousand. Margin of safety of two zero x nine. Achha, tell me first of all. Break even point for both the years. It will be different or it will be same. Same. Look, first of all, both the years ka, both the years ka fixed cost is it same? Yes. yes. And even PV ratio is twenty five percent, right? And the formula is what? Fixed cost divided by PV ratio. So that BP will remain same, but sir, margin of safety will increase. Why? As the sales increases, the margin will there will be a difference, right? It is like passing percent fifty percent here. Here you got 80 percent, passing percent 50. Here you got 90 percent. Though, as your marks increase, so safety का margin भी increase, right? तो इधर ये तो यहाँ पे इसलिए it will be different. तो x9 का. अगर आपको समझता है, तो ये आ ये तो you can directly use one formula. Profit upon PV ratio. What is your profit of x9? 13,000. What is your PV ratio? 25 percent. So please do that. 50. There was another way also. What sir? You would have done like this. The total sales is one lakh forty thousand, and out of one lakh forty thousand, sir, eighty-eight thousand is my BEP. So what remains with me is your uh, margin of safety. Total sales का BEP पता है, balance and figure and all. All the solutions clear? Okay, please copy. Uh, question number eleven. Uh, this was understanding one part. Take care. Question eleven. The formula is change in profit upon change in sales and profit. Please buy her the formula. That is what I can say now. Acha, in examination. You don't have to specify two years. It is just for the clarity. I said that fixed cost both years are same. So I get both the years. So you can do only for one year to get the fixed cost. Any one year's calculation. What were they asking? Tell me. What were they asking? They were asking for BEP. Or a second requirement. See the question. The second requirement. BEP. How you will get that? Tell me. Tell me. Twenty-two thousand divided by. 25% exactly so please write down bp then there was a profit when they ask you profit make income statement and they were asking for sales at the end so this is your solution yes so there is one more requirement in the question you can see margin of safety uh, here we go profit upon pv ratio
uh, let's say that that is another formula that is total sales so if you remove BEP what remains is MOS okay now let's get to the next part having done this Samjana? any confusion any doubt please say no okay so chalo. this was just a revision as to whatever we have done when we start so okay now there is question number 12 after question number 11 let's see this is the same data or same question with few changes let's understand sir what is written a company has three factories one is in north south sorry east and south now don't see as to there is a printing error why there is no factory in west Karke. maybe there can be a possibility with its head office in mumbai okay take now here it is the management so head office in mumbai then we can say north south east we have factories the management has received the following summary report on the operations of each factory simple it is a time pass paragraph it is just simple that company ke pass there are three factories the data is given of sales and the data is given of profit okay either you need two years ka data ya to budgeted and actual data i will tell you what it is understand this there is a actual and there is what over or what is written is under budget let me explain that let me explain that here we go uh, suppose okay suppose uh, some data i will write and i will make you understand some way. my sales is 1100 rupees okay uh, actual man and my budget was 1500 so tell me my actual sales is over budget or under budget <laughs> under budget you can see my target was 1500 but it is under budget which is 1100 so 400 is under budget 1100 minus 1500 so minus 400 is what under budget my profit was 135 estimated i actually on uh, sorry my estimated was 315 i actually on 3 uh, 135 so actual profit is over budget or under budget again it is under budget that is in minus clear with this okay now so I can say at the end the difference which is given is nothing but change in uh, sales and this is change in profit the difference which is available sales ka difference actual and budgeted and this is a profit ka difference so I think it is a change in profit and change in sales only and in this question they have directly given you this this is actually change in sales if you understand and this is change in profit that is directly given in the question they have given actual data directly they have given change it is not like they have given actual and budgeted then you have to calculate change but the change is already given in the question so based on that can you tell me the uh, north ka pv ratio if i say north east south kidna uh, it is 180 that is profit upon sales into 200 change in profit so 180 upon 400 into 100 that is 45 percent yes sir Achha, based on pv ratio can you give me the fixed cost of north fixed cost how will you get that to actual c do you have actual 1100 do you have actual 135 now get, get me the fixed cost let's see north ka. Kitna, everybody should get answer hello and if you are not getting ask me what is your fixed cost you know 1100 as your sales actual way and your actual profit is 135 and your PV ratio is 45 percent right so 1100 into 45 percent that is 495 minus 135 363 pakka clear can we get the break even sales rupees man? both the data are available you have fixed cost you have PV ratio 360 divided by 45% कितना? 800. अच्छा चलो. Now again, I will give it to E वाला and S वाला you will do. पहले E वाले के लिए. अच्छा if I do, can you give me this PV ratio E का? 90 upon 115 to 100. So 60%. अच्छा based on that. Now this is 1450 still my profit is this much. So 1450 into 60% is my contribution 870 minus 210, 660. Right? Okay, can we get this uh, BB? BB. 1100. Now, directly, can you give me the BEP for South Division? So, your division? So, follow. 
B P B P. I need B P directly. Final answer. B P. Last one. So someone said it is fifty five. What is six called sir? Three thirty. Three thirty. Six hundred. Six hundred. So answer is eight hundred, eleven hundred, and six hundred. Eight hundred, eleven hundred, and six hundred. Let me check. Eight hundred, eleven hundred, and six hundred. You can check. ऊपर भी था तो TV रेशो यू बट 336 60 एंड 330 या समथिंग दैट 360 660 एंड 330 ओके एंड योर TV रेशो जा रहे हैं ओके नाउ आ ओके ओके आ चार प्लीज व्हाट विल हैपन यू मे मेक मिस्टेक व्हाट मिस्टेक यू कैन मेक यू हैव टू रीड क्वेश्चन केयरफुली कैलकुलेट फॉर ईच फैक्ट्री एंड फॉर द कंपनी एस अ होल इट मींस वंस यू कैलकुलेट फिक्स कॉस्ट फॉर ईच फैक्ट्री नीड टू ऐड इट then you will get a uh, fixed cost for the whole fact, uh, company then once you calculate bp of this individual factors you need to add you will get for the whole company otherwise examiner will deduct your marks because if you check carefully they are asking specifically for each factory and company that is a total column should also be there it should also be there so it should be there so now can i say now this is your solution which is uh, here this is something extra if you want to write i don't think it will confuse you actually i don't recommend this uh yeah we can directly start with this part i will uh, hide this wala part because i want you that you can do this part at least one part you will do at your end Uh, they were asking for fixed cost. So before that, I got the PV ratio, change in profit upon change in sales. North, east, south. Because uh, they were asking answers in totality, so we have to show that total wala for the company also. So fairly an easy question. Uh, the data was given already. Change in profit and change in sales ka. Okay. So we did two questions now post break, and both were connected with two years ka data. If you see, that is two data were given change based on change in profit upon change in sales. Okay. Can we start now? If this is done, next question. Yeah, so, so sir, come to the next question. Uh, yet over us complicated. Let's see, question number uh, thirteen. Okay, uh, question number thirteen. Uh, let's have it as to. Okay, let's see. Uh, what can we do? Oh yeah, an Indian soft drink company. You can assume any soft drink is planning to establish subsidiary. Uh, in Bhutan to produce mineral water. So let us assume we are an Indian software company. We are establishing our branch in Bhutan. Subsidiary is nothing if you are done with accounts, uh, consolidated financial statements, no. Maybe or in law you must have heard uh, subsidiary is that company. Uh, you can have a subsidiary by either if you have ownership which is more than 50 percent or you have a power to over composition of board of directors and all that. It is our branch. Let us assume it is our branch. It is simple, very easy. Okay, so we have a company and we are opening our branch. Let us say to produce what mineral water and all that. Okay, take a time pass. Based on the estimated, अच्छा ये important है. Annual sales of. We are planning to establish our business in Bhutan and we are planning to sell how many bottles? Forty thousand bottles on very first day. It is clear. That we we are going to sell forty thousand bottles in one year. Okay, annual it is. Ah, uh, water cost studies produce the following estimate of the Bhutani subsidiaries. So whatever branch you are opening, the cost studies. Tell me, this cost study is, is with reference to how many units? Obviously, forty thousand we are planning. We are planning that we will be able to sell forty thousand units. So this data is for forty thousand units. 
मटेरियल का डेटा लेबर का डेटा फैक्ट्री ओवर का डेटा एंड एडमिन का डेटा इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन ओके यू चेक दिस इज सर टोटल एनुअल कॉस्ट and total cost will be divided into how many parts to variable and fixed it is written percentages of total cost which is variable so if 100% is variable to fix me kya a jayega dash here it is going to be 20% fix here it is going to be 40% fix and here it will be 65% fix so if i ask you to segregate the cost is it easy to segregate yes percentages are there if something is fixed some this much is variable the remaining part will be fixed that is like 80% variable the 20% will be fixed okay that will be done so now we are going to sell 40000 bottles to sell 40000 bottles what will be my cost that is given even the bifurcation is given what is variable how much will be variable how much is fixed now सर भूतानिस प्रोडक्शन विल बी सोल्ड बाय मैन्युफैक्चरर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन द सिंपलेस्ट लैंग्वेज वी कैन से सेल्समैन फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग हु विल रिसीव अ कमीशन ऑफ 8% ऑफ द सेल्स प्राइस सो इन भूतान देयर इज वन पर्सन हु इज गोइंग टू सेल आवर प्रोडक्ट एंड व्हेन ही इज सेलिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट वी हैव टू गिव हिम 8% कमीशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ आई गिव 8% कमीशन टू माय सेल्समैन इट इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट और फिक्स कॉस्ट Do you understand why it is variable? As number of units increases, that cost will increase. It is why it is variable. Okay. Acha, but sir, in order to get that commission, what you want? Sales price. Till now, it is not given. Till now, what is given? Since quantity is given and total cost is given, and its bifurcation is given. But till now, selling price is not given in the question. No portion of uh, Indian office expenses is to be allocated to the Bhutani subsidiaries. ठीक है दे आर सेइंग कि देयर इज अ इंडियन ऑफ इंडियन कंपनी इट इज ओपनिंग इट्स सब्सिडियरी सो नो एक्सपेंस ऑफ इंडियन ऑफिस विल बी अलोकेटेड इफ दे से 10000 विल बी अलोकेटेड टू सब दिस भूतानी सब्सिडियरी सो 10000 का कॉस्ट विल बी एडेड अगेन दी 10000 इज आल्सो माय कॉस्ट अरे मे बी आइदर यू हैव डन दिस इन डिपार्टमेंटल और ब्रांच अकाउंट्स कहीं पे नहीं किया तो छोड़ो रन दो डन ना या तो ठीक है इट इज लाइक नो पोर्शन मतलब इंडियन हेड ऑफिस का नो पोर्शन नो एक्सपेंसेस इज लोकेटेड टू दिस बतानी सब्सिडियरी वैसा इफ दे से दिस मच विल बी लोकेटेड यू विल ऐड दैट मच कॉस्ट आल्सो लाइक दिस देयर इज वन मोर कॉस्ट विल बी एडेड अदर देन दिस प्लस एक्स्ट्रा ठीक है यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कंप्यूट द सेलिंग प्राइस पर बॉटल रिक्वायरमेंट इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक सेलिंग प्राइस पर बॉटल टू एनेबल द मैनेजमेंट यू हैव टू डिसाइड प्राइस इन सच अ वे See, you you know the quantity. You have to sell forty thousand. You know the cost also, and you have to sell. Uh, you have to set selling price per bottle in such a way to realize an estimated ten percent profit on sales proceeds. Whatever is your sales, you should be able to generate ten percent profit. After subtracting all the cost, your profit will be ten percent of sales value. So set your selling price in such a way. You want to try? I will wait. There is a possibility you can do that. I will wait for two, three minutes. You can assume max and all. Carry on, whatever. Other than X, also you can solve. I need selling price. Set the selling price in such a way of those forty thousand bottles, so that you earn profit, which is ten percent of sales value. I hope the question is clear. शॉर्टकट और एक्स अजीम शॉर्टकट और वो हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन एटी फाइव ऐसा हाँ डायरेक्ट कॉस्ट हाँ लाइक यू टू द टोटल अंडरस्टैंड प्लीज डोंट बाइफर गेट द कॉस्ट आंसर यू कैन गेट विदाउट बाइफर गेटिंग दिस कॉस्ट मेनी पीपल मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड बाइफर गेटिंग दिस कॉस्ट इवन विदाउट दैट यू कैन गेट द आंसर Let's take the total. What is your total cost? It is two lakh ten. That is going to be four lakh ninety two. Is this the only cost, or there is one more cost that you will incur? One more cost you will incur. What commission, right? But you don't know the value of that because it is eight percent of sales, and you don't know the sales value. So now please understand over here. Ah, if it is a little clear, then look at this. 
Uh, first of all, so no. it is like this. Can I say this your cost? First of all, this is your cost. It is four lakh ninety two thousand. Acha, then you will add commission. So what the cost which you will get will be what cost? Total cost including commission. Then. Is there any other cost other than commission in the paragraph? No, that is the only cost. So you can add your profit and you can get your sales value. What you don't know, sales value don't know. Let us assume it is hundred. What will be your profit in the question? It is said. Said sales value in such a your profit should be ten percent of sales value. It means your cost will be ninety. Out of hundred, they are saying profit should be ten. So cost will be ninety. Acha, this commission is kitna eight percent of sales value. What is sales value hundred? So if 100 is my sales value, let us say, so commission will be how much? Eight. Can I say 90 ke cost me se if eight ka cost is commission? So the remaining part will be 82. That will be this other than wala. After adding these two, you get this, right? So you know what is 82? So can you get 100? Yes. Six lakh. But this is sales value. They are not asking for sales value. If you read the question carefully, they are asking for sales price per bottle. So this is the value of how many bottles? Forty thousand bottles. So if you divide by forty thousand, you get fifteen. There is some complicated method also. Let us assume X and all, but I don't think we have to go for that. Okay, let's assume selling price as X. So just to give you an idea, that forty thousand bottles you are selling, selling price as X, so forty thousand X and all. Then it's not. No, no. I think upper one. Understand? Me, I got it. Uh, then let's not complicate the things. So, okay. so you can copy this. Please copy. Ah, uh, as I mean, two percent it is are given. You will always make format like this. As so. this is the cost for like nine hundred thousand. How did you get this? For that matter, please make that uh, some totaling in your. Uh, Text book. Make some annotations or scribble something like four lakh ninety two thousand is total. Okay, having done this, sir, if I come to second part, if I come to second part, what is that? So let's understand this. So let's understand this. What is given? करके let's see this. What is given in the second part? If I read this, it is written. Uh, sir, calculate break-even point in rupees. Sales also in number of bottles. So they are asking BEP in rupees and BEP in units. Okay. For Bhutanese subsidiaries, on the assumption that the selling price is kitna 14 per bottle. Now your selling price will not be something that you have calculated. You want to sell for 15 rupees, but maybe there is competition. You cannot sell. You have to keep your price kitna 14 rupees. Now please understand. If they ask you BEP, what all data you need? Unit fixed cost. Let us say if you get in units, so divide by contribution per unit. Acha, first we will calculate in units, and to get in rupees, we will multiply with the selling price. Whatever number of bottles multiply by selling price, you will get answer in rupees, right? So first, the objective is to get fixed cost and contribution. How do you get a uh, contribution? Selling price minus variable cost. So what all things now you want to find out? What all things you want to find out? You want to find out fixed cost. You want selling price. You want variable cost. What is something that is given in the question? Selling, selling price. It is 14 kar ke. So sir, can I get fixed cost and variable cost? Yes. 
ऊपर देर इज ए टेबल वी कैन बाई फर गेट द कॉस्ट इजिली राइट सो वी कैन गेट दैट अच्छा लेकिन लेकिन दिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ऑलवेज पर यूनिट राइट यूनिट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑल्सो इन पर यूनिट बेसिस राइट अच्छा चलो लेट्स डू वन थिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यहां पर जस्ट टेल मी ऑन द कैलकुलेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस टू लाख विल बी वेरिएबल राइट एंड तो चलो यहां पर यू कैन टेल मी द थिंग्स देन आई विल अकॉर्डिंगली मे बी शो यू द आंसर ओके जरा ध्यान दो पे अटेंशन अच्छा First of all, these costs were given in the question. This total cost was given in the question, right? Now, tell me how much amount is variable? Entire two lakh ten thousand as hundred percent as variable. Sir, our uh, labor me. Kitna question? Eighty percent, I think variable, right? So calculate one lakh fifty into eighty percent. So one twenty minus equal to minus equal to when you do now you will get that balance of thirty thousand. Then ninety two thousand into kitna percent? परसेंट बोला मैंने कितना तो 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 अरे फिक्स कॉस्ट टोटल में रहेगा इतना रेंट वगैरह बट आपको वेरिएबल किस में चाहिए एक यूनिट का कितना व्हाट इज द कॉस्ट फॉर वन यूनिट दिस कॉस्ट इज फॉर हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स 40000 अबाउट द टेबल इट वाज रिटन ना कॉस्ट स्टडी इज फॉर दिस 40000 9.98 अच्छा इज दिस द इज इट ओनली द 9.98 दिस इज द ओनली कॉस्ट और देयर इज वन मोर कॉस्ट व्हिच इज देयर व्हाट इट इज कमीशन सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड You are selling price is fourteen. That was given in the question. Your variable cost is nine point nine eight. That we have calculated. There is one paragraph below the table where it is mentioned that your commission is I think eight percent of sales. So fourteen ka eight percent. One point one two. So if fourteen में से if I subtract this variable cost, I will get my contribution which I need. अच्छा एटीन व्हाट आई वांट टू कैलकुलेट बीपी इन यूनिट्स टू गेट बीपी इन यूनिट्स माय फार्मूला इज फिक्स कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट आई गॉट माय फिक्स कॉस्ट नाउ आफ्टर फिक्स कॉस्ट व्हाट आई नीड इज कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट दिस इज समथिंग आई गॉट तो अच्छा देयर इज हाई पॉसिबिलिटी देयर इज हाई पॉसिबिलिटी यू विल फॉरगेट दिस 1.12 देयर इज हाई पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज़ इट इज गिवन बिलो द टेबल So we will consider only that variable cost which is in the table. There is high possibility you will forget this. Now answer is ninety to eight hundred divided by two point nine. बोलो कितना? Thirty two thousand bottom zero now to sell. In order to break even in rupees, if you want to convert thirty two thousand multiplied by fourteen, you will get that in rupees. So is this understood? Yes. So चल first copy यहाँ से. This is second part of the question where you need to get B E P. Copy this and mark that commission wala part important. Possibility hai you may forget that.
Okay. Now we need to get these answers. Uh, BP in units and BP in rupees. You have your fixed cost. You have your contribution per unit. Just divide and get these answers. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. You get the answer. If you want in value, then multiply with the selling price. Okay, so having done this, uh, now guys, let's start with the next part. Uh, that is uh, question number 14, uh, which is little bit complicated. Question number 14, it's little bit complicated, so let's see. Whether hota hai ke nahi hota, let's see that. Okay, so sir, what is written? Sir, there is a company, PQR Limited has furnish the following data for two years okay now sir sales is given as uh, 8 lakh rupees okay sir sir profit volume ratio is 50 percent margin of safety as a percentage of total sales is 40 percent okay there has been a substantial saving in the fixed cost in the year 20 uh, uh, sir, let me explain first of all first of all this is question mark. We don't know the sales value of 20x4. That is what they are asking also. You are required to calculate sales value of 20x4. So that is what they are asking. They are asking this value, which is 20x4 ka value. Now, sales value. They are asking fixed cost also in 20x4 ka. So what they are asking is to and break even sales value for 20x4. Break even sales for 20x4. So they are asking three things for 20x4 if I tell you. One is what is sales, one they are asking is fixed cost, another one thing they are asking is break even. I think BEP is not that big, big deal. The reason is once you get your fixed cost, you have your PV ratio with you, so fixed cost divided by PV ratio you will get BEP. So now the only task will be to get these two, sales value and fixed cost. BEP is very easy, it is fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Fixed cost you will get from here and PV ratio is already there 37.5% so your objective is to get sales value and fixed cost how you will get first of all now here some data we can just write down uh, my entire focus should be where 20 x4 now understand sir margin of safety as a percentage of sales my 20 x4 ki I am saying 20 x4 ka so can I say uh, BP uh, plus MOS so that is total sales so if it is a 21.875 to plus kidna 78.125 so that is gonna be 78.125 so uh, 78.125 plus uh, uh, yeah, 21.875 which is MOS and BEP you will get total sales which is 100 Achha, we need to find out something. Let's see that. Achha, profit volume ratio is also there. Either they you get fixed cost or either you get this uh, profit. 
If either of these you get, what will happen is you can easily cross multiply and get other thing. Let's see, either you get fixed cost or fixed cost divided by PV ratio or profit divided by PV ratio. Let's see. There has been substantial savings in the fixed cost in the year 20x4. They are saying there has been a saving in 20x4. So whatever is the fixed cost of 20x3 and x4, it will be different. In x4, the fixed cost will be lower because there has been savings in this thing. Due to the restructuring process, and restructuring we have done. Okay. Now, the company could maintain its sales quantity level of 20x3 in 20x4 by reducing it. Selling price. Please understand few things. Your sales quantity for 20x3 and x4, it will be same or it will be different sales quantity? Same. The company could maintain its sales quantity into uh, level of x3 in x4. So whatever, if I have sold 1 lakh units, let us assume, into 0 x3, I could maintain those 1 lakh units into 0 x4 also. But for that matter, I had to compromise somewhere. What I had to do is, I had reduced my selling price to maintain that sales level. Is it clear? I don't know what is my sales quantity, but I know it is same for both the years. Now, it is very much complicated question. I can say very much complicated question. If anybody can find out the sales value. Very much complicated. Right. Like, see, some data is there. There is uh, one trick that you need to just find out. Achha, just one thing. If you reduce your selling price, does that mean you have reduced your variable cost also? Nay, na, are baba, tum rupee ka vada pao, you are selling 10 rupees or free of cost. Now let us reduce the price. Geo said. Okay, let's reduce the price zero. So, uska bhi, cost is zero, kya nahi na? Samaj ta? There is no connection. So selling price has reduced. That doesn't mean variable cost is also reduced. Achha, dekho, yaar, to, main bol do, sir, sir, thoda difficulty hai, sir. Kuch clueless hoga, matlab ki try kar raha, so I can wait. Bolo. Asha, tell me, what will be the variable cost of 20x3 first of all? Can you tell me variable cost of 20x3? 1, 4 lakh. Kai say sir, this is 8 lakh. And 50% is PB ratio. So it means 100, 50, 50. So 8 lakh may say 4 lakh contribution, 4 lakh variable cost. So now I am saying one thing, please understand. Variable cost is 4 lakh, that 4 lakh will remain same in 20x4 also. Why I will tell you, your quantity is same. Are you selling 100 units in 20x3? Dekho, variable cost is combination of two things. Variable cost per unit into quantity. And then you will get total variable cost, right? Nothing is mentioned, so variable cost per unit will remain same. And if nothing is meant, they have specified the quantity is also same. They have said now that 20x3 ka quantity and 20x4 ka quantity is same. We could maintain that. So can I say your total variable cost of both the years will be same? That is 4 lakh only. But then you thought of how much fun or different. Huh? 6 lakh. Kya 6 lakh for the answer? Sales value. Dekta. Look, I don't remember. Shad. Huh. So what you did then, same thing, then 4 lakh again. Huh. So done, so perfect. So dekho, you got this, ye, pehle ye 4 lakh samjha. Dekho, I have written one note, first of all, what has happened? This year is X3, this year is X4. There are three changes. The fixed cost is reducing, it was mentioned, because of restructuring process. Quantity is same. Introduction in selling price, it was mentioned in paragraph. So now I said, Sir, my X3 ka PV ratio is kitna? 150-50. PV ratio was 50%. So out of 8 lakh ka sales, I can say 4 lakh will be my contribution. Ye X3 ka I am saying. I hope you are getting matlab bhai sir. Ya to you must have consumed food in wholesome quantity. To neel aata rahega. Aisa nahi hai na? Upar zaaj free tha. To okay. So now. To answer kitna hai tumhara 4 lakh? सुनो 
since PV ratio is 50 percent, variable cost ratio is 50 percent. वो बस एक समझाया है shortcut. What you could have done सीधा? एक लाख इंटर 50 percent बोले तो कितना? Four lakh. This is your variable cost directly. कि PV 50 percent है, तो फिर variable भी बचा हुआ 50 percent पार. Sales quantity into zero x3 and x4 is same, and there is no change. In variable cost per unit, your variable cost per unit no change, nothing is specified in the question. They have said sales quantity is the same in the next year also. So this is also same in 20x4. It is mentioned in the question and nothing is mentioned that this will also remain same. So total variable cost for x3 will be total variable cost for x4 that will be 4 lakh. Now will be whatever we have concluded. What is the PV ratio of x4? Please check the question. 37.5 so if it is 37.5 I can just say that if it is 37.5 here we go 100 plus 37.5 is your uh, contribution so what is going to be your variable cost remaining part no? that is 62.5 and you know the value is ka. Okay, this is overlap so what will be your sales I so now we have to understand what is 6,40 What they are asking is Fixed cost for 20x4 How you will get the fixed cost? So sir, fixed cost for fixed cost, let me make the statement up Okay So now we have to write so much We will go part in the sense of parts of the right If you want to write up and working Just for your understanding In 20x4 there are 3 changes Your fixed cost will reduce Sales quantity will remain same and reduction in selling price. अच्छा, I think we are not done with that part, right? Let's see, इतना we are done with this. अच्छा, so now if this is written, we'll explain आगे का part. This is your sales value. Okay. Now you, once you get this sales value into zero x four, I think BP you can easily get. How you can get BP now? Because there is some equation MOS वाला that you have. Tell me BP का value. कितना? Five lakh. Five lakh. देखो कहीं से. It was given in the question. That said your MOS is this much percentage. The size said out of hundred. If this is MOS, the remaining will be BP. I know my sales value this time. So if I cross multiply, I can get my BP का answer. And once you have BP का answer, and once you have your PV ratio, can you tell me the fixed cost now? बोलो. कितना? 187 by because how do you get it is fixed cost divided by PV ratio you get BP now you need fixed cost so it is BP into PV ratio that is BP into PV ratio that is 187 500 yes so please write down this I think we have written uh, till here right 6 lakh 40 takka
Okay, uh, I hope that is done. Right now. Okay. Done? Okay, so now we can start with the next. Now we will uh, break that part, okay? Hello, so let's start with some other series of the question let me give you an idea let us say that uh, this is a chocolate box or some sweet ka box vagra, you can assume let us say there is one product j and there is one product k let's say there is one product j and there is one product k how many units are there four units are there of j and three units are there of k so total how many units are there in one box seven 4 units of J and 3 units of K. Okay. Now, wh what is the amount that you generate? You generate 40 rupees from 1 unit. And here you generate 20 rupees from 1 unit. So tell me by selling, this is what? This is your contribution per unit. So tell me, by selling 1 box, what is the total contribution that you generate? By selling 1 box. 220. Are Baba, this is contribution per unit, right? And there are 4 units. This is contribution per unit and there are 3 units so you have to do 4 into 40 M plus then 3 into 20 M plus MRC 220. Clear eh, na? That is 40 rupees from 1 unit sir. So by selling 4 units what is the contribution that will be generated 160. Then here it is 3 into 20 you will get 60. Okay. Suppose if I tell you your fixed cost is 440. This is your fixed cost. How many boxes you will have to sell? Two. If your fixed cost is for 40, you will have to sell two boxes. Are you Because 220 you get from one box. By selling one box, what comes in your bank account? See. Please understand. Here, 40 rupees comes in your bank's account, but from one unit. But there are how many units? Four. Achha. Let's read the question. Let's come to question number 19. Let's read a small, very small, uh, take the photo question. Let's see. Sir, a company sells two products, J and K. This is question based on which category? Sales mix category. Okay. The sales mix is four units of J. The in between the beach line, we have not sold, uh, we have not sold those from 15 till the 16. 17, 18. That will be done at the end. Okay. Let's the way it is already written. I will do like that only. Four units of J and three units of K. The contribution margin that is contribution per unit is 40 rupees from J and 20 rupees from K. So as of now we have calculated when you sell four units into 40, you sell three units into 20. So that becomes kitna to 20. What is your fixed cost? So I think that is six lakh sixteen thousand actually one zero thoda kam dikh raha hai okay. I did six lakh sixteen. First of all, I hope this is clear. Ye box wala it is two twenty. Now if your fixed cost is six lakh sixteen thousand, so you in order to pay six lakh sixteen thousand you want six lakh sixteen in your bank account. So please add that zero over there. Let's add the zero over here. So that value will be six like sixteen thousand. So in this case, uh, can we get this? Uh, can we get this uh, break-even point? Two twenty you get from selling one box or one set. So in order to generate six like sixteen thousand, you will have to sell how many boxes? Two thousand eight hundred. Acha, if I tell you you sell one set, 
तो इन वन सेट और वन बॉक्स हाउ मेनी रिट्स ऑफ जे आर देर फोर इन वन सेट देर आर के का थ्री यूनिट्स तो इफ टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सेट आर सोल्ड do not divide this into 4 is to 3 ka ratio it is actually 2800 into 4 in every set or in every box there are four units of j so if 2800 sets are sold samajh sakte ho tumko it is like one set has four units of j so 2800 sets will have how many so 2800 into 4 na to kitna 11,200 and how many units of k? So 2,800 into 8,000. And if you add this, you will get how many? 19,600. So as a company, you have to sell this many sets. It is like see, there are certain companies who sell products in some uh, specific, uh, we can say ratio. Like example ke taur pe, let us say Cadbury celebration. So they have one fix here. Case me, this this Cadbury will be there. Itna. Then this and this करके वैसा और भी कैन से चलो वैसा कि let us say this is Gillette का वो razor and then blades करके तो we can say okay I don't use that but चलो ठीक है यहाँ पे okay तो so Gillette का razor and then there are blades so there is a ratio कि five blades and one razor करके तो one is to five का ratio और भी कैन से toothpaste let us say and brush करके so there can be some mix which can be there Sometimes multiple products are combined and then one set is being sold. Same way, or a sweet ka box or anything you can sell. So it is like this one set which is there. Clear it now? Acha suno. Steps if I just talk about. First, because goods are sold in sets or in boxes, you have to first calculate contribution per set or per box. Step number one, calculate contribution per set. Because you have contribution per unit, no. You have contribution per set. You will get BP also in sets. Because not you are not dividing by per unit. You are dividing by per set. And now those sets will be converted into units. Every set has how many units? Four and three. One set. So into multi multiplied by four and multiplied by three. That is what they were asking for. If you check compute BEP. समझा क्या थोड़ा? हाँ? Clear? There are different ways again, but this is one of the easiest ways. So you can copy this solution. Question number ninety. It is extra. Whether uh, you can calculate for next question or not, if this is done, acha. You are writing a bit, bit. Likho. Having done this, now there is another question. Let's see whether we can answer this or not at our end. Let's see. Three steps: contribution per set, then BP in sets, then sets will be converted into units. Chalo dekh. There is one company, Gamma Limited. The product mix. Again, there will be some ratio mix is there. Okay, products M and N. Unit selling price variable cost. Okay, okay. Find. The break-even point. What they are asking is break-even point in units. Okay. So three steps you have to follow. But but if that you need to read. Okay. Don't calculate, please. 
द कंपनी पहले यहां पे लिखा है द कंपनी डिसकंटिन्यूज प्रोडक्ट एम सो नो एम इज नॉट देयर दे आर सेइंग वी आर डिसकंटिन्यूइंग दिस एंड रिप्लेस इट विद रिप्लेस विद प्रोडक्ट ओ सो इसके बदले में क्या आ जाएगा ओ विल कम द क्वांटिटी ऑफ ओ विल बी इट इज नॉट प्रिंटिंग एरर अदरवाइज यू विल फील इट इज प्रिंटिंग एरर नहीं नहीं यू विल से कि सर ने सर हैज स्ट्रैक्ट इट ऑफ देन इट इज रिटर्न नहीं I am just explaining, okay? So it is discontinued, okay? Because I say nine mere hain, so now see, the quantity of product O is nine thousand, and its selling price and variable cost. How much did I say? Respectively, eighteen and nine. Acha. Now, first of all, tell me what is your contribution from O? Contribution from O, how much is it? Nine. Contribution from N. 9 and 10.5. Otherwise, let me just uh, write down this data over here. So things will become quite easy. They go here. Ah, uh, the same data is written. If you check, ah, uh, first it is written. It here. Minus variable cost your contribution. Then units are 9000 and 8000. अच्छा, product will be sold in this ratio only. The ratio becomes कितना बड़ी इस टू. It is said that we have that product mix. It means if you sell 9000 units of O. You will sell 18,000 units of N, so the ratio will be one is to two. As in, when you sell one unit of O, you have to sell N का कितना two. So there will be one box where O का one unit will be there, or N का कितना units will be there two. In one box, there will be three units we will sell. अच्छा, what will be your contribution per box? बता दो. Simple है ना? ये into ये. ये इनटू है वन बॉक्स विल हैव थ्री यूनिट्स वन यूनिट ऑफ ओ डेट इस नाइन इनटू वन थर्टी ओके थर्टी राइट व्हाट विल बी अच्छा व्हाट इस योर फिक्स कॉस्ट हैव दिस स्पेसिफाइड इट थ्री थाउजेंड लेट मी चेक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो कैन यू टेल मी हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू विल हैव ट How many boxes you have to sell? Fifteen thousand का B P achieve करने या recover करने के लिए fixed cost. So you get thirty rupees, right? So fifteen hundred divided by thirty, so you get five hundred, right? These are what sets. How many units of O you will sell? Five hundred. अरे because every box has only one unit. But N का thousand. Because every set will have how many units? Two. So thousand. And this 500. Easy, Abhi? Yes. yes. Please copy this. Don't write anything about M because they are saying we have discontinued M and we are replacing M with O. And the data was given in paragraph. Selling price and variable cost contribution. Let's start with question number twenty-one. Uh, now only we have seen that sales mix wala part. Let's uh, do this question. One more question. That is question number twenty-one. 
and that part will be done since mixed up okay oh, yeah. so no there is one company known as mk company manufactures and sells a single product x whose selling price is 40 simple there is one company which is selling one product whose selling price is 40 per unit and variable cost is 16 We can easily calculate contribution, sir. Forty minus sixteen. How much? Twenty-four. Twenty-four is your contribution. Okay. If the fixed cost for this year are four lakh eighty thousand, this is your fixed cost, okay? And annual sales. Acha, first of all, can you just get the BEP based on this units, sir? Batao. कितना रहेगा व्हाट इज योर ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट 4 लाख 80000 डिवाइडेड बाय 24 ना फिक्स कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाय कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट कितना यू गॉट योर बीपी इन यूनिट्स नाउ एनुअल सेल्स आर 60% ऑफ मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी इट मींस इफ एम इज 60 बीपी इज 40 टोटल सेल्स इज 100 आई नोट दिस इज 20000 समझता है हाँ तो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज योर टोटल सेल वट आर दिंग कैलकुलेट रेट ऑफ नेट रिटर्न ऑन सेल्स अज्यूमिंग इनकम टैक्स लेवल ऑफ फोर्टी परसेंट रेट ऑफ नेट ओके ठीक है चलो एक काम करते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज योअर टोटल सेल्स वैल्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ आई जस्ट कैलकुलेट सेल्स वैल्यू टोटल सेल्स वैल्यू इट इज वन टू बी दिस ना फिफ्टी थाउजेंड आर यूनिट Because this is BEP in units that we got. So 50,000 units multiplied by what? 40. 50,000 multiplied by 40. 20. What will be your variable cost? So 50,000 into 16. 50,000 units is 8 lakhs. So your contribution will be 24 rupees. So that is going to be 12 lakhs. acha what is your fixed cost the amount is 4 lakh 80 so your profit will be 7 lakh 20000 okay 7 lakh 20 acha this profit is something uh, now you need to pay one thing which is tax minus tax 40% subtract you will get back 4 lakh 20000 right and they are not asking for this they are asking rate of net return on sales means net profit what you are getting at the end on sales rate means you need to indicate that in percentages so when sales is 20 lakh this is for like 32000 that is going to be 21.6% samajhta hai ye is profit upon sales into 100 so yes sir first part is clear sir See everything. Our uh, question number twenty. What is done is a summary. ठीक है. अच्छा, this is summary. You can write down later. Just listen to this first. So this is summary. Then this twenty thousand you got BEP. Then fifty thousand after cross multiplication. Then you did this entire calculation. Twenty lakhs one. You got what? Four lakh thirty two. Upon twenty lakhs into hundred twenty one point six. Here then we got. Okay. So this is first part. Okay. अच्छा फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट डाउन द फर्स्ट पार्ट देन विल डिस्कस द सेकंड यू कैन इग्नोर दिस पार्ट हाउ ऑलवेज डिटेल्स वाला ये अगर आपको लगता है यू कैन स्टार्ट डायरेक्टली यू कैन इग्नोर दिस इन द क्वेश्चन सेलिंग प्राइस वाज गिवन एज 40 वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वाज गिवन एज 16 इफ यू अगेन रीड द क्वेश्चन टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट वाज 480 एंड एमओएस वाज 40% दिस इज अ समरी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन डिटेल्स में
Done? Yes. Fine. So, sir, there is one more requirement in this question. This is 21.6. That was the first requirement. Now, let's read the second requirement. What are they saying? Achha, first of all, I already have one product which is X. Now, for the next year, it is proposed to add another product line Y whose selling price will be 50, uh, 50 and variable cost will be 10. Achha, first of all, we do have already, uh, there is one more product, that is one, pro one product we already have. You can tell me the data. Tell me, what is the selling price of X first of all? 40. Variable cost? That was given? Okay, then it is 24. Achha, th this much was given. Okay, now let's read this question. Sir, uh, for the next year it is proposed to add another product Y whose selling price will be 50 per unit and variable cost will be 10. 50 and 10. So that is going to be 40 will be your contribution. For a uh, 50 may say 10 is your variable cost. Achha, total fixed cost are estimated. Total means this already there is one product tax now we have added y after adding this what is your total fixed cost 666600 so i have written that 666600 acha now the sales mix of x and y will be in which ratio 7 is to 3 so that ratio is 7 is to 3 okay so now a few things we need to calculate chalo if i tell you first of all Tell me what is your contribution per set? Two eighty eight. Samajhte? Seven units. Every unit will give you twenty four. Three units. Every unit will give you kitna forty two eighty eight. So what will be your BP in sets? This much amount in. Yeah. Fraction mein aata hai. Yeah. Ah, either you can round it up or module keeps that as it is karke to wo bhi chalega. So wo jo bhi fraction mein aaya hai set jo calcif hai waise hi rakho. Chahe to ya to you can round off to wo into 7. Sorry into 7 ha. Whatever answer was there on your calculator these many sets I will say into how many units are there in one set? 7. In here how many sets? 3. Either you can round it off but module does not. I am not rounding it off. Whatever was your answer multiply by 7. Please do that. You will get these answers. Into, achha, lekin, so, so, what is the requirement of the question? Determine what level of sales next year would MK Limited break even. At what, sales, uh, what level we will break even? Give separately for both X and Y. Break even sales in rupees and calic hai quantities both. So what answer you have got? The answer which you got is in quantity. If you see over here, this answer is in quantity. Can we convert that in rupees? Yes. I just need selling price. And what is the selling price? So if you just multiply by 40, 50, this is BP value. This is BP in units. And this is BP in rupees. Clear eh? Acha, like that. Details. There was already one product X, data was there with us. We have launched another product Y that was mentioned. Then the ratio should be 7 is to 3, total fixed cost was mentioned. Then you start with your solution. Please write it. Okay, so this is the answer. Uh, the only thing, whatever answer you get on your calculator, directly multiply by 7, then you will get that exact value. Where, sir? That is what model you have done, otherwise, you can round it up also, but I won't because just to match our solution with ICAI. Okay, so uh, if you understand, we are in marginal costing. Marginal costing, we did basic questions. After basic questions, I started with which part? Sales mix. There were three steps. First, calculate contribution per set, per set 
and calculate BEP insets, then convert that BEP insets into BEP in units. Okay, fair enough. So this was the part which we did. Okay, now let's proceed. Again, let's see this now. Now the next part will be uh, something again uh, that revision short wala. Then there will be uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, a simple question, a simple question, okay, simple, uh, opportunity cost, that is the first part. What is opportunity cost? Uh, so I think I have explained and even you know this also, what is opportunity cost, Bolo? Uh, you have to say when you have two options and the choice is mutually exclusive, that is if you select one, you have to forego another option, then that is the opportunity loss becomes opportunity cost I can say opportunity loss becomes opportunity cost like uh, here we can take an example because you are sitting here uh, you cannot enjoy that function so that is what your opportunity cost okay take it. so now let's understand so uh, let's have a look as to opportunity cost okay so now a company can make any one of the three products x y or z we cannot make all the products, we have to make a choice, either X, Y or Z, you have to make a choice, either here or there, Vesa. you need to make a choice, either you will produce X or Y or Z, it can exercise its option only at the beginning of the year, and you have to exercise that option, what you have to do, what you want to do, okay. Relevant information about the product for the next year is as follows. So the data is given in the question for three products X, Y and Z. Asha, tell me first of all, if I ask you what will be your contribution 4, contribution 3, contribution 12 minus 7 that is 5. Karke, done. Now in the market there is a demand of 3000 units, please add 0 over here, 0. Zero. Now tell me, if I tell you, sir, what company will do? In the market there is a demand of 3000 units, but company has a production capacity only of 2000 units. So what company will do? Company will send 3000 or 2000? 2000. 2000. It does not have capacity only. Even though there is a demand in the market, I hope you understand, of 3000, but it can manufacture only 2000. So how can you sell 3000 if you cannot manufacture only, you can manufacture only 2000. So you will sell only 2000, right? So the second one part, mein, uh, you have a capacity, you can produce 3000, but in the market demand is only 2000. So you will sell only 2000, you can, uh, what will you do with production? The demand is only 2000, you can sell max only 2000. Do you understand? Sir, 1000 is your demand but you don't have that much capacity or kiska dimag nahi chalta whichever is lower or 3000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 3000, 2000, 1900, 900. Simple. Achha, tell me, if you sell X, what is the contribution that you will earn? Fixed cost is irrelevant. It is whether you produce, it is like rent. Whether you produce X, Y or Z, you have to pay the rent for that premises. And you cannot produce all three. Either you have to go with X, Y or Z. Tell me, if you produce X, what is your contribution? 2000 into 4, that is 8000. So, why 2000 into 4? Here it will be 2000 you will sell. 6000. Four thousand. That is 900 into 5. Okay. Now, Suppose you have taken decision that you will produce X. Now you have lost an opportunity to produce Y and Z both or any one of them. Any one of them. Please understand why I will tell you. If you say I don't want to produce X, then you will go for both the products or any one of them. Any one of them. Because you can produce only one at a time. So let us say that if I tell you, you don't produce X, what will you produce? Y or Z? Y or Z, whichever, whatever, whichever has highest contribution. So the highest contribution is very in case of Y. So let us say there is, uh, there is no product known as X. You have decided I don't want to produce X. Then you will go either with Y or Z. So the highest contribution is with Y, you will go with Y. So now what I am telling, by producing X, 
you are losing an opportunity to produce Y. So your opportunity cost is 6,000. To generate 8,000, you are losing an opportunity of 6,000. And in process costing, that let us say that you became chartered accountant, then now you don't have any job, so Modi ji has announced any uh, scheme and all. If you sit at home still, we will give you to uh, 10,000 rupees. Now there is one job for 12,000, but that 10,000 will be given only if you are sitting idle. Karke. There is no job. But now if you go for a job, job offer is for 12,000. So that job is actually giving you only 2,000 extra. Because 10,000 to any which was you are getting, if you go for a job, you won't get this 10,000. You will get only that 12,000. So 2,000 extra. So much that? Yes. That is what is your opportunity cost. This is 12,000. So by selecting this, you are losing an opportunity to earn this 10,000. Same way, by selecting this 8,000, you are losing an opportunity to earn this 6,000. That is your opportunity cost. Hello. What is your opportunity cost for Y? Suppose you do not produce Y. What you would have produced? X. X and Z. X and Z may say whatever has highest contribution. 8 or 8,000. So 8,000 will be your opportunity cost. Achha, it means. Now if you have a job offer of 12,000. Still you decided nahi, apun ghar pe ke 10, hi kam So you are losing an opportunity to earn kitna I will say. 12,000. Are you opportunity cost? Why, sir? Now, so 12,000 against opportunity cost is 10, or 10 against is 12. Then you will see that net effect. Karke. It is like by sitting at home, you are making loss of 2,000. Because opportunity cost is 12,000. So, by selecting a, uh, Y, you are making loss of 2,000. Because if you go for uh, X, you would have generated 8,000, but now you are generating only 6, so 2,000. They are asking only for opportunity cost, whichever is higher. Bolo, idhar kitna aega? 8. Whichever is higher, 8 or 6. If I talk about Z, remaining to me say whichever is higher. Pakka clear hai na? First, you selected whichever is lower quantity. Dekho, pahile to. Whichever is lower quantity, that is this. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, whichever is lower. Lower of the lower. Then. You got your contribution 4, 3, and 5. That is selling price minus variable cost. Multiplied by that quantity, you got what you are? Contribution. And then, when you talk about uh, x, you need to say yz, ka whichever is higher. If you talk about uh, y, you have to say xz, ka whichever is higher. If you talk about z, xy, ka whichever is higher. That is your opportunity cost. As such, not that difficult, very easy. Uh, so, please comment. There is a new concept. Uh, I can just tell you. Till now, we are done with three parts. One is basic questions. Another, in this, there are two parts. One year ka data, two year ka data. I can say. Then there is sales mix wala question, and then one is opportunity cost. Now there is one more thing which is known as limiting factor. Try to understand what is this limiting factor. Karke. Achha, limiting factor means any factor which is limited in nature. Sir, we understand this. Okay. So any factor which is what? Limited in nature. Which is also known as important factor that is key factor. Let me explain with the example first. Let us say. 10 chapters you want to do. And one chapter will take generally kitna day? One day. So 10 chapters requires how many days? 10 days. Let us say. Few days are left. Like those who have let us say attempted November. So we can say only few days are left, so like so they will calculate these many days, let us say 90 days, let us say 80 days in 8 subjects. So they will say sorry 80 divided by 8, so 10 days or there yeah something, let us say that, uh, now days let us not calculate, I want how many days, 10, but I 
said these many days I have divided these many subjects I have after doing this let us say that 8 into uh, 6 now let us say I have only 48 days available with me now after that I have examination and I have how many subjects 8 so sorry, I said 48 days I have there are 8 subjects so 6 days only I have so whatever portion which is left now to cover that portion I need 10 days but I have only how many days 6 so can I cover entire portion? No, that will happen with us, right? So we cannot cover entire portion. So now what we have to do, we have to leave some chapters. Then we will ask faculty what is APC analysis, which chapters we can leave in exam during examination and all karke to pe. I can say all 10 chapters not possible, right? Because we have only how many days? Six. So let us say that highest marks, highest marks. Chapter A and Chapter B, if we just talk about, Chapter A and Chapter B, if we just talk about, let's understand. If I tell you Chapter A has 20 marks, ka, chapter, uh, there is one Chapter B which is for 10 marks. So if only this much data is given, you will first select which chapter? Chapter 1, that is Chapter A, sorry, Chapter A. The reason, sir, if you read this chapter, it will give you how many marks? 20. In chapter will be uh, chapter uh, sorry B will give you only 10 marks but if I give you further details what is limited in nature days limited days right you, you don't have days you have only six days right so you will best utilize now I have analyzed chapter one is chapter A is very big to complete that chapter you need four days so tell me to on this 20 marks we have to spend four days let us assume now every chapter has different different timing so to on this 20 marks you need to spend 4 days so every day spent will fetch you kitna marks fine huh? 20 marks you will get in by studying for 4 days so every day if you study you will get 5 marks if you go for chapter number A if you go for chapter number B if I tell you this chapter can be completed only in one day a very short and sweet chapter it will give you 10 marks so sir 10 marks I will get only by spending one day so in that one day I will get 10 marks. Now after giving this data to you, now which chapter you will select? B. B. I hope you understand. It is like last ka 5 minutes are left. One 20 marks ka question is left, one 5 mark ka question is left. But this question is yato one 10 marks ka question is left. And one 20 marks ka question. But sir, ye 10 mark ka question is true and false. So in minimum time you can score max marks. So you will go first for true and false. Are you won't see that ki ye 20 marks are 10 ka hai, are, but by spending minimum time you will get maximum marks. Achha, chalo, main toh, hai. Ye hai, ha, ha. Achha, toh, given a choice ranking number 1, you will first select which chapter, chapter B and then you will go for chapter 2. It means, will you give ranking based on highest marks? No. You will give ranking based on marks per limiting factor. That is every day spent will give you kitna marks because days is a limiting factor. So as if when you spend one day, if you get more marks somewhere, you will select that one. Now let's talk about the company. Now, achha, if I tell you like this, Ki, sir, I need 10 days and I have 12 days. Is this your limiting factor? No. Sir, to complete one subject, you want 10 days. You can it. I can complete this. I can complete this in 10 days and I have 12 days. Then you will waste two or four days. Or you will say you will waste 4 days, then it will become 8, then you will say now it is limiting factor, now we have to study it. Okay, so let's understand. Okay, so let's understand. Any factor for which requirement which is 10 days is greater than its availability, which is 6 days. Available only 6 days, but you want it now 10. But if availability is 12, then no. So then days are more. Karke. It is a scarce resource, I can say. In short, I can say it is a scarce resource. Only limiting, uh, limited things we have. So, you will best utilize that thing. Okay, so, just in case you want to just write the definition part, that is also okay. Or example also, that's fine. You can give the heading as a limiting factor, which is also known as key factor, important factor, key bullet. Or, the understanding is like this. Any factor for which requirement Zarurat zada hai, but we don't have that much resources. Greater than its availability. Availability is not there. Resource is very limited in nature. That is it. during examination you are at time. That is limited we can say.
So if you are copying the example, uh, huh? Lick, lick. it is just uh, for understanding. I said for like, if one chapter one day I said, then here the days are changed. Or let us see if you don't know to write this. Ten chapters are there, which will take ten days. Yes. Otherwise, you would say then why four days and one day by some. So ten chapters, uh, which I feel will require ten days. I have only six days with me, so you can see requirement is greater than its availability. Requirement is more. We don't have those resources. Okay, so given a choice, we will select this. You can say then it is no limiting factor, not limiting factor if this. Not limiting factor. The reason is very simple. You need only 10 days, but you have 12. So as such, no tension. You can complete it as lab as well. So if this much is written, then I can discuss. There are two questions, uh, two or three questions are there. Done, I think not going to argue that. Okay, so now let's understand guys, uh, let's go with this question. Let's see, uh, the question over here, which is based on limiting factor, let's understand. Sir, a company has a limited supply of material. Achha, by reading this, you understand this is question based on limiting factor, material is limited. Achha, just because it is written something is limited, that doesn't mean it will be limiting factor. In inter, it will be limiting factor, but in final, they will test you for that also. Uh, as of now they won't test you. I will tell you how first of all. As of now it is said material is limiting factor. We have only how many kgs available? 50,000. Availability. We have only this much available. 50,000 kgs of raw material. This can be used to manufacture three types of products namely ABC. So there is one raw material X which can be used to produce A, B or C. You can produce either A, B or C. Understand this. Okay. Selling price is given in the question. Variable cost is given in the question. Tell me. This is going to be 20, right? Uh, this is going to be 10. This is going to be 50. 200 minus 150. That is 50 ka contribution. Now understand. Material required. If material is my limiting factor, which is my limiting factor, you can see it is limited. Sir, I generate this 20 rupees by using kitra kg of raw material one i hope you understand if 50000 kg is this is limiting factor so i will utilize in best possible manner first i will check if you use 1 kg for a what is the contribution you will get if you use that 1 kg of raw material for b what is the contribution you will get 
सो यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी रुपीज आई एग्री बट यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी रुपीज बाई इन्वेस्टिंग वन के जी राइट तो कितना रुपीज यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी सर यू यू आर गेटिंग टेन रुपीज एंड टेन रुपीज यू विल गेट बाई इन्वेस्टिंग मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड कितना टू के जी तो एक्चुअली यू आर गेटिंग ओनली फाइव रुपीज टू जनरेट दैट टेन रुपीज यू हैव टू इन्वेस्ट टू के जी का रॉ मटेरियल तो एवरी के जी यूज इज फैचिंग ओनली फाइव रुपीज का कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर यू आर जनरेटिंग फिफ्टी रुपीज आई एग्री बट सर टू गेट दैट फिफ्टी You have to spend 5 kg raw material. So you are getting 50 rupees by 5 kg using 5 kg. So you are getting 10 rupees per kg. Okay, if you select based on this, then you will get wrong answer based on this 20, 10, and 50. I hope you understand. So now because limiting factor is raw material, so you will select based on raw material. Given a choice, first preference will be given to A, B, or C. A. Then. C now because then after that C is giving highest contribution, then D. You will say if I use one kg of raw material, A will give me twenty rupees. If I use one kg of raw material, C will give me ten rupees. If I use one kg of raw material, B will give me five rupees. So based on wherever there is a highest profit, I will go with that. Okay. Now market demand. So first of all, I will show this part. Ranking number one, three, and two. Ranking number one, three, and two. Just understand this. This part I have explained as of now. This you can write down later, but first, first I said sales minus variable cost contribution. That contribution was divided by a uh, material per unit. You got contribution per kg. That is kg is your limiting factor material ka. And then based on this 25, 10 you gave the ranking. Abhi abhi. Hello, clear it now? Yes. Sir. Yes. First of all. There is just extra working, just for your understanding, not a part of solution, not part of solution, only for reference. Sir, is it actually limiting factor? Yes. Let's check how. Is it actually your limiting factor? Let us check. Okay, tell me what is your total requirement of raw material? If I ask you, it will be this. A K L fifteen thousand. Why? Market my demand is fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand to fulfill how many kgs of raw material is required? Fifteen thousand. Market demand is twenty thousand. And every unit requires 2 kg, so 20,000 will require how much? 40,000. And here, 5,000 units you want to supply. Every unit will require 5 kg, so 5,000 units will require. Acha add these three. 80,000. So can I say to fulfill my market demand, I want to use 80,000 kg of raw material. This is my requirement. I need 80,000 kg of raw material. But sir, I have only fifty thousand, so I can say requirement is greater than its availability. Requirement is higher eighty thousand, but I don't have eighty thousand. Suppose it is written, I have one lakh fifty thousand kg of raw material. No need to worry. You can satisfy entire market demand. You need eighty thousand, but you have how much? One fifty. But that is not the case. You have only fifty thousand. It means something you will have to sacrifice either A, B, or C. You won't be able to satisfy entire market demand either of A, B, or C, and you are ready to sacrifice what A, B, or C. You will ready to you are ready to sacrifice third one ranking uh, because वो कम पैसा देता है. It generates lower revenue, lower contribution. अच्छा. So it is just explained कि eighty thousand is something that is your uh, requirement. What do you need? Oh, sorry, eighty thousand is requirement, but you have only fifty. Therefore, metal is limiting factor. We can write down this. It is not part of solution, but just for understanding, it is written. Not a part of solution. Just to give you an idea. You see, you want eighty thousand to fulfill this market demand, but sir, we have only fifty. It means it is limited, limiting factor.
working note uh, that working wala part is written now so this is something that we have done now you need to understand how production will be done first of all understand yahan pe pay attention it is thoda sa little bit difficult so just pay attention with reference to this i have three products can you give me the ranking that is 1 3 and 2 chalo theek hai now just tell me what is your total raw material that you have with you which can be utilized 50000 total i need to uh, decide a ke liye kitna b ke liye kitna c ke liye how much what is your material per unit to produce every unit of a how many kg of raw material is required one so one two and five and 2 kg is for b and 5 kg is for c now let's decide if i give you the choice first you will fulfill kiska market demand you will produce a b or c a because ranking number 1 so what is the market demand of a let's fulfill that let's fulfill that 15000 so if i fulfill that to 15000 units will require kitna raw material into 1 15000 So from fifty thousand, I have utilized fifteen thousand. Now once I satisfy market demand of A, now I will satisfy market demand of C. See ranking number two, it gives you highest contribution after A. That is after twenty, it gives you ten. What is the market demand of C? Sorry, so that is five thousand, right? So if I come over here, sir, in order to satisfy that demand, how many kgs of raw material will be utilized? Twenty-five thousand because every unit requires five kg. So, sir, five thousand units into two. It will require how much? Twenty-five thousand. Acha, so out of fifty thousand, I have utilized A K L E T N A C K L E T N A. What remains with you? Fifty thousand minus twenty-five minus yeah. So, what remains is ten. Now, with this ten thousand, whatever units you can produce, produce B K. Acha, can you satisfy entire demand of B? No. Because you require how much? Forty thousand, sir. Twenty thousand is the market demand into two. But you cannot satisfy entire demand. And that was, I was aware on very first day. Or because I wanted eighty thousand, but I was having only fifty. So somewhere I will have to sacrifice. I cannot read all the chapters. There are few chapters which I will say it's okay. I won't read them. तुम को समझता है? तो tell me how many units can be manufactured? If you understand, ये दोनों का multiplication becomes this. So. 10000 upon 2 it is like reverse you are coming right that is 5000 so 5000 into 2 so what is the market demand 20 but you can satisfy only kitna 5000 so kitna you could not satisfy 5000 acha it means into 2 30000 kg ka raw material was shortage are it is a thoda samajh ye to wo nahi samajh to ye answer apne ko aa gaya theek hai we got this answer This is known as sales mix. This is known as your sales mix. That in this ratio you gonna sell your products. Acha. Now these are units. If I ask you what is the profit company will generate, tell me what contribution you will write. Ah, uh, chalo yahan pe first me twenty, second me ten, or you will write five. This five thousand are kgs or units? Units. अरे 5000 यूनिट्स यू विल सेल एंड एवरी यूनिट सोल्ड विल फेच यू कितना 10 सो 15000 इनटू 20 देन 5000 इनटू 10 यू हैव ऑप्शन अदर यू कैन से 5000 इनटू 10 और यू कैन से हाउ मेनी केजीज आई विल यूज 10000 एंड एवरी केजी विल गिव यू कितना 5 सो 10000 इनटू 5 स्टिल विल गिव यू 50000 बट दीस आर यूनिट्स तो आई विल सेल 5000 यूनिट्स एंड एवरी यूनिट सोल्ड विल गिव मी 10 रुपीस हियर एवरी यूनिट सोल्ड विल गिव मी कितना आई विल सेल 5000 या तो यार हियर आई यू हैव टू कॉपी 20 10 50 करके देन मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ दिस यू विल गेट टोटल कंट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम देयर यू विल सबट्रैक्ट योर फिक्स कॉस्ट दैट इज मेंशन 2 लाख तो यू विल गेट योर नेट प्रॉफिट 4 लाख थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी है सुनो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अगेन जस्ट इन केस यू हैव अ डाउट फर्स्ट आई रोड दिस देन आई रोड दिस रैंकिंग व्हिच इज फ्रॉम हियर देन आई रोड दिस 50000 आई हैव रॉ मटेरियल दैट वाज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन देन आई रोड दिस और एस टू दिस यहाँ से कितना रॉ मेटेरियल इज रिक्वायर्ड देन आई डिसाइडेड कि चलो फिर यहाँ से कि पहले क्या बनाने का दिस सो वट इज द मार्केट डिमांड दैट वॉज देर इन द क्वेश्चन फिफ्टीन सो आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आई मल्टीप्लाइड दिस टू आई गॉट दिस 
राइस एंड क्या बना देगा सेकंड वाला रैंकिंग 5000 क्वेश्चन में देयर तो मल्टीप्लाई बाय 25000 देन आई सेड कि दिस इज बैलेंसिंग फिगर गो रिवर्स 10000 डिवाइड बाय 2 आई गॉट 5000 वंस यू गॉट दिस क्वांटिटी मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट टोटल कंट्रीब्यूशन माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट डन कॉपी It is just indicated as to how did you get this ten thousand करके वैसा कि fifty thousand minus करके ना fifteen thousand subtracted and then twenty five thousand subtracted from fifty thousand raw material. So fair enough. So this question is done. Uh, you will be uh, having. Uh, I will check. तो सुनो. Uh, this question is done. Uh, last question for the day. Uh, okay. So, so last question for the day. Based on the main factor, the last concept will get over. Okay. Let's understand. Third sentence. हेलो हेलो ध्यान दीजिएगा पे अटेंशन सर एक्स लिमिटेड सप्लाईज अ स्पेयर पार्ट्स टू एन एयरक्राफ्ट कंपनी वाई लिमिटेड तो देयर इज वन कंपनी एक्स लिमिटेड व्हिच इज सप्लाईंग एयरक्राफ्ट टू वाई लिमिटेड तो हु वी आर वी आर एक्स लिमिटेड वी आर कस्टमर वी आर अ वाई ए बिजनेसमैन एंड वी आर सेलिंग नॉट एयरक्राफ्ट बट स्पेयर पार्ट्स ऑफ एन एयरक्राफ्ट लाइक यू कैन से चेयर और व्हाटएवर फैन और व्हाटएवर यू कैन अज्यूम the production capacity or engine the production capacity of x limited facilitates production of any one of the part for a particular period so either you will manufacture and sell part a or you will manufacture and sell part b but the decision will be taken any one a she will select which part the part which gives you highest contribution or highest profit the part which gives you highest profit you will select that part समझता है इतना जहां ज्यादा पैसा विल गो फॉर दैट पार्ट ओके द फॉलोइंग आर द कॉस्ट एंड अदर इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ टू डिफरेंट स्पेयर पार्ट्स डेटा इज गिवन सो नो अलग सो व्हाट इफ स्पेयर पार्ट बी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इट रिक्वायर्स सम मटेरियल व्हिच इज अलॉय करके दैट मेटल इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड फॉर एवरी यूनिट फॉर एवरी यूनिट कितना मेटल इज रिक्वायर्ड 1.6 देन हियर मशीन टाइम Machine A requires how much time? 0.6. Where that manufacturing will be done. Once that manufacturing is done in A part, maybe B part, me finishing will be done. Machine B me. And machine B me, ah, uh, ah, uh, it takes 0.5 hours. And we are trying to sell it at what price? Target price of? It is as good as which price you are selling price. At this price, we are planning to sell our product, which is target price. We are targeting this price. 1.5. Same goes here. Some data is there. There. Okay. Now, sir, in this question there is one big problem. Sir, what is the problem? In the earlier question, how many limiting factors were there? One or two? Only one. Material. In this question, there are three limiting factors. Now we will see. First of all, see it is written. See there is material which is required. It is alloy. Then machine A ka time, machine A is required. Machine B ka time is required. Total hours available with machinery A. They have said only how many hours are available. 4000 beyond which it cannot work it cannot operate beyond 4000 hours the way you cannot operate between uh, beyond this hours right ki as a theek is now machine d cannot be operated beyond this this is maximum limit beyond which it cannot operate and alloy how many kgs of raw material is available alloy available is 13000 kgs and it will be purchased at this price purchase cost and machine a ka cost is also given i will explain this later thoda thoda time mein maybe you you just tell me this are you going to manufacture both the parts no if that is the case you would have given ranking and all you have to select either a or b so ranking is not required now you will just say if i produce a what is my total profit if i produce b what is my total profit okay first of all calculate the quantity calculate the quantity tell me Based on thirteen thousand kgs of raw material, 
if I tell you to produce A, how many spare parts can be produced? Every spare part requires 1.6 kg of raw material. Did now? 8 to 1 to 5. How come? Because let us assume number of units as X. Every unit will require 1.6 kg, but at the end it cannot exceed 13,000 consumption. Number of units X let us assume. So that is going to be 13,000 divided by 1.6. Or here also 13,000 divided by 1.6. How much can we make? 8 to 1 to 5. Achha, based on machine A. Machine A has 4,000 hours ka time. And product A ke liye it requires 0.6 hours. How many quantities? This many quantities into 0.6 hours, but it cannot exceed more than 4,000. So, 4,000 upon 0.6, that is kitna? 6,000. He will take 6 only. I will tell you why. Now, don't think mathematically. It is a question based on limiting factor. If you take 6, 6, 6, 7, what will happen? You will say 6, 6, 6, 7 into how much time is required? 0.6 for every unit. So 6, 6, 6, 7 into 0.6. You will require how many hours? 4, 0, 0, 0 point. But you don't have those extra hours. Yes. There is a limiting factor, right? So you cannot produce that extra part. You have to go a step back. It will be 6, 6, 6, 6, not 6, 7. Why? You understood the reason if you take 7, so the hours will be 4000.02 but maximum hours which are available with us are only 4000. Pakka samajhta hai? So now in this question, if question is based on limiting factor, whatever units you get, you don't have to round off to the next part. Whatever is decimal, you have to round off one step back only. Each hour like extra. Achha, tell me uh, how many units can be produced with this? 4500, uh, sorry. Uh, divided by 0.5. How much is it? 9,000. understand this. If you select part A, okay, there are three limiting factors. Now please understand this. Little bit complicated. Please listen to this. If I tell you guys, you have part A. It has to pass through, it, it requires alloy, it requires machine A ka time, it requires machine B ka time. So no. Let us say alloy, kitne units available hai? 100. Raw, machine A can handle 80 units and machine B can handle 150 units. How many units you will produce? I will say 80. Reason I will understand. Understand reason why. If you select 150, whichever is higher, do you have that much alloy available? Machinery B has the capacity. It can handle 150 units. But I don't have that much raw material. I have raw material which can produce only 100 units. So can you produce 150? No. Achha, if you select 100, what will happen? Raw material is available. Sir, machinery B can handle those many units. But machinery A can produce max 80 units. So that with that help of raw material, even though you have raw material of 100 units, but machinery A has a capacity to produce only 80. Achha, you need to select whichever is lower. Let us say if I select 80. Now, do I have that much raw material? Yes, I have raw material which can produce 100. So it can easily produce 80 units. Can machinery A handle 80 units? It can produce, yes. Machinery B can do finishing of 150 units. So it is what it can easily do. So it will satisfy all conditions. Yeah. Should I repeat here, Samjha? 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 Yeah. Done. Okay. So you need to select whichever is lower. Because if you select whichever is higher, what will happen? Maybe. 150 B can handle but we don't have that much raw material karke vaisa vaisa to suno whichever is lower mein idhar kya jayega see it is like this if I explain here maybe 9000 machinery B can handle 9000 units but sir that much raw material we don't have we have only that much raw material which can produce only 8125 so how can we produce 9000 machinery B can handle but we don't have that much raw material but if you select 666 do we have that much raw material yes do we, uh, machinery can handle 666? Yes, machinery B can also handle that. Even machinery B can handle more than that. Nine, it can handle 9000 units. So it can easily handle 6666. Clear? So, either batao kitna hai ga? That is 4000 upon 0.25. Now you understand 16000. Here, 4500 upon 0.25. 818, 
one, not a two, because oh, that much time I won't be having in machinery. Round of Isha Karne ka idha. Which of is lower? A. A two one two five is lower, right? Ye A two one hai, ye twenty five hai. I used to fill my maths this week, but I am wrong. Why is that? Look, ये twenty five lower होएगा ना? इधर lower होएगा ये two one two five. एक सेकेंड इधर लोवर होएगा सिक्स 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 परसों पर क्या इतना क्लियर होता है अच्छा ये बस ऐसे ही ड्राइंग बनाया था डेट वी आर एक्सपेरिमेंट वी वो एयरक्राफ्ट का भी सब लाये स्पेयर पार्ट तो स्पेयर पार्ट ए एंड बी और उसके लिए वी रिक्वायर्ड थ्री थिंग्स अलाइव मशीन है मशीन बी एंड दिस आर माय वॉट Limiting factor. So this is just a summary. Uh, just in case even if you want to write, that's okay. I can wait. If somebody, if anybody is writing, लिख रहा है कोई? नहीं ज़रूरत नहीं है इसका तो कोई तो नहीं ना ना तो we can start with this. Yeah, please copy this. That I have intentionally written that six 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 seven, then I have striked it off so that he will remember. करें कि हाँ भाई वो पीछे आने का तो लिख के कट करना. Oh, done with this. So we have decided how many units we are going to produce. Now, if I go ahead uh, and if I read the question. Identify what is the first part of this question. What is the first part of this question? If you see, okay, what is written? Sir, so identify the spare part which will optimize contribution at the offered price. So we need to identify that spare part because of which my contribution will what increase. Acha, how do you get contribution? So first of all, sales minus variable cost. You will get contribution. Okay. Do I know the selling price of spare part A? Yes. How much? 145. So what is the next step to calculate the cost, variable cost? Acha. What is the cost of alloy? 13,000 kgs I have, and every alloy, every kg is costing you how much? 12.5. Acha. Machine variable overheads. When machinery is working, it will consume some electricity. So variable overheads per machine hour. If machinery A is working for one hour. It will cost you कितना 80 rupees for every hour, and machine B will cost you 100 rupees per hour. So tell me, when you manufacture A, we utilize कितना kg? 1.6 kg, and every kg is costing you कितना? 12.5 so 12.5 into uh, 1.6. That is अलग भी कितना? 20. Then here, 80 rupees is for every hour, and there are points of hours you use. So 48. And then fifty. So if you add these three, how much will it be? One one eight. This will be your variable cost, like alloy ka cost, machine A ka running ka cost, machine B ka running ka cost. So you are getting one forty five rupees, and you have to spend one one eight for every unit. You are generating twenty seven rupees from every unit, and you will be able to sell how many units? Bolo based on this limiting factors. Six six six. So one two three four. One seven nine nine eight two. Clear? Let me check this. One seven nine nine eight two. Let's see whether you can calculate at your end or not. Can you give me the same contribution? This is the final answer. Can you give me the contribution of B? First selling price you have to write. Give me the variable cost of it. Is that is something which you can do? Twelve point eight. Twelve point five. Sorry, twelve point six. One lakh sixty two five hundred because twenty rupees from every unit and eight one two five units. So one lakh sixty two thousand five hundred. So when you say one lakh sixty two thousand five hundred, you can see this. अच्छा, which one is giving you highest contribution? A, based on limiting factors, this many units you can produce, and this is your contribution per unit. So, I can just say one thing. 
स्क्वायर पार्ट ए विल ऑप्टिमाइज योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज इट विल गिव यू हाइएस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सो सिलेक्ट है यू विल गो विथ ए इट विल ऑप्टिमाइज इट विल इंक्रीज योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन जस्ट राइट डाउन दिस अंडरस्टैंड ओके देयर इज अ सेकंड पार्ट आल्सो व्हिच इफ यू सी तुमको बस स्टडी दिख रहा होगा फिर देखो यहां पे इफ y लिमिटेड रिड्यूसेस टारगेट प्राइस बाय कितना 10% if y limited reduces target price by 10% okay so fair enough so can i say it means see why is my customer wo bolta hai i won't pay you 145 rupees karke i selected a part i decided i will manufacture a i quoted him 145 he is saying i won't pay you this i have to, he reduces it by 10% so tell me in this case what will be revised selling price 1, 145 minus 10% 130. Fine. Just because there is reduction in selling price, does that mean your variable cost will also change? No, no, वो तो उतना ही रहेगा. Can you tell your worker? No, I will pay you less now. Can you tell your supplier that the raw material is still available? No, that will remain same. Your variable cost will remain कितना one one eight only. One thirty point five minus one one eight. So twelve point five from every unit and uh, how many units are six? Hmm. 8 3 but there is something which is mentioned in the question after that and ek to he is reducing selling price that effect i have given then offer 60 rupees per hour of unutilized machine hour what is this understand mr y says see mr y is telling us dekh i will give you 10% less i won't give you this 145 i will give you 145 minus 10% so he has bargained and he said whatever you are using machinery a and machinery b right so if there are unutilized hours now i will take those on rent unutilized matlab these are idle hours so those idle hours he will take on rent maybe and he will give you 60 rupees for every hour i have one machinery machinery b i let us say i have a uh, how many hours of machinery b 45000 and i need only how many hours let us say 4000 Can I say four hundred hours are idle? I say here, so I can give them on rent, and he will give me how many rupees? Sixty rupees. He offers sixty rupees per hour of those unutilized hours. He will take it on rent, those which I am not using. So he will take, and then he will give me sixty rupees. Now understand how many units we are producing? Six, 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 right? Which spare part we are, uh, calculate the total contribution from the spare part identified about spare part identified about is what a. We need to get the revised contribution now based on this. Tell me, machinery A has how many hours total? Four thousand. समझता है? How many units we have decided to produce? बताओ. In every unit we will take कितना? ये B तो we are not producing only. B को छोड़ दो. We are not producing B spare part B. So now can I say that six 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 we are producing and every unit will take point six. So almost everything is utilized. Three nine nine point six. That is just point four hour. Fraction will be pending, not entire one hour. So everything is utilized of machinery A. Let's talk about machinery B. I am producing how many six six six. So point five. How many hours are utilized? But I have how many hours? So how many hours are I? Uh, which we can say unutilized? And he is giving you how many rupees? Sixty. So he is give the, this much contribution he will earn from the product after that reduction in price and then whatever unutilized hours he will earn this much as a extra income as a contribution. So what is total income? One five three three. देखो समझता है पक्का? ये unutilized वाला शायद you may get confused या clear है? He said whatever unutilized hours I will give you sixty rupees for A I checked. Okay sir six sixty six units. It will consume all hours. देखो here is a working. Uh, just want to see the proper working. So it is this. कि machinery A was having four thousand hours. It was having this many hours. If you produce six six six, it will utilize almost everything. That point four का fraction no need to record. It is not even entire one hour. Here one one six are utilized. Sorry one one six are Unutilized, it can be taken on rent, and he will generate this. And this is your income statement. He is not paying you. How much? 145. Instead, he will pay you how much? Minus 10%. And 
and this one minute you can get it from here. अरे समझता ही है जो? Okay, so please copy. Unutilized. Huh? Still I wouldn't have considered unless it is entire one hour. But still, again, I can see that. See, it is not mentioned whether that fraction of hour can be taken on rent or not. Right? Uh, suppose if I say, even when I say 0.4, right? Uh, let us say here 46666 into 0.6. So maybe you will say, okay, sir, 3999.6, right? So 0.5, 0.4, one hour is between 60 minutes. So 0.4 will be 16 to 0.4, 24 minutes. So if he's paying on minute basis, I could have said, yeah, fair. Even institute says ki bhai, it is set for one hour, so we won't consider the fraction. If it is 24 minutes, so we will say, okay, if it is 45 minutes, okay, entire one hour, then only I will pay you. One, one hour, something which was indifference point or uh, not maybe we will start with that next session the uh, next concept later okay so let's have a look uh, let's start before i start with this marginal costing we need to remember as to uh, what are things we have done so please listen to this when i say marginal costing please listen to this when i say marginal costing you need to calculate marginal cost. Marginal cost bole to variable cost. So can I say sales minus variable cost contribution contribution minus uh, fixed cost you get profit. That is what you need to remember. Achha, to when I say your total sales, total sales is in two parts. Break even point and margin of safety. Achha, when I say this, ki my BEP is 40%. What does that mean? MOS is 60% and this becomes 100% karke tar. Achha, if I tell you my variable cost is 70%, what, what does it mean? PV Your PV ratio is 30% and this is 100%. Done. Now, you want to calculate what? You want to calculate break-even point, you want to calculate MOS and you want to calculate total sales. Okay, divided by. This answer you can calculate in units. Question will ask you either in units or in rupees. If question is asking that calculate BEP, uh, then fixed cost, then profit. Fixed cost plus profit. Denominator may. Contribution per unit divided by PV ratio. Now, now the thing is uh, how do you get PV ratio first of all? First of all, how do you get contribution per unit selling price minus cost? This is variable cost. Selling price minus variable cost, you get contribution per unit. How do you get PV ratio? First formula is contribution upon sales into 100. There is one more formula, change in profit upon change in sales into 100. There is the third category is like this. They will give you the variable cost is 70%. You should say your PV ratio will be kitna? 30%. Then there are two indirect methods like this. BEP ka answer you know. You know fixed cost ka answer, so PV ratio will be balancing figure. So PV ratio will be fixed cost divided by BEP into 100. And then here I can say that uh, MOS ka formula is profit upon PV ratio. So PV ratio is equal to profit upon MOS into 100. Do you remember this? Okay. Having done this, sir, if they ask you to calculate fixed cost, if in the question they ask you to calculate fixed cost, which formula you will use? BEP ka. You know BEP is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit or divided by PV ratio. So this BEP will be given by given to you, this contribution will be given to you or PV ratio will be given to you. So the balancing figure will be what you are? Fixed cost. If they try to calculate, they ask you to calculate profit, you will always make what? Income statement. That is easy. That is achha, sales minus variable cost, contribution minus fixed cost profit. Or I can say sales into what? PV ratio. Still you will get contribution minus fixed cost and you will get 
profit. You remember this much? That was the first category of the question. Basic questions were there. Uh, basic questions which were based on this. Yeah. And then, then there was a second category that is change in profit upon change in sales into 100. Achha, there was one tricky part. It was like this. Achha, if I tell you selling price will increase by 10% and nothing is mentioned. So will you increase your variable cost also? No, no, you won't increase unless they say something. If they have said specifically increase your selling price to so increase only selling price. There is no change in variable cost for in it. And suppose there is one more thing which is mentioned. In the next year your quantity will remain same. It means your total variable cost will remain same. Because your variable cost per unit is constant into quantity is also same they have said. So total variable cost will be same as previous year. Then you need to make further calculations versa. Yaad aata hai? Okay, so this is what we did. Uske baad, that was the basic question that we did. Okay, first. Now second part we started with sales mix ka if you remember. Sales mix, how many steps were there? Three steps were there. Okay, so three steps if I just talk about first. You need to calculate contribution per set. Sales mix, bole to, two products you are selling in some specific ratio. Two is to three or five is to three in one box. So step number one, calculate what? See a contribution per set. By doing this you will get what? BEP in sets. And convert that BEP in sets in BEP in units. Convert that. Okay. So now that was about this. Then there was third part which was all about opportunity cost which we discussed, opportunity cost. Opportunity cost means you have various options and you cannot select all of them, you have to select one of them. So if you choose one option, you have lost an opportunity to go for that other option, is an opportunity cost. Like you have money, so if you invest in business, you lost an opportunity to earn interest. So interest is your opportunity cost, Shai, you must have about this also. Okay, so here what I will do, let us say I have two products A and B. Achha, let us say demand will be given. Demand will be given in the question and capacity will be given. You have to take whichever is lower. If you remember, we have discussed that. It is like demand is 100, but you have a capacity of 90. Can you supply 100? No, because demand is 90. How can, sorry, you have a capacity of 90. Even though demand is 100, how can you supply 100? Capacity is only this. Achha, if I say ki you have a capacity of 190, but demand is 100. It doesn't matter you have a capacity but demand is only 100 so you can supply only 100 right so whichever is lower you have to take and multiplied by what contribution per unit you will get three contributions let us say A, B, C let us say 8000, 6000 and 4000 can you tell me A ke liye what is your opportunity cost 6000 B ke liye 8000 C ke liye 8000 whichever is higher so remaining hai. So that was the third category of the question that we did. Then fourth category of the question we started with is limiting factor. Limiting factor is any factor for which requirement is higher than its availability. It means in order to complete any subject you require 10 days but you have only 6 days. It is a limiting factor. You cannot complete entire portion because you want 10 days but you have only 6 days. You have to sacrifice something. Okay, same way. There was one question. So what you need to do? Selling price minus Variable cost you will get contribution. Let us say 100 minus 50. 200 minus 50. Chalo. So, how much will you get here? 50 rupees and let's say you will get how much either? 150. So now, if I tell you this is contribution per unit, but hours is the limiting factor. Workers ka hours are limited. They are not that much. So, if I spend uh, here, it requires only 1 hour to produce a product. And here, let us say it requires 4 hours. So can I say by investing 1 hour I will generate 50 rupees in here to generate that 150 my worker has to spend 4 hours 37.5 So given a choice which product you will produce first? A wala So much time why? Because by spending 1 hour you are getting 50 rupees here by spending wo, 150 in 4 hours So by spending 1 hour you are getting only 37.5 so that makes sense first produce A so you will never look at the contribution per unit you will always look at the contribution per limiting factor which was ours in this case clear with this then when you start your production first priority will be given here and second priority will be given over here and there is a possibility you, you may satisfy the entire demand of ranking number one but for last one ranking you may not be able to satisfy entire demand because whatever hours are remaining you have to produce Pura satisfy nahi hoega. Samajhta ye chiz? Okay, so that was the thing. Now then there was one more question. Ki sir, there were either product A you have to produce or B have to produce. Aircraft ka spare part we have to produce. 
So there were three limiting factors. Metal was limiting factor, machine A was limiting factor, machine B was limiting factor. Now what you will do? So as per material which is limited, how many units we can produce? Let us say 100. As per machine uh, B, if I talk uh, machine A, let us say, if I produce A, if this is product A, uh, if I want to produce, how many units can be produced with the help of this? So let us say it is 10.8 or let us say it is 90.8. You will take 91 or 90? 90. 90. 90. Are kal because if you take 91, you don't have those much, that, that much resources. You have to take 90. Extra picture hi aane ka hai isma. So you will take let us say 90 and here you will take 80. And while selecting this, you will take whichever is higher or whichever is lower. Whichever is lower karke. It means if you select 100, so sir, I have material. But sir, machine A, I don't have capacity to produce 100. It has a capacity of 90 only. If you select whichever is lower, so do I have material of 480? Yes. Machinery A can handle 80, machinery B can also handle 80. So, step number one, you need to get the answers, rounding of previous digit, and then take whichever is lower. Then whatever quantity you have got of A and whatever quantity you have got of B, multiplied by contribution per unit so you will get total contribution where there is highest contribution you will go with that product are you that? so this was something that we did in marginal costing again i will repeat first is your basic questions a one year wala a two year wala which is change in profit upon change in sales into 100 then we did sales mix wala question three steps then we did opportunity cost whichever is uh, lower correct quality select karne ka. then remaining is whichever is higher that is your opportunity cost then we did uh, limiting factor wala questions. A single limiting factor or a dosra wala aapka multiple limiting factor kar hai. Clear? Okay. Let's start with the next part now. Let's start with the next part. Now we are going to start with indifference point and on. Let's start. Chalo, dek sir. Toh shuru kar dek. Uh, uh, where is the solution? Acha indifference point. Have you ever heard about indifference point in any other subject like FM or somewhere? Take it out. So what is indifference point? It is that point at which we are indifferent. Right? Indifference point means it is the point at which we are indifferent. We don't care matlab, whether this or that. Karke. Example. Chalo, let's, let's take an example. You will understand. Let us say if I tell you uh, that, uh, let us say here, if you go for job A, you will get 10,000. If you go for job B, you will get 10,000. So now it doesn't matter financially, uh, both the products are giving you equal benefits. So that is what you are, indifference point. Are you clear? Okay, sir. Now let, let's read, you will understand what is this indifference point all about. Uh, let's do the question, then uh, we'll do Agika part. I will give you the time to write, do not worry about that. Uh, I will give you the time to write. Abhi ke liye apna book, where it is, uh, costing, costing, costing. Hmm. Chali, so let's start. So now, where, what is indifference point? Let's try to understand this thing uh, as to what is indifference point. Karke. Understand. Uh, let's solve the question. Only. Let's understand. Sir, let's assume it is a concept question. Let us assume that we have to decide between two vehicles. Now let us say you have cleared your inter. Then now you are going for an article ship. So you want some vehicle. Okay. So you have two options. Scooter or motorcycle and because you are articles you are thinking about money the one which is cheapest i will go for that option you don't care about design of the product and all okay as of now now let's say annual fixed cost of the scooter is fifteen thousand. like insurance or servicing whatever you can say fifteen thousand. and variable cost is 12 rupees or oh, which is very high actually just an understanding example it is okay of the average so okay the variable cost is 12 Let's uh, so here, when I say variable cost is 12, it means if your vehicle is you are traveling for one kilometer with your vehicle, so it will cost you kitna rupiah? 12 rupees. 
अच्छा देन इफ यू गो फॉर अनदर ऑप्शन सर फिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ मोटरसाइकिल इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज कितना टेन सो देर आर टू ऑप्शन विद यू अच्छा इफ आई जस्ट राइट डाउन पहले स्कूटर के लिए यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड पहले स्कूटर के लिए इफ आई जस्ट राइट डाउन देन आई विल गिव यू द टाइम टू राइट जस्ट फोकस इट वॉज कितना अगर आप देखोगे तो एक सेकेंड जरा चलो हाइड करते करते ऐसा करते हैं तो स्कूटर का फिक्स कॉस्ट कितना था जरा टेन मी फिफ्टीन एंड स्कूटर का वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ट्वेल्व हियर सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड एंड टेन राइट अच्छा गिवन अ चॉइस अच्छा इफ यू सी द फिक्स कॉस्ट वाला एलिमेंट विच विल बी मोर बेनिफिशियल टू यू वॉट डू यू थिंक What is more beneficial to you if you see this? Ah, uh, this is beneficial, right? Ah, uh, scooter is beneficial. But if you check the variable cost, which is beneficial, motorcycle. Now you are in confusion. Cash. If this is lowest, then you would have got, said that scooter के लिए जाओ करके. It is lowest cost. But now there is a confusion. What to do? If you see the fixed cost, ah, uh, what is better is your. Uh, we can say this. Now understand. What we can do in this case, we have to calculate one point which is indifference point. Indifference point मतलब for this many kilometers, if you travel, both options will give you the same cost. We can assume that indifference point as x. Let us assume indifference point as x. How will you solve? Then can I say it is your cost is twelve into x, that is variable cost plus fifteen thousand. It will give you this cost. And if I assume kilometers as x, so here I will get answer equal to uh, this is 10 into x plus 17,000. So much time. This one is for 10x. That is 10 kilometers. 10 rupees per kilometer. Number of kilometers are x. And why I said equal? Because I have assumed x as indifference point. It means at this point, cost of scooter will be equal to cost of water cycle. Let us calculate. So 12x plus 15,000. Sir, will be equal to 10x plus 17,000. So if you solve this, so 2,000 is there. That 10 comes over the 2x, right? So x is equal to 1,000. It means if you travel for 1,000, your cost will be equal. Let us check. First of all, how did you get this? First of all, it is 2,000 divided by 2, right? Actually, if you notice, 2,000 is nothing but difference of these two. That is change. And this two is nothing but difference of twelve minus ten. So I can give you the shortcut formula, which is change in fixed cost upon change in variable cost. That is two thousand upon two. You got one thousand. Let us check whatever answer you have got, whether that is right answer or not. So if you want to check that, do one thing. Ah, uh, here this uh, one lakh ke liye tell me the cost. What will be your total cost? Fifteen thousand to will come. Then it is ten thousand into twelve. For every kilometer you spend twelve rupees, so for one thousand kilometer it will be how much? Twelve thousand, and total will be twenty-seven. Please tell me what will be your total fixed cost for motorcycle? Seventeen thousand. What will be total variable cost? Ten thousand. Twenty-seven. Acha, is it same? Yes. It means this indicates at this point if. You are going to travel for one thousand kilometer. Both the options will give you the same cost. Hello, any doubt? Variable cost, multiplication, everything is clear, na? Acha, to suno. Now the question arises: below indifference point, one option will be better. Above indifference point, another option will be better. Which one will be the better option? So let us assume you travel for zero kilometers. That is below indifference point. अरे इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट इज वन थाउजेंड सो वेन एस इज जीरो तो इट इज ऑलवेज बिलो वन थाउजेंड राइट सो इन दिस केस जीरो वाले ऑप्शन में इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल यू जस्ट वॉन्ट दैट लग्जरी लेटर्स यू वॉन्ट टू बाई दैट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल सो इन दैट केस विच ऑप्शन विल बी बेटर द ऑप्शन विद द लोअर फिक्स कॉस्ट यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू इनकर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट राइट You are buying a car, or let us say buying a, that scooter or a motorcycle. You are not going to use it. Let us say zero kilometer it will be, no traveling. So no, you are not going to incur variable cost. So you will take the decision based on which cost, fixed cost. So fixed cost is lowest in which case, scooter. So अच्छा I can I say like this? Below indifference point, option with lower fixed cost is better, and then above indifference point the remaining option, the option with. Lower variable cost will be better. Let us solve this. You will understand also. Huh? Clear? Eh? 
अच्छा सो कैन से बिलो दिस स्कूटर इज बेटर एंड टेन थाउजेंड पे बहुत आर बेटर एंड अब पे अब पे विच वन विल बी बेटर तो अब पे ऑप्शन विथ लोअर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑप्शन विथ लोअर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज दिस थोड़ा थोड़ा समझता है वी आर गोइंग टू राइट दिस ओके सो नाउ अंडरस्टैंड अच्छा अच्छा जस्ट जस्ट इन केस चलो इन डिटेल इफ आई वांट टू एक्सप्लेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थोड़ा ज्यादा डिटेल में अगर क्लियर uh, होता है तो देखो सुनो मैं क्या बोलता है इफ यू आर ट्रेवलिंग फॉर जीरो किलोमीटर वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट अंडर स्कूटर फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड वॉट विल बी कॉस्ट अंडर मोटरसाइकिल सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड राइट विच इज दिस अच्छा इफ यू ट्रेवल फॉर वन किलोमीटर कैन आई सी दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन स्कू इन मोटरसाइकिल यू आर इंकरिंग टू थाउजेंड एक्स्ट्रा मेंटेनेंस का वगैरह अच्छा इफ यू ट्रेवल फॉर वन किलोमीटर वॉट विल हैपन मोटरसाइकिल विल गिव यू टू रुपीज का बेनिफिट कैसे बिकॉज मोटरसाइकिल के अंदर कॉस्ट इज नॉट ट्वेल्व रुपीज इट इज टेन रुपीज इट मीन्स हियर नाउ द कॉस्ट विल बी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेल्व हियर द कॉस्ट विल बी सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड प्लस टेन तो हियर टू थाउजेंड का एक्स्ट्रा कॉस्ट हियर टेन रुपीज का बेनिफिट अरे सॉरी टू रुपीज का बेनिफिट समझता है ऐसा करते 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 वो टू थाउजेंड इक्वल कब हो जाएगा जब थाउजेंड किलोमीटर होएगा तो ये टू रुपीज का बेनिफिट फॉर वन किलोमीटर राइट सो वन थाउजेंड इंटू टू वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर वन यू ट्रेवल तो इट विल गिव यू टू थाउजेंड का बेनिफिट सो मोटरसाइकिल विल से वॉट एवर एक्स्ट्रा कॉस्ट वी आर इनकरिंग एज अ फिक्स कॉस्ट वन वी ट्रेवल फॉर वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर आई विल गिव यू दैट रिकवरी समझ में आता है एंड आफ्टर दैट वन दैट इज बिंग रिकवर्ड नाउ द फिक्स कॉस्ट इज रिकवर्ड आफ्टर वन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर now that it will always give to 2 rupees ko jo benefit it is extra only so the option above indifference point will be option with lower variable cost uh pakka samajhta hai yes sir chalo theek hai ya to all said and done now here understand this first of all uh now uh yahan pe if you read it is a point at which what your total cost or we can say total profit under two options is same either cost Here we are considering cost. The cost of option A and option B is same. That is indifference point. Or let us say you are selling the product. So if you sell product A, you will get ten thousand ka profit. If you sell product B, you will get ten thousand ka profit. So both options will give you the same answer. That is indifference point. That if you sell one thousand units of A, or if you sell one thousand units of B, both will give you one one lakh ka profit. So one thousand is indifference point. It is a profit. Same profit or same cost. Okay. फॉर्मूला वॉट आई सेड चेंज इन फिक्स कॉस्ट अपॉन चेंज इन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट करके एंड बिलो इन डिफरेंस पॉइंट ऑप्शन विथ लोअर फिक्स कॉस्ट इज बेटर यू हैव टू जिन जीरो किलोमीटर वॉट इज बेटर ऑप्शन विथ लोअर फिक्स कॉस्ट अच्छा चलो लेट सी नाउ यू विल गिव मी द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इवन दो आई हैव सॉल्व स्टिल लेट मी जस्ट राइट डाउन अगेन द क्रक्स अच्छा या तो द क्वेश्चन इज हियर गिव मी द आंसर फॉर दिस वॉट इज योर इन डिफरेंस पॉइंट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन 1000. So your answer was 1000. Tell me which option is better. Below the difference point, below 1000. <coughs> Because option with lower fixed cost. Okay, it is better. So now let's copy this. Chalo. First copy this concept. I keep it for in difference point. so having done this I will explain that part also but एक बार पहले ना just uh, write down this is extra uh, if you see in this solution uh, just for your understanding it is there but you can write down it is extra just to confirm that yeah your answer is right करके if question comes you can directly start with that indifference point ऊपर का is your summary but still you can write down if you want so if that is done let me explain the part again so that you can correlate the things 
if this part is written. Okay, let me explain that part again. Now listen to this. Suppose if I tell you, suppose if I tell you, uh, here it is explained, but chalo, let me just write down here so that you can understand that again. Let's understand. Let us say this is my timeline. If I travel for 0 kilometers, so what is my cost under scooter? So I am incurring one fixed cost and one variable cost. So here it is, I think, uh, how much? Uh, 15,000. And here it will be 0. Because you are not like traveling, right? So motorcycle can the the same cost will be uh, achha. So motorcycle can the that cost is seventeen thousand and then dash. So I can say motorcycle can the I am incurring two thousand extra karke. Clear with this? Okay, chup. Aage padte. Let us say if I travel for one kilometer. So what is be my fixed variable cost and fixed cost here it is going to be 15,000 and here it will be 10 rupees. 10 thana, here 12 thana. 12 na, huh. Then here it will be 17,000 and it will be 10. So can I say here I am incurring 2,000 extra and here in motorcycle wale case mit 12 ka 10 ho gaya, the 2 rupees kya ho gaya? Kam. So cost has reduced. So can I say which option will be better still I can say that this. Which option will be better? Here the cost is this, which is uh, 15,000 and 1200. And my here cost is this, which is 17,000 and 10. So the cost is lowest in this case. So better is scooter, that is option with lower fixed cost. Ye to clear hai. Now, once I reach to 1000 kilometers, what happens? My this cost is 15,000. My variable cost will be kitana 12 into 12,000 and here it is 17,000 and 10 rupees for one na. So, uh, 1,000 kilo kita 10,000. What is happening under a motorcycle? You are incurring kitna extra fixed cost. Can I say that that is being recovered? Now, variable cost is for 12, you are incurring only 10. So, as a motorcycle, whatever 2000 you are incurring extra, did you recover entire variable or uh, entire fixed cost which was incurred 2000 years? Now, at this point, both options will give you the same benefit because this is also 27, this is also 27, right? But after 1000 kilometer, if I travel for one more kilometer, that is 1000 and one kilometer, what will happen? Ye cost of fixed death. But now this will be uh, 12,000 plus 12. 12,012. 12. I can directly say that this is fixed. So variable will be kitna apka? Uh, uh, 20 into 1001. That is 12012. And here it is going to be 17,000. And uh, 10,000 into 1000. 10,000. 10, right? Take the total and take this total. That is 27,012 and here it is 27,000. Which option is better now? Motorcycle. If you understand here scooter was better. It was having lowest cost and now here both were better and now it is motorcycle which is better because of that. I can just say one thing. Whatever extra fixed cost we were incurring, it got recovered when you reach this 1000 wala kilometer. 1000 into 2. Now, after that, there is no burden of fixed cost that is recovered, right? So, if after 1000 kilometer, if I travel for one extra kilometer, fixed cost ka tension hai kya? Nahi, that is recovered. Extra fixed cost is recovered. So, you will think of now only for variable cost because extra is recovered which uh, motorcycle was incurring. So, 10 and 12, so you will take this decision 10 wala then. Lower. Clear Abhi? Yeah, any doubt anybody? Done, not clear. So you just remember here, yeah, this is the point and difference point. Your option with lower fixed cost is better, your option with lower variable cost is better. Above and difference point. Thick, yes, sir. So that is what is explained. Same thing over here. 0 km 1, 1000, 1001. But thick, yes, so same. Achha, uh, again, there is one more thing. You can calculate this answer by X also. Extra method. If you want to write that is okay or not, but thick. It is like let's assume this as x, so okay, the formula is better, okay.
चलो लेट्स सी वेदर यू कैन गेट दी आंसर्स और नॉट क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 इज फ्रॉम द 26 इज फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल क्वेश्चन इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट आई डोंट नो व्हाई दे केप्ट दिस सी इफ आई नो द क्वेश्चन इन एंटर बट ठीक है लेट्स सी नो वेदर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस और नॉट लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन Sir, the following are the cost data for three alternative ways of processing clerical work for cases bought before the LC court system. कुछ नहीं समझा. Did not get. Understood. There is one court, labour court. Let's say labour court. And before labour court, the cases come. So we need to process those cases, files and all that. So I don't care about their business model. At the end, what I'm interested is fixed cost and variable cost. अच्छा फिक्स कॉस्ट इज गिवन मंथली इट मींस यू विल गेट इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट का आंसर दैट विल आल्सो बी मंथली ओनली अगर इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट का आंसर यू कैलकुलेट इफ यू से फिक्स कॉस्ट इज एनुअली तो दैट इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट इज एनुअल इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट इट इज लाइक इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन इफ आई से दैट फिक्स कॉस्ट वाज मंथली तो दैट इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट वाज कि वन मंथ में इफ 1000 किलोमीटर दैट इज इंडिफरेंस पॉइंट अच्छा ठीक है या तो यहां पे फिक्स कॉस्ट इज गिवन देन यहां यूनिट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज गिवन ऑक्युपेंसी मींस Whatever machine you need to process those cases, that machine will occupy some space. So we have to pay the rent. So rent is how much? Fifteen. One is manual machine, another one is semi-automatic machine, another one is fully automatic machine. Acha. So no. now you understand. In the earlier question, there were only two options A and B. Now we don't have A and B. We have A, B, and C. Understand? Acha. Then maintenance cost. For manual, like cycle, let us say cycle is manual. So cycle के लिए do you need to incur any maintenance वगैरह? Not that much. But if you have any vehicle which is semi-automatic and if it is fully automatic, then you have to incur major cost कर दे. Like it is even car, there is semi-automatic, automatic we can say. So यहाँ पे we can just say there is something which is automatic. You have to maintain that more because there are more parts which are there. Okay. Equipment lease semi-automatic will be costly. So we are taking it on lease. So one lakh will be the lease, twenty-five thousand will be the cost. Here, this manual we have that machine. No lease, no maintenance. I am not interested in these terms actually. What I am interested is what is my total cost? Fifteen thousand. If I go for A, what is my total cost? Forty-five thousand. Fixed cost. So this is one lakh. So I'm interested in this. I don't understand those terms. Let's say. So my final answer is fixed cost is. If I go for option A, my fixed cost will be fifteen thousand. If I go for B, my fixed cost will be forty-five. My fixed cost will be one hundred twenty-five. Unit variable cost. That is one unit. Just a one kilometer it was. So for every unit here, supplies means material here, labor will take it in a time. Again, if it is a fully automatic, you can see work is done quite faster in point five hours, point two five hours. Here it is done in. If you are with cycle or with bike, so with bike you can reach early. We can say. So here pay it is five hours and it is how much? Point five. Okay, to run the fully automatic machinery, maybe we need skilled worker. So we have to pay more instead of forty eighty. Again, we don't understand everything. Just take the total. So how much is it? Two forty. This is your variable cost per unit. Here it is one forty. Forty, right? My uh, so now I wanted two things only variable cost and fixed cost. I got that. Now I can calculate the indifference point. But sir, question arises: How many indifference points are possible? Three. 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 So three indifference points are possible either between A and B or A and C or between B and C. Okay. Okay. Chalo, based on something which I taught you, can you give me the indifference point between A and B? Chalo, A and B ka indifference point. Which formula I gave you an idea? A and B ka indifference point. Chalo, two forty minus two forty that is hundred. So hundred plus over. थर्टी थाउजेंड अपॉन हंड्रेड और थ्री हंड्रेड राइट अच्छा अच्छा तो यहाँ पे निकालते हैं बिटवीन लेट से आप बी एंड सी पहले बी एंड सी डिफरेंस डिफरेंस हंड्रेड ना वन लाइक वन फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस वन फाइव थाउजेंड वन फाइव हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड हाँ बिटवीन ए एंड सी लेट इट थोड़ा सा ध्यान से कितना फाइव फिफ्टी 
how you will say this uh, 240 and 40 cut difference which is 200 then 15,000 and 125,000 cut difference sir e 1 lakh 10,000 divided by 200 550 sir Barabar? you have like any doubt no sir first we you will write this but first understand this Achha, tell me now 300 ke niche which one is better 300 ke upar that is below 300 what is better above 300 what is better at 300 both are better a and b below 300 a is better or b is better a is better a why option with lower fixed cost so uh, out of a and b a has lower fixed cost so a is better and uh, above b is better then remain chalo a and c mein se Below 550, what is better? Below 550. Because see, this is lowest fixed cost A and C message. And then the remaining is C, you can see directly. That is option with. You can check also. Above me Option with lower fixed cost, below wale me. So here clear hai? So now you have the solution. See, just have a look. First, here it is written, question number 26 me those 15,000, 45,000. You got these three difference points, 300, 550 and 800. Then below, above, below, above, what is better? Okay. okay. Write down, then we'll proceed. So first write down this. Now I need to uh, make you understand something. Please understand having done this. A uh, few things which we need to understand is this. Timeline, it is a little bit complicated. So I want you to pay attention as to what is written. Every yeah. Now let's start. Don't write anything. Just pay attention then first of all. Tell me how many indifference points we have? Three. You need to write on the timeline with the numbers. After 300, it is 550. Is it? Uh, it is 800. If it is 400 now, so I would have written 400 first. I need that on timeline. So, 300 I have written. 300 is answer for which two points? A and B. A and B. After 300, uh, the next higher value will be 550 only. And the sky is A and C. So A and C. And then if I see it is 800, which is between B and C. So first I plotted this three difference points. In cro we can say that chronological order. Okay. So now, having done this. Below 300, which option will be better? That is already written. Below A. And above is B. As per this AC wala part, lower is A. Then upper C. Then lower fixed cost is B and then C. It not clear, eh? Now I have some confusion. Understand what confusion? I am very clear. Above, below, sorry, below 300 A is better. There is no problem with that, sir. Above 800 C is better. But there is a conflict. Where there is a conflict, there is a conflict in this category. There are two options which are existing. There are there is conflict in this category. There are two options which are existing, right? Shortcut that should that should be followed in exam if you don't have time sir a we have selected here C we have selected here what remains B B will be the best over here But now let's understand the logic first what I told you the a is here C is here Let's say B is better than here. but how why let's understand Achha, first of all uh, See so this is very much clear Below is A better and above wale mein C is better, above 800 mein. Now, pehle to one way I give you that shortcut, the second way, it is like fight wala, third is try and error. Now understand this what I am trying to convey. Sir, A is better. Achha, I have how many options? Three. Sir, A is better when it was compared with C. So out of A, B and C, I can say C Gaya, only uh, A is better I can see in these two things But I, my comparison is pending A has won, we can say A has won when it was compared with C But now A should be compared with what? B So when I make that comparison 
सो ए इज नॉट बेटर इन दिस कैटेगरी ए इज बेटर बिलो थ्री हंड्रेड एक्चुअली अबो वाले में बी इज बेटर तो बी जीत गए पहले देर इज देर वॉज अ फाइट ऑफ ए एंड सी सो ए वन देन देर इज अ फाइट बिटवीन ए एंड बी देन ए सेड आई एम बेटर हियर बी इज बेटर हो गया सो नाउ एक्चुअली बी इज बेटर समझते हैं थोड़ा ऐसे अच्छा चलो अच्छा जस्ट इन केस यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू नीड टू टेक एनी रैंडम वैल्यू और थ्री यूनिट से लेकर फाइव फिफ्टी के बीच में टेक एनी यूनिट्स हाँ तो आई वॉज अगर तो देखो फोर हंड्रेड देखो सो दैट इज अ कॉमन थिंग लाइक इन एवरी क्लास वन आई से एवरी बडी सर फोर हंड्रेड ओनली सो ना लेट्स इजी फिगर नो प्रॉब्लम एकदम बीच में वैसा तो सुनो सो कैन यू जस्ट टेल मी फॉर फोर हंड्रेड वॉट विल यू माई कॉस्ट ऑफ ए इक्विपमेंट इफ आई यूज इक्विपमेंट ए वट इज माई टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर फोर हंड्रेड टेल मी Do you understand 400 into 240? Because a unit का cost 240 है तो 400 units का कितना? One lakh eleven thousand. That is going to be my cost. अच्छा instead if I go for option B for 400 units तो 400 units में तो 140 plus 45 thousand. One lakh. So now only you can tell me based on this also if any confusion take any random value. If there are various options. Take any random figure between this and calculate the cost at each machinery. The machinery which gives you lowest cost is the best machinery. So I got 400 units and B is giving me the lowest cost. समझाइए? अच्छा चल उस हिसाब से. Now इधर भी देखो तुमको समझता है क्या? 550 में below A is better, above C is better. So C has when C is winning over here, but when C was compared with A, C is winning. But C should be compared with B also. So if you compare B, so C is better here in this category. Actually, B is better. So again, B is the only better option. ये नहीं समझता. Take any random value. Now we will take for a bigger sum value, six seventy five. इन जान बोल के. I know that के लिए उससे easy only. So six hundred or seven hundred. So I said six seventy five. Calculate cost for six seventy five. Uh, B के लिए. B के लिए six seventy five units का cost. One lakh. Thirty-nine thousand, okay. Six seventy-five units every unit का forty rupees plus one lakh twenty-five thousand. One lakh fifty-two, right? One thirty-nine and one fifty-two. Okay, so let's check. So one thirty-nine five hundred. अच्छा one thirty-nine five hundred. Okay, five hundred था ना? तो which option is better? B. So even you can see with this calculation also B is better. Otherwise in examination, don't use your brain. A year. सी ही आर वॉट रिम बी उसको भी तो थोड़ा इम्पोर्टेंस देने का सो बी इज हियर वैसा क्या वैसा ही होगा ठीक है सो कैन आई सी दिस देन हियर दिस आपका इन दिस एंटायर कैटेगरी ए बी हार गया और आपका सी बी हार गया हो इज बेटर देन बी इज बेटर सो हाउ योर टाइम लाइन विल बी अंडरस्टैंड बिलो थ्री हंड्रेड ए इज बेटर अबो एट हंड्रेड सी इज बेटर क्लियर है एंड 300 से लेके 800 के बीच में होइस बेटर बी एंड एंड एट 300 होइस बेटर बोथ विल गिव यू सेम आंसर हियर एट 800 बोथ विल गिव इट इज लाइक दिस टाइमलाइन इट इज 300 नाउ इट इज 800 हियर ए इज बेटर हियर बी इज बेटर हियर सी इज बेटर हियर इट वाज ए एंड बी हियर इट वाज बी एंड सी सो फर्स्ट टाइमलाइन इज दिस सेकंड टाइमलाइन इज एट 300 बोथ आर बेटर इन दिस रेंज बी इज बेटर And at 800 B and C, समझता ये चीज? Clear है कि doubt है? ये थोड़ा difficult है वैसे question. I don't know तुमको ऐसा लगा या समझा पता नहीं? वैसे समझा ना maybe it is difficult. It was there in C A panel. मतलब ये थोड़ा सा complicated है. This one is quite complicated. If you can understand, then it is well and good. If you don't understand, then it is this, this, this. Okay. अच्छा सुनो 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 सुनो. In the question there is one more thing. Calculate indifference point and interpret your results. Calculation of three indifference points. But it interpretation means that range you need to decide. What is better where? करके अच्छा अच्छा again there is some manipulation. You can see diplomatic answer. If present case load is कितना 600 and it is expected to go up to 850 in near future, select most appropriate option. So Present case load is 600 and it will go up to 650. So as per present case load, what is better? B 600 one. And if you consider future also, then which option will be better? C. 
तो एज पर द प्रेजेंट केस लॉक सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑप्शन बी इज बेटर बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपेक्टेड इफ यू कंसिडर दैट ऑल्सो सी विल बी द बेटर ऑप्शन चलो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट दिस इंटरप्रिटेशन इंटरप्रिटेशन इज ओनली दिस बट बिफोर दैट दिस इज फॉर आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग नॉट टू रिटर्न इन एग्जाम बट आई रिकमेंड यू टू राइट दिस पार्ट बट समझना चाहिए तो उस हिसाब से लिखो पहले यू ड्रॉ द लाइन देन थ्री थिंग्स देखो आई विल टेल यू हैज टू हाउ इट शुड बी रिटर्न फॉर दर इज अ लाइन देन आई विल प्लॉट दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स देन वॉट इज बेटर वेयर वॉट इज बेटर वेयर वॉट इज बेटर वेयर वैसा देन आई विल से दिस इज कन्फर्म दिस इज कन्फर्म दिस इज बी और आई विल से कि ये हार गया ये जीत गया वैसा नाउ राइट डाउन इंटरप्रिटेशन प्लीज कॉप दिस Okay, so this is your working. I hope you guys are done with this, so that I will switch to the next page. Done. Exact. Huh. Sorry. At five fifty. Huh. What I am saying at 550, right? A and C both were better. See, first of all, the timeline was like this: uh, A B 300, A C 550, and then B C it was 800. So we said here A is better. We said here C is better, right? A and C are not better. Given a choice, what will you select? Will you select A, C, or B? B. Then why will you write A and C? Are I as a I just need to give the management will report that by this they can take the decision. If you say sir at 550 A and C will give you the same cost, okay. But B will give you lower cost than this. Yes, we will go for B then. What is the need of writing this? अच्छा हो गया सो दिस इज डन सो वी आर डन विद दिस पॉइंट आल्सो बिकॉज नहीं देयर इज वन मोर क्वेश्चन अगेन दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम सी ए फाइनल एंड इट इज एडेड रिसेंटली इन योर बुक व्हिच इज अगेन थोड़ा खतरनाक सा क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन नंबर 27 या लेट्स सी दिस क्वेश्चन 27 Maybe today we will write up this chapter. Only few things are left. Uh, okay. So let's have a look for this question, which is question number twenty-seven. Take care. So as to what is given, like let's see this. Okay. So sir, if I read this, okay, understand. X Y Limited makes two products A and B. Okay, sir. Whose respective fixed cost are F1 and F2. So we make two products uh, whose respective fixed costs are what F1 and F2. Okay. Okay. Let's make the summary so that uh, the thing will be quite easy for me. So yeah. Do one thing. Ah, uh, here. Pe first of all, one second. So now, first of all, how many products I have? Uh, two. So I said it is x and y. You can check this. You can just uh, focus. Then you can write down at your end. As of now, just focus. I can say I have two products. So I made this. The particular is x and y. I have two products. So, okay. Then I said, sir, sir, fixed cost are f1 and f2. Or if not, give the other. Then I would have assumed x and y. But still, it is given a i a f1 and f2. So okay, I have written that my fixed cost is f1 here and f2 here. X unit is F1, Y unit is F2. Okay. So you are given that the unit contribution. Unit contribution. बोले तो contribution per unit, one unit का of Y is one fifth less than the unit contribution of X. अच्छा. Suppose if I tell you unit contribution of X is one rupee, can you tell me unit contribution of Y? Point. Point eight. Why it is one fifth less than unit contribution of x? So one fifth का मतलब होता है कैल्सी के ऊपर zero point 
if I so one upon pi is zero point two. So point two less than that. That is, it is cannot be point n. So if I assume contribution as c. So if it is c, that is one c. So it will be point eight c. So we can understand that unit contribution. I don't know the values, but I know this ratio. That if unit contribution here is c. Then it is going to be point eight C. It is written also. Let us assume contribution for product X is C. So Y का कितना हो जाएगा? One point five means one upon five. Can you be able to do this point two? So point two से कम करने का. Or you can do that one point five अगर आप तो let us denominator को equal करके अगर आप वो जनरेट तो भी ठीक है. It is point eight C. I can simply say clear with this. Okay. So now आगे. Sir. Uh, the total of F1 and F2 is कितना one lakh fifty thousand total fixed cost F1 F2 total fixed cost will be one lakh fifty thousand okay sir okay now sir break even point of X is eighteen hundred units and for अच्छा okay, tell me in order to calculate break even point of X I will give you three option you will consider F1 F2 or one lakh fifty thousand for calculation of break even point of अरे first of all what is the formula of break even point fixed cost divided by contribution per unit if I this is in units तो sir fixed cost में what will come F1 F2 और one lakh fifty F1 will come ना because it is BP of X right so you will write only that fixed cost which is connected with product X तुमको समझता ही है तो that is specified also for BP of X F2 is not considered. So we can say thank you. Even if it is not given, we would have considered only F1. Do you understand? Yes. So it it is B B 1800 units only for X. It is given. Okay. 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 Ah, 3000 units is the indifference point. Okay. Between X and Y. That is X and Y make equal profit at 3000 units. So if you say 3000 units, profit of X will be equal to profit of Y that is indifference but equal profits. Considering there here वो ऐसा नहीं वो there है please that is there. So considering their respective fixed cost ठीक है it means when you see 3000 profit, so it is after subtracting what? Fixed cost. 3000 profit. Uh, 3000 units if you sell, so after subtracting fixed cost and whatever profit you get, that profit will be equal in both the cases. If you sell 3000 units, so 3000 is what your indifference point. 3000 units is an equal profit, that is the indifference point, is 3000. Now, uh, there is no inventory built up as whatever is produced is sold. No opening closing stock. Find out. F1, F2, X and Y. If you want, I can give you some time to try this. But if you can try it out. Two, three minutes. Uh, you give me a value of what? You give me value of this. Uh, let's say F1. Give me value of F1. Chalo. I will give you some time to try the data, the summary is in front of you then I will give you the time to write also now so first if you want to write then you can write that is also okay but I will say first try the right part of my yeah 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 so which three equations are there it's a press point the equation can be made BP I need F1 I will explain the answer but first calculate at your end कितना आया x 50 40 1800 contribution contribution 50 done अच्छा एक बार in summary can you just tell me what you did फटाफट फटाफट या लंबा process है लंबा process It is actually complicated, uh, very complicated, I said. 
ऐसा बोलने के बाद आधे लोगों ने बोला तो वी वोट ट्राई ओनली देन वैसा इफ इट इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देन वाई शुड वी ट्राई Write down this, or uh, then I will uh, explain again the part. First, write down this part. Let's have a look. What should be the approach? Let's understand to solve this question. First of all, there are three equations which are possible. One is this. One is B K of B P ka formula. The another one is the interference point ka. Three things are there. Acha one by one. If I get value of f one and f two, देखो मैं समझाता हूँ. चलो एक सबसे पहले. B P is given in the question 18 and 18 C. What is the formula for BEP? Tell me first of all. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit, and this BEP is 1800, right? Do you know what is fixed cost? क्या लिख दोगे बोलो? F1 because you are going for product tax, and divided by contribution per unit is what? C. So F1 upon C. Can I say F1 is equal to 1800 C? So I have got value as 1800 C. If I get value of F2 in terms of C, my job is done. I have got value of 18 F1 का 1800 C. If this is also in some C, तो वो C का common you can get the answer. तो one equation I have used कौन सा BP का. देखो you can see this 1800 करके, right? Now I need to use second equation. तो second equation कौन सा है आपका? Indifference point का. Now if you use indifference point का equation, let's understand this thing. First of all, how do you get profit? Indifference point means at 3,000 units both are showing equal profit. Profit is nothing but can I say first of all a uh, contribution uh, per unit multiplied by quantity you will get total contribution minus fixed cost you will get profit. Contribution एक unit से कितना मिलता है multiplied by quantity तो you will get total contribution minus fixed cost you will get profit. Same goes here. We can say contribution per unit multiplied by quantity. You will get total contribution minus fixed cost. You will get profit. Let's do this for ये अपना product x and y. दोनों का profit equal रहेगा. At what units? Three thousand. What is your contribution that you have assumed? C. So that is gonna be three thousand C. समझता है? C into three thousand. That is three thousand C. And what is your fixed cost for this x? F one. If you subtract that F1, you will get the answer. Or I can simply say F1 का value also I know, which is 1800 C, right? Now, do I can I get this? Yes. What is my contribution? 0.8 C. And how many units? 3000. Because at 3000 units both will give you the equal profit. So 3000 into 0.8. So that is going to be 2400 C minus F2. I need F2 in terms of C. पहले ये F2 is equal to कितना F2 positive हो जाएगा opposite side पे if it comes and then if it goes on that side तो 2400 C plus 1800 C minus 3000 C समझता है आता ये क्या किया वो इधर आया तो positive हो गया Fn is positive now 2400 plus 1800 minus 3000 कितना 1200 C clear अच्छा you it was 1800 C it is 1200 C. So, total is, sir, 3000 C. So, 150,000 divided by 3000. So, 50. C cancer will be 50. So, if this is kitna, 50. This will be kitna, uh, 50 ka point eight forty. And F1 will be kitna, so F1 ka value is 1800 C. So 50 into 1800 that is 90,000 and it is 1200 says that 1200 into 50. So this is your answer. 50, 40 and 90, 60. Clear hota hai hai? Dekho, 50, 40, 50, 40 and then 90,000, 60,000 and these are cash. First you will use BEP ka formula, then you will use indifference ka point ka formula, so you will get F1 and F2 in terms of C and you will solve that and you will get C ka value. ओके सो लेट्स राइट डाउन दिस नो चलो आई थिंक यहाँ तक आपने लिख लिया था ये ऊपर वाला पार्ट यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वर्किंग वर्ड नंबर टू फर्स्ट दे हैव गिवन इस दिस ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट सो यू विल कैलकुलेट दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सी एम पॉइंट
ओके सो फाइनली आई कैन से दैट वी आर डन विद दिस पार्ट व्हिच इज कौन सा वाला सीरीज आपका इनडिफरेंस पॉइंट का इनडिफरेंस पॉइंट का अब वी डिड हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चंस जस्ट टू गिव यू एन आईडिया वी डिड सी पहला देयर वाज अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 25 After that you did question number 26 सिक्स जहाँ पे थ्री डिफरेंट पॉइंट वर्क देर तो ए सी बीच में बी देन देर वॉज सम इक्वेशन एफ वन प्लस एफ टू तो यू नीड टू गेट एफ वन का वैल्यू एफ टू का वैल्यू एंड देन यूल इक्वेट एंड देन यूल सॉल्व दैट ओके ना देर आर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन ग्राफ्स ऑल्सो सो क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन ग्राफ्स नहीं बाद में विल डू दाउस ओके अभी इसके बाद आई थिंक वट कम्स इज योर ग्राफ वाला ठीक है तो चलो तो चलो सीक्वेंस में लेट्स डू द ग्राफ वाला क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गो विद दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट सो लेट्स कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट अच्छा इफ यू चेक द क्वेश्चन Uh, now you need to make graph. Uh, chances are very less that question will come from this point. Very less, but chances are there. I did not say that नहीं आएगा. There is a difference between that. Okay, so now you will say sir, ने बोला था नहीं आएगा. Why it came in exam? करके I am saying chances are less. Okay, it is not that important, but it can come. That attempt can be your attempt also. So see. Where well, chances are less. So now understand, sir. Sales minus variable cost, contribution minus fixed cost, profit. Let me write. First, sales is given. Then, fixed cost is given. Then, net profit is given. Sorry, uh, then how? Huh? Fixed cost. Then this one lakh is given. Can I say this is forty? So, this portion is you can easily get. This is hundred. This is sixty. And this is how much? Forty. Fixed cost. Can you don't calculate? This forty percent is your PV ratio. If you understand. तो क्वेश्चन में पहला रे, आ, एक रिक्वायरमेंट का आंसर इज दर फोर्टी परसेंट कैन यू गिव मी सेकेंड एक और रिक्वायरमेंट का आंसर व्हाट इज ब्रेक के वन पॉइंट थर्टी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी परसेंट थर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट दैट इज फिक्स वॉट इज योर मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव शॉर्टकट का ऐसा वन लैख में से सेवेंटी फाइव इज बी पी तो ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी एम एस ओवर एंड अबाउ और एल्स यू कैन से प्रॉफिट अपॉन पी वी रेशो सो टेन थाउजेंड अपॉन फोर्टी टू से ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज इट डिफिकल्ट नो बट द समथिंग विच इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इज ऑल्सो ड्रॉ नाउ ड्रॉइंग यू मस्ट बी इफ यू सी दिस तो लेट सी दैट ड्रॉ तो देखो तो देखो ड्रॉ में क्या लिखा गया है क्या लिखा गया ब्रेक इवन चार्ट शोइंग द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड प्रॉफिट समथिंग वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ओके दैट वील डू बट बिफोर दैट द आंसर्स यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट सो प्लीज कैलकुलेट दिस अच्छा वन मोर थिंग आई अज्यूम्ड वन थिंग व्हाट बिकॉज यू इफ इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ यू नीड क्वांटिटीज आल्सो सो यू नीड टू अज्यूम दैट इज नॉट गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव अज्यूम्ड सेलिंग प्राइस एज 10 इफ यू अज्यूम सेलिंग प्राइस एज 10 व्हाट विल बी योर टोटल सेल्स क्वांटिटी 10000 1 lakh upon 10 And what will be your BEP quantity? Seventy-five thousand upon ten. That is seven thousand five hundred. And MOS will be two thousand five hundred. So just copy this. Then we'll discuss. Working uh, note number one. This is calculations. Then there is one graph we have to draw. Like that. चलो, 1 लाख का सेल्स इज द अच्छा 1 लाख का सेल्स इज द देन हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आर देयर 
10,000. So see the graph will be like this. You will say the points will be like this. Ki, sir, the, here the amounts are there, rupees. So 1 lakh is the highest value and how many units maximum? 10,000. So first of all, are you clear with this part? The, asha, now you need to do those centimeters and all. So you will see, ki, let's assume 1 centimeter is equal to 10,000 units. 10, 70 rupees. And here, 1 centimeter is equal to 1,000 units. Have you ever written like this? Okay, let's go. Now, here, this part is clear and this part is clear. Okay, now, positive. now understand. Tell me, if 10,000 units you sell, what is going to be your sales value? 1 lakh. So, see, what I did. If I sell 10,000 units, my sales value will be 1 lakh. So, I draw one point over here. If my sales units are 0, my sales value will be 0. Sales line sum job. First, I will say if my sales is 10,000, my sales value will be 1 lakh. So, this is the point. So, I just draw this. Clear? Let's talk about variable cost. If your sales is 10,000 units, what is going to be your variable cost? 10,000 units. 60,000. So 10,000 units for your variable cost is this. Which is 60,000 you can see. So you will draw this one. If your sales is 0, quantity is 0, your variable cost is also 0, no need to incur. So I hope two lines are clear till now. Achha, if I talk about this now, uh, fixed cost for a line. Fixed cost for a line. If your sales is uh, if your sales is uh, 10,000 units, what is your fixed cost? 30. If your sales is 0, still your fixed cost is 30. So this line is like this. Doesn't matter what is your quantity, increase, decrease, your units are whether increasing or not. That fixed cost, even at 0, it will be 30,000. So three lines, you understand this value sales line, which is 1 lakh, then this is 60,000, then it is 0, and this is 30,000, irrespective of quantity. Achha. Asha, Asha, H is all. They are asking us to calculate break even chart. Break even chart is that point where total revenue is equal to total cost. Do you understand this? Where all revenue, that is your jitna bhi bhai saaya, utna chala gaya kai ke. Okay. How do you get revenue? Revenue bole to sales. Then cost means variable plus fix. Asha, can you tell me what is, to, now I need one line, variable plus fix cost. At one, uh, at 10,000 units, at 10,000 units, what is your total cost? Tell me. 90. I hope again that is something understood that uh, 60 and 30 that is 90,000. At 0 units what will be your total cost? 30,000. Why variable cost will be 0, 0 units. But still fixed cost will be there which is 30,000. So if I might, uh, if I draw my line like this, ki at 10,000 units what will be my total cost? 90,000. That is 60 plus 30. 60,000 variable, 30,000 fixed. Achha, if I talk about this, it will not go to 0, it will go to 30. Because it is a total cost. So even if you produce 0 units, even the variable cost is 0, but fixed cost will be there. Clear? So first is sales line, then there is a variable cost ka line, then I draw this fixed cost ka line, then there is a total cost ka line. All lines are done. Achha, what is the point where sales line is equal to total cost line? That is indifference point. That is both are equal. So both are intersecting, you can see they go either. So the point where they are intersecting is not is but this. Actually, this may be lines which are but they But okay, there are small small lines which are there. So graph paper is pura, but okay. even these lines you can't see. There are also lines. Are wo, but wo, wo thoda pata wo. brightness ye hai. But take a graph, graph, hai, paper, something. So, so, can I say uh, where both are intersecting? That is my break even point where my total sales ka line and my total cost ka line where both are intersecting. That is both are equal. Achha, if I need BP in units, so I will go here. The answer will be uh, rupees, 75,000 rupees. Mein. Are it in units if I need the answer will be 7000. So I have done with my break even chart. I wanted two lines only actually. 
cross line and sales line and where they intersect that is where we will be rupees mein answer idhar aayega units mein answer will get acha suno suno there is one more thing okay suno showing what chart showing contribution and acha contribution is difference of what and what कॉन्डेंट दिस दिस इज यूर सेल्स उस सेल्स में सिर्फ आई रिमूव दिस पार्ट विच इज विच कॉस्ट सो वॉट रिमेन्स इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दिस इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एरिया दिस इज पूरा सेल्स एरिया इफ आई रिमूव दिस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एरिया विच इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट लाइन यू कैन सी सो वॉट अदर सिंपल माई सेल्स वॉज टोटल कितना वन लैक अच्छा उसमें से वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वॉज कितना Sixty if you check in, so forty thousand is your contribution. That is this area. Clear? So you will see here the local difference. Sales and variable cost के बीच का difference is your contribution area. अच्छा they are asking one more thing. Showing contribution and what? Profit is difference between what? Total sales minus total cost. You will get profit. So total sales minus so total sales line is total cost line is this. It is like. Tell me at ten thousand, what is your sales? One lakh. At ten thousand, what is your total cost? Ninety. So it is like your total. This is your total sales line. This means this is your total cost. This is your variable. समझता ही है? अच्छा, these are parallel to each other. The reason fixed cost. This is variable plus. If I just top up all thirty thousand, you will get this your total cost line. So from see this, this is your total sales. If I subtract this, you get contribution. From this, if I subtract this fixed cost वाला part also, so this profit left. और या तो total sales में से total cost is removed. What remains is profit. There is no difference between these two lines. अच्छा here it is a loss. Why? Because this is BEP. Below BEP there will be loss and the revenue line is lower. You can see this is revenue. कॉस्ट इज हायर क्या पता कितना समझा समझा अच्छा यू वांट टू मेक दिस तो मेक इट एकदम अच्छे से अदरवाइज मेक बनना ही लगता सुनो नाउ आई विल टेल यू फर्स्ट व्हाट यू कैन डू जितना भी सेंटर ड्रॉ द पहले ये टेन टेन का ड्रॉ करो देन फर्स्ट सेल्स लाइन यू विल ड्रॉ फर्स्ट यू विल ड्रॉ सेल्स लाइन देन यू कैन डू वेरी विद कॉस्ट लाइन देन फिक्स कॉस्ट लाइन देन बेस्ड ऑन दीस टू कॉस्ट यू विल ड्रॉ टोटल कॉस्ट लाइन खुद से ड्रॉ करो देखो कितना अच्छे से बन पाता है तुम लोगों से इंटरसेक्ट वगैरह बराबर होता है क्या सब आंसर ट्राई दिस कौन सा क्वेश्चन किया क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 नाउ एवरीबॉडी लेट्स कम टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज गोना बी क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 लेट्स आउ इट इज अभी आपका राइट जाना चाहिए इफ इट वाज नॉट राइट इसके पहले जब हमने कर रहा था सॉल्यूशन तो देखो तो देखो व्हाट इज मेंशन ओवर हियर लेट्स रीड क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 सर यू आर गिवन द फॉलोइंग डेटा फॉर द कमिंग ईयर फॉर अ फैक्ट तो सम डेटा इज गिवन फॉर द कमिंग ईयर करके व्हाट इज गिवन इफ यू चेक बजटेड आउटपुट इज एट लाइक यूनिट्स तो यू आर गोइंग यू आर प्लानिंग टू सेल एट लाइक यूनिट्स फिक्स कॉस्ट विल बी फोर्टी थाउजेंड वेरिएबल एक्सपेंसेस इज हंड्रेड सेलिंग प्राइस इज टू हंड्रेड अच्छा व्हाट इज गन बी योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हंड्रेड टू वन इट इज योर सेलिंग प्राइस योर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज हंड्रेड तो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज हंड्रेड ओके कैन यू गिव मी द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट इन यूनिट्स Yes sir, forty lakh is my cost. Uh, every unit will give me hundred rupees. So forty lakh के लिए I have to sell how many units? This is gonna be your break even. लेकिन sir answer निकाल के नहीं you need to draw that with on the graph and you need to show that chart showing the break even point. So first 
Once I know my answer is forty thousand, so I hope you understand there will be some intersection that will happen and that will be forty thousand. So my timeline should be for more than forty thousand. Why? Because intersection will happen at forty thousand. Otherwise, if you make up to forty thousand, it will look like this. If you want to that intersection, we'll have to go a little further. In the previous question, your break-even point was I think seventy-five thousand. And you made up to one lakh, right? So that will be your intersection. See. So let's say uh, you can go up to any value. Let us say you will make uh, eight lakh units. We won't go for eight, eight lakh units. This is too much. We will go for eighty uh, thousand or something. That's okay. Sixty thousand. Chalo. Acha first of all. Acha revise break-even point. Even calculate that also. Read B part and give me revise break-even point. Read B part and give me what is your revised break-even point after making the necessary changes. That is, selling price has reduced it to. I hope you understand. Reduced to and reduced by. Reduced to six one eighty. So one eighty is revised selling price variable cost. Will it change? No, na. So it will be eighty. So ah fifty thousand. Right. So two break-even points are there. Forty and fifty. So my timeline should be for more than fifty thousand. So let's say sixty, eighty, whatever you can take. Let's take a uh, fifty thousand. Oh, sorry, sixty thousand. They go first of all. This answer. First of all, yeah, this is T Y K stands for test your knowledge. It means if you refer module by chance, if you get time. So there are two parts. One is illustration, another one is test your knowledge. ओके दैट इज टू टेस्ट योर नॉलेज फिर तुमको आता तो जस्ट अ रेफरेंस वाज गिवन समवन आस्क की कहां पे है तो आई सेड कि दिस क्वेश्चन करके ठीक है सो एनी व्हिच वाज ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आर फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल यू कैन क्रॉस और ई पाई कभी देखना हो तो नाउ अभी के लिए राइट डाउन दिस देन वी विल मेक अ ग्राफ योर सेलिंग प्राइस वाज 200 एंड ऑल करके यू कैन इग्नोर दिस पार्ट इफ यू वांट चलेगा यू कैन डायरेक्टली राइट दिस वी Pick up comfortable. You can directly go for this. Oh, if that is done, uh, we'll go for the graph. Okay. So having done that, uh, let's just understand the graph now. Understand? Actually, we'll give you the rough idea. You just tell me the graph how it will look. Let's say just then we, I will show you that real graph. Let's say this is graph. ओके तो इट विल गो अप टू हमिंग यूनिट्स फोर्टी फिफ्टी है तो वी विल गो अप टू सिक्सटी लेटर्स टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड थर्टी जस्ट अ रफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग देन आई विल शो यू दैट मेन ग्राफ ऑन सो फिफ्टी एंड देन लेटर्स इज सिक्सटी जस्ट अ रफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग अच्छा वैल्यूज इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अच्छा एट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड यूनिट्स वॉट विल बी योर सेल्स वैल्यू मैक्सिमम वैल्यू तो सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इंटू टू हंड्रेड दैट इज अभी ट्वेल्व लैक So we can go up to this. Let us say one, two, three, four. I I went there. I think one, two, three, four. Okay, no, twenty lakhs. Okay, that is better. That is twenty lakhs, forty lakhs, uh, sixty, eighty, hundred, one twenty lakhs. Right? First, I dropped it. Which is what? Is it? Bravo, right? No, that is perfect. Now, sir. Now I will say like this, sir. At I need BP, so I need two lines. I need two lines. One is uh, total cost ka, one is sales ka. Tell me, at sixty thousand units, what will be your sales value? A base first, pehle for first break your point into two hundred. Kitna one lakh twenty. Do you understand? This is sales line. What is cost line? So what is your fixed cost, sir? So uh, your fixed cost is forty uh, lakhs. So ye to aayega hi aayega. समझ रहे हैं ना ना आई दिस इज सेल्स लाइन आई नीड कॉस्ट का लाइन टेल मी एट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड यूनिट वॉट विल बी योर टोटल कॉस्ट यू विल से सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इन टू पहले तो हंड्रेड दैट इज सिक्सटी लैक्स प्लस फोर्टी लैक्स वेरिएबल के बाद फिक्स तो हंड्रेड लैक्स डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेर विल इट इंटरसेक्ट एट फोर्टी थाउजेंड और एट जीरो फोर्टी फोर्टी लैक्स सॉरी फोर्टी लैक्स और जीरो फोर्टी लैक्स वाई It it contains its cost also. So ये इधर किधर तो ऐसा connect होगा और ये फिर इधर आ जाएगा. अरे तो obviously not. हाँ. So now the next line will be now. Now the revised line. See अच्छा वाला देखो ये. But now I don't know. I am not interested in drawing that. ठीक है बोला. देखो ये. ये अभी इसमें देखो सुनो. 
वन इज अ सेल्स लाइन द कॉस्ट लाइन वेर इट इंटरसेक्टेड दैट इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड अच्छा सर नाउ नाउ देर इज सम चेंज वॉट इज चेंज वॉट इज गोइंग टू चेंज अच्छा just because you change your selling price in the second requirement if you observe that there is reduction in selling price because of reduction in selling price does it have any impact on your cost variable fix will remain same matlab which line will remain same cost ka variable fix zone mein laake jo cost ka now i need which line sales ka revised line tell me at 60000 what is revised the sales value it is now into 180 because now revised selling price is 180 so 60000 into 180 sir Sir, that is one, two, four, five, one crore eight lakh. That is hundred, one zero eight lakhs. अच्छा, this is कितना gap? Twenty lakh का gap. If I do this half, तो ये इसमें one one zero lakhs आ जाएगा. I don't want one one zero. I need one zero eight. तो somewhere ऐसा समझो इधर किधर आएगा. वापस ही zero पैसा जाएगा. तो अभी थोड़ा सा इस side किधर तो connect होएगा. तो ये भी कितना रहेगा फिफ्टी थोड़ा समझ में आ जाता है अच्छा तो नाउ दैट इज गोना बी द थिंग तो दिस इज रिवाइज थिंग देखो ये ये ऊपर का बस समझाने का था ये वो लेकिन दिस इज वन ऑफ द इजीस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन एक्स्ट्रा में देखो ये सी नाउ दिस इज रिवाइज सेल्स नहीं ना दिस इज रिवाइज वाला ये है आपका इफ द सेलिंग प्राइस इज दिस टू एंड दिस इज इफ द सेलिंग प्राइज इज 180 तो आपका ये रिवाइज सेल्स लाइन हो जाएगा एंड देन ये इंटरसेक्ट इधर होता है देखो ये 50,000 थाउजेंड पर कॉस्ट विल नॉट चेंज अभी अभी आई जस्ट गिव यू एन आइडिया हाउ इट विल रिट आउट एक बार ड्रॉ कर लो चलो लास्ट टाइम टू क्वेश्चन आर देयर फॉर ग्राफ पहले यू नीड टू ड्रॉ दैट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड का पेज तो वन ट्वेंटी तो आई गिव एन आइडिया ऑल्सो ड्रॉ So, uh, if that's done, we'll start. So that's it. Uh, we are done with the graph key questions. Also, there were two questions. There is one more extra question in the module. I will discuss that also later. But अभी के लिए we are done with this. Okay. So we are done with the graph part. Now, nah. now if I proceed, uh, here we go. This concept of absorption, which is there. Okay. ठीक है. Uh, graph we are done with. Indifference point we are done with. Limiting factor, opportunity cost, sales mix. Okay. Now there is a merger of the plant and shut down. Okay, okay. ठीक है. So now, which questions we have to solve after that is uh, there is a summary which is there. Okay, ठीक है. It is like see, just to give you an idea, like I generally have a habit. I used to revise so like key sales minus variable cost, you get contribution minus fixed cost. Then total sales has two parts, B P and M I S. Then I will say that B P means that this, this, this. If you remember, then P P ratio ke methods change contribution upon sales into 100, change in profit upon change in sales into 100, variable cost wala. Then B P and M I S wala formula. Then if this is 40, this is 60, versa. There is merger which we are not done with. This we are not done with. We are done with sales mix three steps. If you remember, contribution per set, B P in sets, B P in units. Then opportunity cost, whichever is lower. Get the answer which of this lower, and then after you get this, which of this lower, then you need to select what you need to say into which of is a uh, higher after these two, right? Now this is limiting factor. Well, a question if you remember, sales minus variable cost. Okay, you got that. Uh, then there was uh, two spare parts A and B. If you remember, uh, again, which can there be A, B, C, which of this lowest? You have to select multiplied by contribution where there is highest contribution. You will go with that. Then we start with indifference point also A and B. We have two options. So change in fixed cost upon change in variable cost, you get answer. Below indifference point, what is better? Fixed cost is the come here. Whose fixed cost is lower? Above indifference point, whose fixed cost is? Or uh, whose variable cost is lower? Yada ta? Then there are three indifference points. So if there are three indifference points, so in this case we have a data here. Pe bhi. Acha. Now last time we did is a graph character. So just to give you an idea, we will we will keep a revision also. When once the topic is done, we will uh, have that a comprehensive revision in 15 minutes also. But abhi, abhi ke liye let's start with uh, question 15, 16. Then there is a uh, 17. Then there is a uh, 
18 then acha then that until we start okay acha let's do one thing let's start with the 17 18 and then we'll go upwards pehle 17 18 karte hain let's do this 17 18 first we will do 17 18 Okay. Uh, let's read this guys. Question number uh, 17, 18. Let's take some of uh, those different things. First, now the second we are going for merger of plant. What is a merger of plant? You must have heard about this. Merger means we need to combine the things. That is merger. Maybe FM mein, there is a topic only. Finals mein, mergers and acquisitions. Karke. In India, I don't remember as such. Kahi suna nahi hoga. Mergers and acquisitions means the business ka merger. Hona so now we are saying merger of plants. Let us say we have two classrooms, this classroom and there is one more classroom. Then maybe we thought that instead of taking two batches, let's merge. So we can say there are there is now merger. What is merger? Okay. Now A, B, and C are three different plants. Three different plants. A, B, and C are three different plants. Similar plants, sorry, under the same management. So we have three plants, three factories we can say. And the management is same. Upper management is same. Tino ko dhyan dene wala. Who wants to? Who wants them to be merged for a better operation? And if you want to merge them, we want to merge them. Okay. The details are as follows. The detail of plant A is given. Detail of plant B is given. Details of plant C is given. Okay. Now, if you check capacity operated, it is operating at 100 percent. It is operating at 70 percent. It is operating at 50 percent. First of all. Uh, well, this will make any sense or not just let me know let us say there is plant A there is plant B I am saying at 100% it has 100 students it can sit here at 60% 60 students can sit if I add these two I get 160 this 160 doesn't make any sense instead what I need to do this 60% should be converted to 100 if at 100% how many can sit 100 then if I add these two it will denote something that the merge plant will have a capacity of 200 students. Nice some job. If I say 100 plus 60 to 160, it will not indicate anything because these are different capacities. You need to merge them at same capacities. Or either you will say you take this also at 60. So this will be 60 will 60, 60 is 120, and 120 is what percent at 60 percent capacity. So I can just say one thing when you merge the plants, it should be at what capacity? Same capacity. Then that figure will make sense. Get 80% at 80%. So merge ka 80% value hai or 100 100. I will say easy hai 100 pe leke jao. So it will give you the answer. Merge plant ka final answer at 100% will be this. So now first thing which you need to do is you need to revise this. Revise this. So I can say that first of all. So now if I ask you the values, I think again uh, that you will give me. Uh, if turnover is 280, it is at 70%. Can you give me at 100%? 400. Uh, you know that 280 divided by 70%? Yes, that is 400. So that I don't want now. 210 divided by uh, 70%, that is 300. Are please don't do for fixed cost. Are whether you work at 80%, whether you work at 90%, or whether you work at 70%, fixed cost will remain same. It does not change with change in quantity. From 70 to if you go to 80, still that fixed cost will remain same rent. I have a capacity here, let us say 100 students can sit and I am paying the rent. So out of 100, only 50 are sitting, so I cannot say that 50 ka rent will go. Rent will go full. So the rent to 350, it, it will remain 50 only, otherwise forget this. So no. Achha, here if I just talk about this, so that will double. So how much will this be? 300 and this is 150. That is 50 if I do 100. Karta hai, to. Right now, what is your contribution over here? It is a hundred. Here also it is hundred. Acha, let's take the total sales value first of all. Total sales value: three hundred, four hundred, three hundred. So thousand gonna be your total sales value. What is gonna be total variable cost? Two hundred plus three hundred plus six fifty. So what is gonna be your contribution? Three uh, fifty. This is something that is happening at what level? 100. Can you give me uh, the PV ratio of merge plant? 35%. 35%. Okay. So much sir? 
so i hope uh, abhi tak whatever we discuss is now question mein find out capacity of the merged plant for break even so the break even point ke liye first you need to know the fixed cost of merged plant so what will be the fixed cost of merged plant 70 plus 50 plus 62 kitna 182 that is your fixed cost divided by pv ratio which is 35% to kitna jayega acha they are not asking for break even point now please understand they are asking for capacity of the merged plant for break even acha what is total capacity pe 100% pe mera sales kitna hai 1000 in order to break even i have to make sales of kitna 520 it means in order to break even i have to work at 52% 1000 is my total sales if i work at 100% break even point will be achieved if you, your sales is 520 then dp will be achieved it is like 520 is your sale so 35% so 520 into 35% you will get 182 and you will pay your fixed cost so no profit no loss so sir you have to achieve this sales so you have to work at what capacity 52% out of 1000 uh, 520 pe you have you will achieve bp it means you will achieve 50 it is like this 520 upon 1000 into 100 understood to so 52% chalo you will give me the answer profit at 75% of the capacity pehle ka answer was 52% chalo dusre ka answer profit at 75% capacity of the merged plant ek kitna 80 Point five. Please check everybody. If I work at seventy five percent, what will be my sales, sir? Seventy five percent plus seven fifty will be my sales. So thirty five percent is my PV ratio, right? So seven fifty into thirty five percent. What comes? Two sixty two point five. And my fixed cost is one eighty two. So eighty point five. Hello. Second part answer. Fifty two pay you will achieve BEP and eighty point five pay you will have this profit cut. I mean, eighty point five is answer for second part, right? Paka clear? Everybody, please go for the third part. Turn over for from the merge plan to give unit twenty lakh of profit. How many sales? Twenty lakh. Are you not understanding anything? One second. फिक्स कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट अपॉन पीवी रेशियो याद आता है आई वांट टू ऑन 28 लाख बट बिफोर दैट आई नीड टू मेक अरेंजमेंट 182 इज माय एंड डिवाइड बाय माय पीवी रेशियो इज कितना 35% निकल आता ना तो हां 600 क्लियर होता है ना सो दैट्स इट तो पहला आंसर 52 देन इट इज 80.5 देन इट इज 600 अच्छा तो पहला आंसर 52% Second answer eighty eighty point five and the letters six hundred. Acha one note reference note don't should not be written in examination. The data given in the question is at different percentages of capacity for each plant to merge. We need to convert all plants at uniform capacity. We need to convert that is seven hundred percent. Just for your understanding, if you want to write, otherwise if it is understandable, you can ignore. Students note. Before merging, you need to bring at same capacity, and it is always preferable always bring at hundred. That becomes easy. So uh, I, this much is written. Now let's go ahead. Okay. आगे बढ़ते हैं सुनिए अभी वो भी स्टार्ट विद दिस नाउ कुछ चीजें जो डिस्कस कर लेता है क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 ओके चलो लेट्स आर क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 अगेन थोड़ा दिमाग अच्छा है मतलब काफी अच्छा क्वेश्चन है ऑल क्वेश्चंस आर गुड वी कैन से चलो अभी देखते हैं देखो नाउ यहां पे इट इज ऑल अबाउट शटडाउन पॉइंट अच्छा हियर द ओनली की पॉइंट वाज बिफोर यू मर्ज यू नीड टू ब्रिंग टू यूनिफॉर्म कैपेसिटी और वी कैन से 100% कैपेसिटी दैट इज द ओनली थिंग व्हिच यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड Before you merge, 
just change this capacity to 100 and then merge and do not apply that for fixed cost because it will remain same irrespective of capacity clear okay now let's come to shutdown point Achha. I feel you can easily give me first two answers so I need first two answers pehle pehle answer Achha, thoda sa I think yaha pe uh, kya problem hai mein bata hai. the only thing is sales volume nahi hai ka what sales to wo bas cut kar dena hai what sales must be obtained to break even? Give me the first part ka answer. Chalo dekh kar. Read at your end. Bolo. Two lakh. Second part. Two point seven five. Two lakh seventy five thousand. Dekhiye, is this your answer? Please check. If you don't have to do this, there is some problem with you. You have to get first two answers. You should get. Aya? Two lakh. Sir, let me read. Sir, Mr. X. 2 lakh investment in his business firm. I invested 2 lakh rupees in my business. Okay. I need something in return. He wants 15. Return ka means what bolo? Profit. When I invest in business, I need profit in return. So I need 15% profit. So okay. So I want kitana profit 2 lakh ke upar 15% bolo. 30,000 ka profit I want. Okay. That is what I expect. Okay. In honest money. From the analysis of the recent cost figures, if you analyze the cost figures, cost data, you will understand. He finds out that his variable cost of operating is 60% of sales. Sir, variable cost 60%, it means PV ratio 40%, that is what we understand. His fixed cost is 80,000. Okay, so fixed cost is 80,000. And PV ratio is also that we know. Show computations to answer the following question show computation so whatever answer you are getting show computations calculations also what sales must be achieved to break even the simple break even point for the fixed cost divided by pv ratio which is 80,000 divided by pv ratio so what is the 2 lakh is your answer yes sir what sales must be obtained to get 15 percent return on investment that is to earn 30,000 because 15% that is the 2 lakh you invested on which if you need 15% that is if you need 30,000 ka profit you need to make arrangement for fixed cost first fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio yes, sir. Yes. so 25,000 ha 30,000 plus 25,000 sorry 80,000 plus 30,000 divided by 40% 2 lakh 75 30,000 plus 80,000 fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio so I think first two requirements are quite easy. That is easily manageable. Okay. The reason we are solving this question is so your answer was 2 lakh and 2 lakh 75. Let's cross check. It was but still. See it is 2 lakh and 2 lakh 75. Achha, 2 lakh and 2 lakh 75. Kar ke. Done. Okay. Achha, I just want to tell you that uh, how the exam ka pe uh, paper should be written. So just wait. I will give you an idea. Uh, where is that uh, paper? I need to search. Karke baad mein dekhte chal. Uh, you got first two answers, right? Pehla do answers apne ko aagya. I got first two answers, okay? So first, let's write that part only. Pehle hi likho chal. Then we'll proceed aagya. Question number 18 ka solution. Fixed cost divided by PV ratio note. Variable cost is 60%. So PV ratio 40%, so 80,000 divided by 40%. Then there is a sales value you can check. You need 30,000 return, fixed cost plus profit divided by PV ratio. Okay, so now having done this, uh, third part is thoda sa, thoda thoda complicated. So let's see whether you can answer. You, you only tell me what is your answer and all correct. Even let me calculate the answer. Yes. Okay.
कुछ समझ रहे क्या देखो पहले यू विल हैव टू एक्सप्लेन ओके वंस यू गिव मी द आंसर कि हाउ डिड यू गेट दैट एंड वाई यू फील दैट इज द आंसर करके पैसे वन हाँ वाई बिकॉज रीजन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू कैन हाँ बोलो हाँ अरे एक्सप्लेन ओके राइट बात बट थोड़ा चलो मे बी थोड़ा सही था वैसे चलो लेट्स लेट्स सी दैट अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ अच्छा नाउ वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टेम्पररी शटडाउन एंड नॉट परमानेंट शटडाउन देर इज अ डिफरेंस वन इज टेम्पररी शटडाउन वन इज परमानेंट वी आर नॉट सेइंग परमानेंट व्हाई इफ परमानेंट शटडाउन इट मींस यू वांट टू स्टॉप योर बिजनेस तो एवरी कॉस्ट विल बी जीरो एंटायर कॉस्ट इज जीरो बिकॉज़ नाउ यू हैव यू आर शटिंग डाउन योर बिजनेस बट हियर वी आर सेइंग टेम्पररी शटडाउन व्हाट इज टेम्पररी शटडाउन just for some specific period you want to shut down your business acha if you shut down your business for a specific period uh now so in this case understand example let us say that uh, like when covid came so there were many businesses uh, there were many businesses we can say there was a, for with reference to what there was a temporary shutdown with reference to many businesses let me take example of gym so if i talk about gym so there was some temporary shutdown for a few months or few uh, maybe years we can see when a year there was a temporary shutdown so now understand this so if i say like this whatever fixed cost you have in your business now this fixed cost are divided into two parts one is one is avoidable fixed cost one is unavoidable fixed cost like same happens in your life also there are certain maybe people to whom we want to avoid and these are avoidable and some are like cannot be avoided karke theek hai so now understand this yeah we can say avoidable and unavoidable what is the difference something which you can avoid is avoidable something which you cannot avoid is unavoidable a uh, example gym hai gym ke andar you have 11 months ka agreement and now you have to pay rent now you have to you want to shut down gym for 2 months still you will have to pay the rent because agreement is for 11 months samajh mein aata hai so can i say rent is something which is unavoidable even if you shut down your business for 2 months you have taken that premises for 11 months rent pay so even if you shut down for 2 months temporarily still you will have to pay the rent that is which unavoidable you cannot avoid that rent but if i say trainer ka cost let us say trainer ko you pay salary maybe that trainer is just for name sake ka he will give you the training only when you take personal training okay so now in this case uh now uh maybe we can say let us say there is one trainer a general trainer who will just handle whether everyone is doing barabar se or not okay so now the trainer if i just talk about we can say trainer for the two months ke liye uh we are shutting down to so either we will say to leave and once we start either you come or we will hire someone else that can be done rent is something which you cannot avoid only you have to pay that you have already taken the agreement is there and all karke so i can just say that let us say that this uh, cost which is your uh, which cost i said ki trainer ka cost and other staff also that who is there in the gym karke we we may avoid that cost let us say cleaning wala तो डबी टू मंथ्स के लिए जिम इज क्लोज तो वी डोंट वांट एनी क्लीनिंग ओनली तो क्लीनिंग का कॉस्ट दैट कैन बी अवॉइडेड करके टू मंथ्स के लिए देन वी हैव टू इनकर वंस वी ओपन बट दोस टू मंथ्स के लिए वी डोंट हैव टू इनकर एनीथिंग सो वन कॉस्ट इट इज अ फिक्स कॉस्ट व्हाई इट इज अ फिक्स कॉस्ट व्हाटएवर सैलरी यू गिव टू द ट्रेनर इट इज फिक्स फॉर अ मंथ बेसिस पे इट डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन नंबर ऑफ एडमिशंस इट इज लाइक फैकल्टी का कॉस्ट विल बी फिक्स कॉस्ट इट डजंट मैटर हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर इफ इट इज पेड ऑन फिक्स बेसिस Or maybe it can be per student basis also. But if I say that fixed basis, so it doesn't matter how many students are there. 
that cost will be incurred if there are 50 students or 70 students. So much about that, Thoda. So we can say classes run karna. So if you just uh, classes, let's say generally what happens in Mumbai, I will tell you the idea. There are two batches which runs because there are two attempts, right? So one attempt may there are many students who are there because like they appear for their foundation exam, then they clear and then they join inter. But then there is one more slot which is there. Like there are some students who do not appear for foundation after 12, they take one break, they say I want to enjoy my life and then they appear. Are you understanding what you said? 12 ke baad, I think you have examination in June. So some students say, nahi, let, me, let the result come first, then I will appear in December. So they come to their paper, so they have less kids. So in that case, many classes, they think as if let's not run this batch, that is a temporary shutdown. Let's run only one batch. Just for a few students, let us say 20-25 students, let's not run the batch. They may take a decision. That is known as temporary shutdown. You understand something permanent and temporary? Okay, so now. Achha, so if there is a temporary shutdown, still I have to pay what? Rent. The premise is on rent. But faculty cost, I don't have to. It can be avoided if you don't run a batch. So, so much time? Achha, so now. So now, in this question. Where is that question? Okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, shut down. X Limited anticipates that even if he closed the doors of his business, so if he closes the door, he is shutting down his business, he would incur 25,000 as an expense. Tell me, it is avoidable or unavoidable? Unavoidable. unavoidable. You cannot avoid. Even if you close the business, still you have to pay 25,000. So out of 80,000, I can say 25,000 is unavoidable. You cannot avoid only even by closing the business. But generally when the business was running, you have to pay 80,000 as your fixed cost. But by closing the business, that cost came to 25. So you could avoid or you could avoid this 35,000 by closing the business. So it is avoidable. It can be avoided by closing the business. 35,000. Like trainer ka cost even sir. Thoda samjha? Achha. So if you are taking the decision to temporarily shut down the business, it is for sure you are going to incur loss. Kitna rupee ka loss you are going to incur? 25,000 ka. No revenue, there is no sales, no variable cost, no contribution, but still fixed cost will be 25,000. So 25 ka loss is there. Are you going to understand? Yes. Now if I tell you, if I run the business, like if I run the business, I am okay with 25,000 ka loss. Some difference. Asha, let me understand. Yeah, the loss ka kam hona is also loss. If you reduce the loss, that is also good for you. Asha, if you invest in share market, let us say, you know, from past few days, like it is growing. Matlab, uh, ka sa chal hai, okay? abhi dekho pe. Now, chal, mithi, tum portfolio bata ta tumko, but abhi so now, let us say that yesterday, less, let us say that I was having loss of 20,000. Today, I have loss of 18,000. Still, I am happy. Are because my loss is less? Do you understand? Okay. So, that's it. If I shut down my business, if I shut down my business, uh, if I shut down my business, uh, my loss is 25,000. So, if I run my business, my loss should be 25,000 or less than 25,000. Understand? Or profit. But loss should not be to. If I run my business, my loss should not exceed 25,000. I am okay with 25,000 because in which case I have to pay that 25,000. So, now see, after saying everything, now if I say something like this, sales minus variable cost, contribution minus fixed cost, profit. I am okay with 25,000 ka loss. And if I run the business, what will be my total fixed cost now? 80, right? If you run the business, then 25 will be unavoidable. Wala. Plus, uh, wo avoidable wala. trainer ko you have to hire, then 55 you have to incur. Your cost will be 80. What do you need? Contribution 80 ka nahi. You say 25,000, any which was I was going to incur. You need to record only 25,000. You want only 55,000 in your account. Achha, one more thing, why? I can say like this also. When you are running the business, when the business was shut down, you are paying 25,000. When you are running the business, what is the extra cost which is going out of your pocket? 55. So when you are running the business, what is extra going out of your pocket is only 55. So your objective is to recover that 55. 
क्लियर होता है एंड वट इज द रेशियो इन द क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी परसेंट तो हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर्टी अरे सिक्सटी परसेंट वॉज वेरिएबल कॉज सो इफ आई नीड फोर्टी रुपीज इन माई अकाउंट सेम शुड बी हंड्रेड तो इफ आई नीड फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड इन माई अकाउंट माई सेल्स शुड बी वन लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड दिस शुड बी द आंसर सी आंसर इज राइट दैट्स ओके इफ यू गेट बट द इंटायर थिंकिंग शुड बी दैट कि कहीं से आया सो फॉर दिस द थिंकिंग वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट वैसा थोड़ा थोड़ा समझा कुछ अच्छा सपोज माई सेल्स इज वन लैख अच्छा एम आई मेकिंग एनी प्रॉफिट एट वन थर्टी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड नो आई एम हैविंग लॉस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड स्टिल आई एम ओके बिकॉज दैट आई एनी विच आई एनी विच वेज आई एम गोइंग टू इनकर दैट इवन इफ आई क्लोज डाउन माई बिजनेस सिल दैट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल गो दैट लॉस विल बी देयर अच्छा इफ माई सेल्स इज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग माई सेल्स विल बी वन फोर्टी वॉट शुड आई डू आई शुड रन द बिजनेस बिकॉज वॉट विल कम इन माई पॉकेट इज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू फोर्टी परसेंट फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड विल बी माई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन Minus eighty thousand will be my fixed cost. Still, I am happy because if I shut down my business, I have to incur twenty five thousand ka loss. If I run my business, my loss is only twenty four. So still, it is reduced. It has reduced by one thousand. I am happy with that. तो उनको समझता ही अच्छी. अच्छा, ठीक है. अब, अच्छा, तो एक सेकंड. What What are they asking for? At what sales would he be better off by locking his business up? So, when it is better to lock his business up if the sales is less than one thirty seven five hundred. So, it is better you should lock your business. If the sales are more than this, then you should run the business. And they are asking, at what sales he will be uh, he be better off by locking his business. So, when it is better off for him to lock his business if the sales are lower than this. It is only actually financially I am telling you. The same question is there in CA final. If it comes, you have to write other factors also. Other factors like you may lose your customers because there is a routine. If the, you are not you are shutting down your business for three months, so that fellow will go somewhere else, and once he has that habit, he will go there only. Why will he come here again? Or is some other versa? So then, then if you shut down your business for three months, machinery will have the trust and all that. Okay, so depreciation will be higher. and maybe you have to replace some parts there are many other things which can be returned even once you shut down your business for 3 months it is difficult to hire the workforce again employees will lose that uh, trust in you he can hire me any time karke i said so there are other factors also but at inter level they don't ask in final that entire paragraph is written that employee ka problem then there is a Customer, you will lose the customer machinery. You will get rust and whatever, and everything will be written. But here at inter level, they are asking only financially. So actually, as a businessman, even if I have a chota mota loss, now still I will run the business. I never want to close down because I don't want to go out of market. It is like if I don't. There are many classes. They run this batch, 25 ka. Even it is let us say loss making. Why? Because if I don't run this batch, the students will go somewhere else. And then once they are gone, the new batch will have another batch coming. They will suggest that that is better class curriculum, and they will go there only. And then there is some risk involved. Or even maybe you have observed somewhere or not, but sometimes this happens. If I go to medical store, he I want ten types of medicines. Let us say he has only eight types now. Still he will give me ten types. I will say wait, my other medical sir, let me go. I will send someone else, and he will bring. Because if he does not give me these two medicines, what will happen? I will go somewhere else for those two medicines, and then next time when I want to buy, I will say, "This case doesn't get any. I will not get everything. Let's go there directly." And then I will have a habit. I will go directly there only. But if that fellow makes an arrangement for me, then I will say, "Okay, I get. I'm getting everything from here only." So that routine, even that application is all about it. Before Facebook was famous, then Insta came, and then now Snapchat. Once you have that, once the public is switched, it is difficult to acquire back again. So that. ओके सो डन अंडरस्टूड राइट अच्छा तो अभी किधर गए थे हम बहुत कुछ ज्यादा समझा थे इसको लगता है देखो सुनो आई कैन टेल यू वन फॉर्मूला अदरवाइज अभी एक शॉर्टकट बोल दू ऐसा करने का यू विल गेट द आंसर इफ आई शट माई बिजनेस वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ आई ओपन माई बिजनेस वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट टोटल एटी वॉट इज द एक्स्ट्रा कॉस्ट डिवाइड बाई पी वी रेशो खत्म extra cost to run the business divided by pv ratio i just gave you the entire idea aisa simple ban karne ka chalu karne ka difference cost divided by pv ratio 
this cost is known as uh, uh, total cost. This twenty five thousand is known as unavoidable. You cannot divide this. Even you are shutting down your, you have to incur twenty five. They go. I have bought either be way same. Again, everything is written. What that is a total cost, trailer, and avoidable. And last me, this is the formula. Still, I can. Ah, uh, something if you want to write like still explanation. This is extra. Okay, let's assume. कि दिस इज प्रीमियर का कॉस्ट फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड लेट्स अज्यूम द रेंट इज फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड विच इज अनवर्डेबल लास्ट में द ओनली आंसर विच वी वांट इज दिस तो क्या कर रहे हैं तुमको लिखना है थोड़ा चलो तो देयर आर सम स्टूडेंट्स हु वांट टू राइट सो ओके तो अदर्स कैन मेक अवर रिलैक्सेशन टिल दैट टाइम सो दैट थैंक यू This is the explanation. Please write not to be written in examination. Extra. Otherwise, just remember one card. Make a chalu card. Make a details first. Be aware of PV ratio. So here it is eighty. Just explanation part. Uh, not to be written in exam. You can completely avoid this. Just have that key point. One then chalu ka difference divided by PV ratio. Open minus close divided by cost. Divided by PV ratio. Open ka cost minus close ka cost. Now many people must be having that idea that sir, we have to do one thing. The answer is the requirement that there is twenty five thousand minus upper. No, sometimes they will give you that fifty five thousand in that requirement. अरे हाँ थोड़ा ध्यान से पढ़ने का मेरे साथ. नहीं समझा कुछ तो वो ट्रेनर एक एग्जांपल इस गिवन रेंट इस लाइक अनअवॉइडेबल देन आई हैव सेड कि व्हाट इस द डेफिनेशन जो ट्रेनर को इस आई सेड अनअवॉइडेबल तो कैन बी अवॉइडेड बाय क्लोजिंग द बिजनेस दैट इस अवॉइडेबल रेंट कैन नॉट बी अवॉइडेड बाय क्लोजिंग द बिजनेस तो इट इस If you want to run the business, extra fixed cost to be incurred is fifty five thousand. This much contribution is required. If you want to run the business, extra fixed cost that will go out of your pocket is fifty five. So you want to recover this. That is contribution. This much you want.
Fixed cost AQ open, fixed cost AQ close. Then take the difference of these two, divide by PB ratio. Simple, shut down. If they ask you in units, they will give you contribution per unit. So you have to divide by contribution per unit. Achha, there was one more method, but let's not write that move wala. Okay, 25,000, then we went reverse. I am okay with 25,000 ka loss, so let's go reverse. Ye better is such a formula. Okay, so I hope that much is written, right? Okay, now understand this. Having done this, okay. Uh, okay, uh, question number 16 and uh, then there is a question number 15 to our left right oh, and then I think that entire series is done then okay so uh, 16 and uh, 15 and 16 yeah so, so let's do this 16th wala part first let me explain something before I start with this question some basic idea I would like to give you so just listen to this let us say that there is sales there is variable cost then you guys will get contribution Okay, that's it. That is sufficient. Okay, so take that. Now let's say that uh, your selling price is uh, 10. Your variable cost is 8 and uh, let us say it is 100. It is 80 and it is 20. How many units we want to sell? Let us say 10 units. So tell me, what will be your answer for 10 units? Can I say it will be 100 into 10? It will be 80 into 10. It will be 20 into 10. And you will get 1000. 800 and 200 any doubt in this no sir this is very easy this is your amount this is year 1 ka data now guys you have to get year 2 ka data now i am giving you some changes over here what changes listen to this first your selling price your selling price has increased by uh, let's say 10 percent okay your sales quantity has increased by uh, let's say or reduced by let's say sales quantity I have assumed as this sales quantity is 10 now let's assume as 20% Chal. now can you give me the revised contribution your selling price has increased by 10% your uh, sales quantity has reduced by 20% what is your revised contribution hello then I will explain that कितना ये ये अच्छा वो निकाल लिया कितना एट एट एटी एट एट क्या एट एटी आई नीड दिस 240 let's check there is one quantity and there is one amount so let's check now how many units you are going to sell first of all uh, there is a quantity which is there so okay sales quantity and per unit how many units you are going to sell in next year but not 10 it is reduced by to 8 okay this is 8 into 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 your selling price has increased by what? 10% 10. 10 right so that will become kitna? 100 plus 10% 110 Achha, is there any change in variable cost? that will remain 80 right? so ye any which is it will be a balancing figure let's say chalo so that will remain 20, uh, it is a difference of these two but chalo 180 into 8 that is 880 Achha. 80 into 8 that is Bolo. Bolo, bolo, bolo. Variable cost can change hua? Huh? Quantity. 
हाँ बोलो अरे मतलब आज ना हो ऐसा नहीं इफ क्वांटिटी रिड्यूस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट विल नॉट रिड्यूस वाई विल इट रिड्यूस टोटल विल रिड्यूस ना पक्का तुमको समझा ये अच्छा नाउ देर इज अ शॉर्टकट हाउ यू कैन डू इफ एनी टाइम दे गिव मी आंसर सेल्स वेन इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड इट वॉट आई विल डू इज देर आर टू इफेक्ट वन इज क्वांटिटी का इफेक्ट वन इज किस का इफेक्ट पर यूनिट का इफ क्वांटिटी का इफेक्ट इज देर दैट इफेक्ट विल बी गिवन टू सेल्स एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट बोथ और ओनली सेल्स बोथ अरे इफ सेल्स इंक्रीज इफ क्वांटिटी इंक्रीजेज सेल्स वैल्यू विल इंक्रीज इवन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विल इंक्रीज ना यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस मोर तो टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विल इंक्रीज इफ क्वांटिटी रिड्यूसेज टोटल सेल्स विल रिड्यूस टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विल ऑल्सो रिड्यूस तुमको समझता ही है देखो ना एक तो अच्छा कह रहे दिस तो ये अगर टेन ट्वेंटी परसेंट से कम हो रहा है माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट क्वान्टिटी इज रिड्यूसिंग बोथ विल रिड्यूस इन टोटैलिटी पक्का या पक्का नाउ सेलिंग प्राइस हैज इंक्रीज बाई टेन परसेंट इफेक्ट विल बी गिवन ओनली हियर टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज प्लस नो इफेक्ट इन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट बिकॉज इट इज सेट सेलिंग प्राइस हैज इंक्रीज नाउ इफ आई टेक ऑन द कैलकुलेटर टेक वन थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्लस टेन परसेंट एट एट नाउ डोंट डू प्लस टेन परसेंट नेट करके नहीं वैसे नहीं करने का अच्छा यू कैन डू ऐसा भी थाउजेंड प्लस टेन परसेंट माइनस ट्वेंटी स्टिल यू विल गेट सेम आंसर अगर थाउजेंड प्लस टेन परसेंट माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट तुमको समझता ये इधर कितना हो जाएगा एट हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी परसेंट दैट इज एज क्वालिटी हैज रिड्यूस तो टोटल में वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विल ऑल्सो रिड्यूस टोटल में क्लियर विद दिस अच्छा चलो जस्ट वन एग्जांपल टू गिव यू द आइडिया चलो यहाँ पे लेट्स लेट्स से से दैट दैट दिस योर सेलिंग प्राइस इज योर सेल्स वैल्यू इज अ टेन थाउजेंड योर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज एट थाउजेंड ओके इट इज सेड सेलिंग प्राइस हैज इंक्रीज बाय टेन परसेंट क्वांटिटी हैज इंक्रीज बाई ट्वेंटी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इंक्रीज बाय थर्टी परसेंट आई नीड फाइनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन चलो देखते हैं आई नीड फाइनल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन बोलो टू थाउजेंड अरे टू थाउजेंड इधर वाला नहीं अरे मतलब आफ्टर चेंजेस हा वन सॉरी नहीं समझा नहीं बोलो तो क्या हुआ अभी अभी समझा है ना अरे एक सेकेंड शर्ट अभी समझा है ना इसीलिए तो शॉर्टकट अरे इट इज लाइक इफ सेलिंग प्राइस क्वालिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग बाई ट्वेंटी तो एवरी कॉस्ट एंड इवन सेल्स विल इंक्रीज बाई ट्वेंटी इफ सेलिंग प्राइस इज इंक्रीजिंग तो प्लस टेन परसेंट और वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इंक्रीजिंग तो प्लस और अभी यही समझा है ना कि विदाउट क्वालिटी यू कैन गेट द आंसर डिरेक्टली आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड विदाउट क्वालिटी यू कैन गेट द आंसर वॉट एवर इज द क्वालिटी लेटेस्ट इट इज हंड्रेड तो नाउ इट विल बी वन ट्वेंटी तो कॉस्ट विल अकॉर्डिंगली इंक्रीज एंड सेल्स वैल्यू विल ऑल्सो अकॉर्डिंगली इंक्रीज यू डोंट वॉन्ट क्वान्टिटी ओनली सो टेन थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्लस टेन परसेंट डोंट डू थर्टी परसेंट डायरेक्टली देन इट इज एट थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्लस थर्टी परसेंट वन टू फोर जीरो माइनस सेवन ट्वेंटी पक्का क्लियर है Okay after break we will solve a question based on this okay so let's take the break that's it for the day thank you. that's it hamesha pata nahi sorry okay to theek hai to understood this let's do this question now so no if i uh, give you the chalo let's read this question number 16 let's read the profit for the year of rj limited works out to kitna 12.5% of capital employed अच्छा वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल एम्प्लॉइड फोर लैक 
कैन यू टेल मी द प्रॉफिट विच कंपनी मस्ट बी एक्सपेक्टिंग ऑन दैट तो फोर लैक इंटू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट दैट इज दैट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस मच प्रॉफिट करके ओके माई सेल्स इज गिवेन माई डायरेक्ट मेटर डायरेक्ट गिव ऑल थ्री आर विच कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ओके That is three lakh ninety, and this is five lakh. So, acha there is one thing which you can get. What? Fix. This is selling price. This is variable cost. If I subtract eight lakh, sorry, eight lakh. Guys, so sorry, five lakh. One lakh ten thousand. Is your contribution still you want only fifty thousand? So sixty thousand should be your. समझा इवन दो योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वॉज वन लैक टेन थाउजेंड यू हॉन्ट ओनली फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एज फोर्टी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एज योर प्रॉफिट सो यू मस्ट हैव पेड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड का फिक्स कॉस्ट ये क्लियर है डिफरेंस वाला डन द न्यू सेल्स मैनेजर हु हैज ज्वाइंट द कंपनी रिसेंटली देर इज न्यू सेल्स मैनेजर हु हैज ज्वाइन एस्टिमेट्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट ऑन Capital employed. Okay, that we will see. Provided, who says that I will give you twenty three. You are expecting only twelve point five. I will give you twenty three percent on capital employed. But you have to listen to me. What sales volume? The volume of sales is increased by ten percent because of this. Do you understand? It is five lakh. It is three lakh ninety thousand. So plus plus. If sales volume increases, your sales will increase and volume increases. You have to produce more units. Your cost will also increase. इन टोटल टोटल में क्लियर है ना ये साइमल्टेनियसली देर इज इंक्रीज इन द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ फोर परसेंट तो प्लस फोर परसेंट दिस इज सेल्स वैल्यू फॉलो हाँ एंड ओवरऑल कॉस्ट रिडक्शन ओवरऑल मतलब एवरी कॉस्ट विल रिड्यूस इन ऑल एलिमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट बाई टू परसेंट सो इवन ऑल में ओवरऑल ऑल एलिमेंट मतलब वेरिएबल ऑल्सो एंड फिक्स ऑल्सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओवरऑल बोले तो वेरिएबल एंड फिक्स And when all the elements, we have to these three, everything. So every will, everything will reduce by two percent. So minus two percent. तुम को समझ सही क्या किया? या नहीं? By increasing the quality, your cost should increase. But because there is reduction in cost, your cost will reduce by two percent. Then five lakh plus ten percent plus four percent. Five lakh seventy-two thousand. Three ninety plus ten percent. It should increase. But sir, cost has reduced by two percent. So Four twenty, four twenty. One one five. Acha, what is your fixed cost? Sixty thousand. It will also reduce by two percent. Why? Overall. Hello, samajhta hai na? So sixty thousand minus two percent. That will be fifty eight. Subtract this. समझा क्या यू आर गेटिंग दिस मच मनी तो कितना परसेंट ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉइड नाइन टू इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वॉट इज द प्रोमिस विच इज गिवेन 23 परसेंट इज ही फुलफिलिंग द प्रोमिस ही सिंग यस ये हो जाएगा तो फाइंड आउट द बाई कंप्यूटिंग इन डिटेल द कॉस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर दिस इज इन डिटेल कॉस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट एंड वेदर द प्रपोजल ऑफ द सेल्स मैनेजर शुड बी अडॉप्टेड यस बिकॉज ही इज कमिटिंग ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट एंड वी आर गेटिंग मोर देन दैट ओनली पक्का That shortcut should be clear to you. देखो first I wrote this, ये 390 दिनों को add करके then I said quantity change होगा तो both में effect होएगा. Still if any clarification you want I will explain again. बोलो. कुछ भी ऐसा मन में है तो कि नहीं sir I did not get this point. Please explain.
Okay, so this is done. I think only one question is left. Uh, then that part will be done. Okay, understand this now. Okay, let's go to this question now. Uh, here, uh, that is uh, question number fifteen. Okay, and then entire marginal is done except for that last part. Okay. So, chalo, dekhte hai. What is there? Uh, okay. Chalo, let's see. Okay. Uh, now, an automobile uh, co manufacturing uh, company uh, produces uh, different models of cars. Okay. So we manufacture cars. Okay. Uh, the budget in respect of model uh, 007 uh, for the month of March 2x9 is as under. So some data we have now. Okay. Now. Budgeted output. Understand this. Uh, simple. We are car manufacturing company model 007 and how many units we are planning to sell? 40,000. Then there is rupees in lakhs. So everything is in lakhs. Okay. Net realization. It is 2,10,000 which is in lakhs. So if you want to calculate cost of selling price of one car. Can you give me the selling price of one car? 2,10,000 divided by 40,000. That is in lakhs. Into one lakh. That is 5,25,000. One car is sold for 5,25,000. This is total value. Hello. Samashta hai na? Yes. So let's get this. So can I say, now this is 5 point. Uh, hai. Then there is a, this is your sales value. Then this is your variable cost. If you just take the total variable cost cost 79,200, 15,600 plus 37,200. That is this. So this is your variable cost, this is your selling price, okay, watch it. There is one more thing, fixed cost, this is your fixed cost, AK specific and another one is allocated. If you know the difference well and good, if you don't know, take it, no problem, at the end it is a cost for me. I said, do you know the difference between specific and allocated? No sir, no idea. Achha, chalo, dekho. Suppose, 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 this is, let us say that there are four classrooms and the rent is paid uh, different, like uh, alak, separately. So rent of this is, let us say that uh, 20,000, rent of this is 20,000, rent of this is 40,000, rent of this is 30,000. So this is which fixed cost? Specific fixed cost, right? Now, whatever students who are there, there is one parking zone and this parking zone ka we have to pay here car rent also let us say there is a cafeteria everybody will come everybody will eat and then everybody will leave and study kar ke waisa. so now this cafeteria ka i have to pay rent this rent is common for all four classrooms so i will allocate on some suitable basis maybe based on number of students or whatever it is samjha tumko so it is allocated fixed cost and then it is a cost and it is like ki, iska fixed cost is let us iska rent is 1 lakh rupiah yahan pe there are 20 students yahan pe it is 40 students based on that that cost will be allocated fixed cost samajh sa hai na so one is and even if you don't get anything it is my cost simple baat hai to cost hai to cost so cost my fixed cost is kitna 60750 so you know your selling sales value you know your variable cost you know your uh, fixed cost now what they have done once I take total of these two, once I take total of these two, the cost which I will get will be which cost? Total cost. If I add 1,32,000 plus 6,0,7,5,0, so that is going to be it now. 1,92,750. And sir, this is my total cost. If I subtract it from where? Sales value, which is written again, sales value. Then I get this profit. Get not uh, 1,7,2,5,0. First of all, is this statement clear? First of all, what is written in this table? Karke? Everything is in total, huh? please understand. It is not per unit, it is a total values which are there, a total column. It is. Okay, now calculate profit with 10%. So, give me the first part answer based on this. Let's see. Some shortcut I have told you, or some long cut, whatever you use, I need answer. Shortcut, long cut, I then I need answer. Let's see. Profit. With 
10% increase in selling price and 10% reduction in sales volume तुमको पहले ये स्टेटमेंट समझ में आता है ये क्या किया है सेल्स माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विच इज 132 तो यू गॉट 78000 का कंट्रीब्यूशन माइनस फिक्स कॉस्ट तो यू गॉट दिस प्रॉफिट राइट नाउ व्हाट हैज इंक्रीज 10% इंक्रीज इन तो इट इज क्वांटिटी एंड पर यूनिट तो पर यूनिट तो सेलिंग प्राइस इज इंक्रीज बाय 10% एंड 10% रिडक्शन इन सेल्स वॉल्यूम तो माइनस 10% ओनली फॉर सेल्स या और एक जगह पे आएगा वेरिएबल के लिए भी आएगा ना अरे because sir if quality reduces total variable cost will also reduce so, clear है पता ही है तो it is two zero seven nine double zero one lakh रेटो minus ten percent which is one one double eight double zero so eighty nine one hundred and nothing is mentioned about fixed cost right कितना 28350 हाँ देखो क्या है कुछ डाउट है बोलो कुछ क्वांटिटी में एनी डाउट कि कोई नहीं क्लियर है सी ये इफेक्ट क्वालिटी का अच्छा ऐसा मत करना डोंट डू दिस कि नेट इफेक्ट इज जीरो करके नहीं यू हैव टू गिव दैट इफेक्ट प्लस टेन माइनस टेन करके हाँ ओके सो प्लीज क्वालिटी का इफेक्ट इन बोथ द साइड्स it is like again I will explain कि भाई तुम ice cream खाते हैं तो एक ice cream ten rupees का you bought five ice creams तो cost will be fifty but if you buy seven ice cream तो cost will be seventy तो as quantity increases cost will also increase variable वाला अच्छा क्यों twenty eight कितना आंसर आया था two fifty this is shortcut otherwise there is a long cut also the long cut is like this कि you will get those units and you will increase only those units and all करके ये ठीक है ये समझने का इच्छा है ये समझ गया तो ठीक है ऐसा है ना clear with this अच्छा सुनो there is one more thing second part का आंसर चलो volume to be achieved to maintain the original profit अच्छा to maintain the original profit बोले तो one seven two five zero Volume मतलब what are they asking sales quantity कितना total sales कितना चलो फोड़ो अच्छा now this are separate questions this को don't read now you will see this कि how many units you will have to sell to maintain the same profit after ten percent rise in the material cost at originally budgeted selling price originally मतलब whatever price was here what volume you will have to achieve How many units you have to sell? Volume, what is written? In order to achieve the same profit, there are two changes. There is one change. Material cost has increased by 10 percent. Kita answer hai ga? 40. Ye na 44, 5, 21. Yehi bola tha na? Alag? answer is samjhata let me explain then okay acha mujhe batao what is your selling price first of all what is your selling price 5.25 5 
अच्छा आई थिंक वी हैव डिस्कस दैट शॉर्टकट ना टू गेट दैट सी पी यू आई विल टेक टू लैक टेन थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी थाउजेंड फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव देन सेवेंटी नाइन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन एट देन फिफ्टीन सिक्स हंड्रेड दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री नाइन एंड देन थर्टी सेवन टू हंड्रेड योर कॉस्ट पर इट विल बी दिस मटेरियल का लेबर का ओवर हेड का राइट दे हैव सेट वन थिंग वट हैज इंक्रीज टेन परसेंट राइज इन मटेरियल कॉस्ट सो मटेरियल कॉस्ट डोंट गिव इफेक्ट इन टोटेलिटी हेलो तुमने टोटल में इफेक्ट दिया था क्या अरे समझो ना ये टोटल वैल्यू है राइट तुम कंफ्यूजन है क्या उसके अंदर अभी वॉल्यूम तो आई वॉज नॉट अवेयर ओनली ना वेन यू आर गेटिंग दैट आंसर यू आर सींग की लेट से प्लस टेन परसेंट यू आर ऑजिंग सेम वॉल्यूम अरे बट आई डोंट इट इज एक्चुअली क्वान्टिटी इन टू वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट राइट तो वेरिएबल कॉस्ट का इफेक्ट यू गिव दैट टेन परसेंट बट सर यू डू यू नो द क्वान्टिटी यू डोंट नो द क्वान्टिटी दैट इज वॉट दे आर आस्किंग एंड यू आर ऑजिंग सेम क्वान्टिटी इन दैट केस अरे पता नहीं तुमको क्या समझा समझा कुछ या नहीं वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वेन दिस से तो इंक्रीज पर यूनिट बेसिस पे या तो बेटर है वन पॉइंट नाइन एट प्लस टेन परसेंट वट इज यूर रिवाइज कॉस्ट टू पॉइंट वन सेवन एट दिस इज पॉइंट थ्री नाइन दिस इज पॉइंट नाइन थ्री एट दिस दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट दिस इज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट वट इज यूर सेलिंग प्राइस नो चेंज फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव This is known as revised contribution per unit. One unit will give you this much contribution now. And you want कितना contribution? If I tell you, that is this fixed cost plus profit. You want to earn budgeted selling price is same, and you want to maintain the original profit. That is one seven two five zero plus profit plus fixed cost, which is six zero divided by one point seven five two. That is fixed cost plus profit. Divided by contribution per unit, you want one seven two five zero ka profit plus six zero seven five zero. You need to make arrangement for fixed cost seventy eight thousand. You want and every unit will fetch you. It is everything is in lakhs. So seventy eight thousand you want divided by one point seven five is two is your contribution. Four four five twenty one. I think you are getting confused with this. Ki ye kab add karne ka ya ya. There is a shortcut also to get that revised contribution. Original contri अच्छा ये मत लिखो तुम, because हमने original contribution भी हम not calculated 1.95, तो don't write that. मतलब we did not go for this, right? ये वाला अपने नहीं किया तो. बोलो any doubt, any confusion you can ask, please. First अच्छा that is also pending, okay. हेडिंग 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 स्टेटमेंट शोइंग प्रॉफिट दैट वाज़ द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ़ द क्वेश्चन व्हाट एवर इज़ द रिक्वायरमेंट दैट बिकम्स योर हेडिंग सो रिक्वायरमेंट का फर्स्ट का रिक्वायरमेंट वाज़ गेट द प्रॉफिट राइट ओनली दिस This was there in it is from question only if you check two lakh ten thousand का sales value variable cost का total was one thirty two पूछना तो पूछो नहीं सर अभी जाने का है
Here we go. This is done. We'll meet and we'll complete that absorption. Entire marginal is done. We can say except for like absorption wala part, last part. Okay, done. Okay, uh, last. <coughs> Let's start with the last segment of marginal cosine, uh, which is uh, absorption versus marginal. I taught you as to what is marginal cosine, but as of now we are not done with one chapter, which is which chapter overheads. But still. We have learned something about this overheads in standard costing fixed overheads wala part. So I will give you that idea. Then we will start with this. Understand? <coughs> Tell me in your business, when do you decide selling price? On the first day or on the last day? First day, you have to decide the selling price, na? Your fees is told to you on the first day, right? Or after completion of the portion, on very first day it is told. Okay? So if you want selling price on first day. You want selling price on first day. What you want on first day is your cost per unit and your profit per unit. After adding this, you will get selling price per unit. Acha, calculation of profit is not that difficult. Company can estimate. Company wants 10 percent profit, 20 percent profit, and all. Karke. Lekin, sir, what you need to do is what you need to calculate is cost per unit. Acha, cost can be broadly divided into two categories. One is variable cost. One is fixed cost. Achha, if I talk about variable cost, how do you incur it? It is incurred in totality or it is incurred on unit basis? As you produce it will be incurred like number of ice creams, like ice cream ka cost. So it is, as you buy number of ice creams, you have to pay that. Karke, but fixed cost like rent, it is paid in totality. Whether you produce 1, 2, 10, doesn't matter. Rent will remain same. Textbook ka cost is on unit basis. Textbook, as number of students increases, that cost will be incurred. So it is Achha, is it difficult to calculate textbook ka cost per student? No. We just did it for printing. So what was the cost per student? We can easily get that, right? But if I say rent, so how much rent classes are bearing just for one student? That is quite difficult to calculate. Or because it is no, I need fixed cost per unit. But what I have is fixed cost in total. Fixed cost is paid in total, right? So we need to convert that fixed cost of total in fixed cost per unit how you gonna do one example was taken let us say we have sandwich ka business where my cost is 100 rupees per day and i am expecting to sell how many units 50 isko bolte hai budgeted overhead on very first day I, it is like even in factory or uh, fixed overheads mein, we have written particulars budget then actual then oudh that is overheads units karke aisa kuch yaad ho to theek hai yeah, so as of now, I can say 100, unit, 100 rupees I have paid. I want to recover this from customer. I will expect as to how many units I am going to sell, budgeted units. So I have planned, I will sell kitna units 50. So for every unit sold, you will recover kitna rupee ka rent? 2 rupees. When you say it is 2 rupees, are you actually paying 2 rupees per unit? No. You are recovering 2 rupees per student or per, pe per sandwich we can sell. Same way, when you are sitting here, is, are they recovering rent from you? Yes, every cost is recovered. So they will make an estimation, this much is rent, this many students, so per student, kitna vagra, then they will have some thing in mind, okay, this is my cost. Samajta hai aapko? So this is how it is recovered. So 2 rupees fixed cost may added, variable cost added, cost plus profit added, and it becomes what you are? Selling price. But now, first of all, you have decided that you gonna recover 2 rupees as in when you sell 1 unit okay of with reference to this rent is it necessary will exactly sell 50 units no so much time let us say you sold 45 units what is the amount that you have recovered from the customer or absorbed from the customer 90 when you sell 1 unit you have decided you will recover 2 rupees per this is known as recovery rate or this is also known as absorption rate one unit is absorbing that much so much time. So now here it is at 90 rupees per cap. This is what absorbed. You have recovered this much. 45 units you sold. Every unit you have recovered 2 rupees. Achha, you paid kitna? 100. So 10 ka under absorption. Why it is under absorption? Absorption is only 90. And payment is 100. So recovery is less. 10 rupees sir. Thoda thoda samajh ta. Achha, we will discuss this everything in detail when we do one chapter which name is Overheads karke. Okay, but as of now I gave you the basic introduction so that we can start with this question. Okay, let's have a look as to what data they have provided. Wonder Limited manufactures a single product. 
जेस्ट द फॉलोइंग फिगर्स आर रिलेटेड टू जेस्ट फॉर द वन ईयर पीरियड सिंपल है सो देर इज वन कंपनी एंड द डेटा इज गिवन फॉर वन ईयर अच्छा क्वाइट अंडरस्टैंडेबल डेटा If you work at 50%, so you produce 400 units. So if you work at 100%, you will produce 800. Double the capacity, double the units. Okay, your sales value is 8 lakh. So here it will be. Even if it is not given, you can make it if you understand. Okay, your variable cost is 320. Here it will be 640. That is into two, into two, into two. Because once you double the capacity, every cost will. Okay, except for fixed cost. Fixed cost is not dependent upon units. It is like rent. Whether 50 students are there or 100, that rent will remain same. So that will remain कितना 160. अच्छा, this is variable cost selling का. It is like you can say packing का cost. तो you used to pack 400 units, so the cost was 160. Now you have to pack 800 units. तो your cost will be कितना 3 lakh 20 double हो जाएगा. Sir, fixed cost तो it will remain same. अच्छा, कहने से everything will get doubled except what fixed cost. That is the conclusion I can say. Otherwise, this table will be provided in the question. It is given in the question. Now, here if you read, the normal level of activity for the year is 800. So tell me, on very first day, what have you decided? You decided to produce 400 or 800? Normally, you produce 800. So that is what you have decided. Okay. Now you have to apply absorption costing for this production over its wala part. Maybe in detail you will learn when you start chapter over it. But just again, I think that is still manageable. If I tell you 160,000 is my cost, I want to calculate one recovery rate or absorption rate. So what will I say? Sir, I want to recover 160,000 and on very first day I am thinking to produce kitna 800. So I have decided in my selling price 200 rupees will be for fixed overheads. तुमको समझता है डेट इस हाउ इट विल बी रिकवर्ड कितना 200 रुपीस विल बी और अब्सोर्प्शन रेट समझ रहा है ना फिर बेटना सर फिक्स कॉस्ट आर इनकर्ड इवनली थ्रू आउट द ईयर इवनली का मतलब इफ आई से 160 तो इट इज इक्वल फॉर एवरी मंथ इफ आई डिवाइड बाय इफ आई डू तो दैट एवरी मंथ का व्हाटेवर इज योर Budget it. It means I thought that I will get how much I will get 160 and actually I have incurred how much I will get 160 only. There is no change in that. There were no stock of zest at the beginning of the year. There is no opening stock. Now let's see how much cost sheet you guys have come. Read this part and tell me the closing stock. In the first quarter, sir, 220 units were produced and 160 units were sold. 60. What will you say? You will make account like this. There is opening stock, there is closing stock, there is quantity produced, there is quantity sold. So sir, op <coughs> opening stock to nil bola. At the beginning there were no stock. Sir, I produced kitna 220. Out of 220 I sold 160. So 220 I produced, usme se 160 I sold. So what remains with me is 60. This table, is it clear? Yes, this working is very much clear. Okay. That is this. Still, I will make this in rough over here. Here, yeah, okay. Opening then. Production 220. Sold 160. This indicates closing as a. Uh, uh, 60. Done. Okay. Now, again. Acha, tell me first of all, this closing stock is at the end of the year or at the end of the quarter? Because in the first quarter, so the actual data, the estimation was for one year, but as of now, when we are solving this question, it is not at the year end, it is at the quarter end. Please understand when you are solving this question, you are not at the year end, it is after first quarter. So what has happened in that one quarter that we are going to see? Compute, fixed production, Acha production bula gaya hai. When this production bulega to dekho ye, fixed production. Cost absorbed by Zest Limited if absorption costing is used. So if you use absorption costing, what will be your answer? Production cost ka, which will be absorbed. So no. what is your absorption rate? Bata do mujhe. <coughs> 200, you said ki sir, 160,000 ka cost I want to recover. I am planning to produce and sell 800 in one year. So as and when I produce and sell, I will recover kitna? 200 rupees. Mujhe bata, in the first quarter, I hope you understand in the first quarter how many units. 
how many actual units are there? 220 units you have produced. So, so 220 units you have produced. So what is the amount that you are going to recover on the units you have absorbed? So, 200 rupees into 220, 40, 44,000 was absorbed. So, as I produce one unit, I record 200 rupees in my books of account as it is recovered. Karke. Production is done, it means that is recovered. I will say because it will be sold and then it will be recovered later on. So I can see if 220 units are produced, so what is the amount that I have written in my books of account? 44,000. What is the actual payment that I have done? 160 was budgeted and there was one sentence. Budgeted overheads are equal to actual overhead. So I must have incurred actually 160. But this is for one year. This is for one quarter. So one quarter ka case nikalega divided by four. Samajta hai so I can see that, sir, absorbed overheads are 44,000 and what I have paid out of my pocket is 44. So 4,000 will be over absorption. Why it is over? Because the absorbed value is higher. And it's same discussion we did in even standard costing. If you remember a little bit, particulars, budget, actual, overheads, units. Tell me on very first day, what are you planning? You are planning to produce and sell how many units? 800 so 800 right but this is for one year and then how many uh, what is the words that you are thinking one lakh so if you divide though you will get one rate that is 200 that is recovery rate as I added the format thoda thoda Achha, now but actually is for what actually is for one quarter so you need to revise this budget it should be for one quarter then it is comparable Okay, what I thought in one quarter and what has happened? So first of all, this is going to be 40,000 40, and this is going to be 800 divided by 4. 200 I should have produced. What has actually happened? Actually, what is your cost? Budget is equal to actual. I have actually got 40 only because it was mentioned in the question budget overheads are equal to actual overheads. But I have produced kitna? 20. Now what will I say? I will say like this. 200 rupees I recover 220 units I have produced so far based on these units I have recovered kitna and what I have paid is 40 so this is recovered and this is paid so 40,000 is paid or I can say this is recorded let's say recorded <coughs> see other way around I can say like this my cost was this much and I thought 800 units are there so as and when I produce one unit I will record 200 rupees in my books of accounts so as I produce 220 I have recorded 44,000 but I have actually paid kitna only 40. The 4000 is under record. Oh, sorry, over recorded. Absorbed or we can say recorded. So you have recorded 4000 extra. Only 4000 went out of your pocket. But you have recorded kitna 44 karke absorbed ya to in books of account. Clear hai itna? Achha, ye wala part abhi nahi ka because we are not done with over it. So supplementary vagra. But I will explain later on only. Abhi isko kathi kar deta. Zorat bhi nahi hai iske. Pehle, yahan tak part is this clear? So first copy this much, then we'll see ahead. <coughs> okay. Even you can write this working somewhere if you want. Oh, opening, Kaki opening is not there, production. Huh? 60 actually. So you can write down this if you want. Opening was not there, sir. You produce 220. Quantity details, we can say. Quantity details. Yes. 
अंडरस्टैंड दिस हैविंग डन दिस इतना होने के बाद सो वी आर डन विद दिस पार्ट देन देर इज अंडर ऑब्जॉर्बेशन वी आर डन विद टेल मी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इनकम इफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन वट इज आस्क इज फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट वॉज कैलकुलेट वॉट अंडर और ओवर रिकवरी ऑफ ओवर हेड्स और अंडर और ओवर ऑब्जॉर्बेशन बोथ मीन्स सेम आइर यू विल से रिकवरी और यू विल से ऑब्जॉर्बेशन करके ओके नाउ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ पार्ट दैट इज प्रॉफिट यूजिंग विच कॉस्टिंग ऑब्जॉर्बेशन एंड प्रॉफिट यूजिंग मार्जिनल प्रॉफिट यूजिंग ऑब्जॉर्बेशन मतलब नॉर्मल कॉस्ट शीट इन प्रॉफिट यूजिंग मार्जिनल मतलब मार्जिन वाला कॉस्ट विच इज सेल्स माइनस वेरिएबल कॉस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वैसा लेट्स मेक द नॉर्मल कॉस्ट शीट इट मीन्स इन ऑब्जॉर्बेशन वाले में इट विल हैपन वॉट सेल्स माइनस कॉस्ट यू विल गेट प्रॉफिट दैट्स इट देन यू विल मेक दट एंटायर कॉस्ट शीट कॉस्टिंग ये कॉस्ट निकालने के लिए अच्छा कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द सेल्स अमाउंट दैट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड सेल्स अमाउंट How many units you have sold at the end of first quarter? We are at the end of first quarter. Can you give me the sales value? Yes. Now, what is your selling price? Sixteen lakh is your sales value for eight hundred units. So one unit is giving you two thousand rupees ka selling price. So four into one sixty ke liye kitna three lakh. So. Please write down three lakh twenty thousand. Aage ka we will discuss. Don't write this. I'll just write working note. Sixteen lakh divided by eight hundred. You will get selling price of one unit. And you have sold how many units at the quarter one? The end. You have sold one sixty units in the market. So what is the sales that will be there? It is three lakh twenty thousand. Now I need what? I need cost of this one sixty units. I have sales value of one sixty units. That is one sixty into. I think 2000 or whatever it was. Now I need cost. For that matter, I will make cost sheet. We cost sheet. Thoda thoda yar ho ga. Let's see. Just let me know. I got this as to my selling price was two thousand a unit ka, and I sold one sixty units. What now? What I want is what is my cost of this one sixty unit? That is cost of sales. Whatever I have sold, what is the cost of that? I am gonna make the cost sheet. So cost sheet start with starts with what? Direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. If you understand the cost sheet, thoda sa if I just want to revise. Sir, we will start with direct material, direct labor. Direct expenses, prime cost. Add what? Factory overhead. But it will give you gross factory cost. Add and less WIP and opening less closing WIP. You will get net factory cost. Then uh, after who is there? Uh, beside uh, or outside factory? Q wrap. Q who is doing wrap, which is scrap. So quality control, research and development, administration connected with production. Then primary packing, and then minus scrap. You will get one answer, which is cost of production. What you produce finished goods. So this is produce what is sold. So add opening stock of finished goods, less closing stock of finished goods. You get COGS. And at the time of sale, you will incur administration and selling and distribution. General wala. Total cost, which is cost of sales plus profit sales. So yada tay thoda thoda. फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी डिड दिस अगर आपको याद हो तो बहुत टाइम हो गया है इट वाज अराउंड मे तो 27 और 28 मई इट वाज तो पता नहीं अभी आपको याद होगा कि नहीं 
बट वी डिड दिस वैसे ओके सुनो सुनो अच्छा तो नाउ मैं क्या बोलता हूँ सुनो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट दिस गाइज हैव डन ये जो कॉस्ट है ना आपका ये वाला कॉस्ट ये वाला दो कॉस्ट ये पूरा एक सेकेंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज नॉट देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन डब्ल्यू ई पी इज नॉट देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज नॉट देयर क्यूर एप इज नॉट मैं नहीं वे क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड ऑल करके सो कैन एस नाउ फॉर सी ओ पी इवन दिस विल बिकम यूर सी ओ पी और आई कैन सी इवन दिस विल बिकम यूर सी ओ पी बिकॉज नथिंग इज मैं अच्छा इफ दिस इज यूर सी ओ पी दिस इंटायर कॉस्ट दे हैव नॉट गिवन एलिमेंट वाइज इट इज गिवन बिहेवियर वाइज समथिंग इज वेरिएबल एंड समथिंग इज फिक्स दैट इज हाउ दे हैव गिवन फिक्स प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट दिस इज कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड दिस प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट इज गिवन लाइक दिस वेरिएबल एंड फिक्स अच्छा एज ए वेरिएबल कितना रुपया बताओ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट बोलो वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट हेलो एट हंड्रेड सर सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड इज माई कॉस्ट पर एट हंड्रेड यूनिट वन यूनिट का एट हंड्रेड अच्छा यू विल इनकर दिस प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट वेन यू प्रोड्यूस और वेन यू सेल वेन यू प्रोड्यूस तो हाउ मेनी यूनिट यू हाउ प्रोड्यूस टू ट्वेंटी सो इन टू टू ट्वेंटी वन लैख सेवेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड क्लियर है पहला अच्छा सर आफ्टर वेरिएबल प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट व्हाट कम्स फिक्स प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट इट इज कितना इट इज ऑलरेडी ऑब्जॉर्ब वी आर गोइंग फॉर ऑब्जॉर्बशन कॉस्टिंग इट इज ऑलरेडी ऑब्जॉर्ब एंड इट इज ऑब्जॉर्ब एट व्हाट अमाउंट 44000 एज एन व्हेन यू प्रोड्यूस दैट यूनिट देन वी सेड की वी रिकॉर्ड दिस मच वी रिकॉर्ड दिस मच 200 रुपीस ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट इट डिसाइडेड कि 1 लाख 60 माय एक्सपेंस फॉर 800 यूनिट्स तो पर 1 यूनिट 200 रुपीस so as i produced to 20 i must have recorded 44000 clear hai itna so if i take the total i will get total cost this total cost is for how many units to lakh sorry 220 units which we have produced now is there any opening stock no there is no opening stock it was mentioned but do we have closing stock yes. how many units 60 can you give me the value of this it was uh, taught you in reconciliation and cost sheet mein Okay, sir. You will say, sir, this two lakh twenty thousand is the cost of how many units? Two twenty. Once you do this, you will get cost of one unit. It is like two lakh twenty I spent for. Yaar, aata hai na? Yes, sir. So one unit ka one thousand. If one unit is there in my goodon, value will be one thousand. But I have how many units? Sixty. So the value will be sixty thousand. So, acha. Then I can say that into sixty. Then what is COG? Is good sold one sixty. And what is the value of that? It is one lakh sixty thousand. See, it is as good as this. Two twenty units you have produced. That is known as production. What is the cost of that? Which is cost of production? Then one sixty units you have sold. Out of two twenty sixty is in still closing stock. So you sold one sixty. That is good sold. What is the cost of that? One lakh sixty thousand. Acha. But this is with now. COGS के बाद क्या आएगा? This is production cost. Whatever goods you have sold. To produce that you have incurred this cost. But there are other costs also like admin and selling and distribution. Which cost is there in this question? Selling and distribution. Yes. How about before going for that, you need to make one adjustment. But whatever answer you have calculated, while doing that, there are different treatments. I say I follows one of them. But different treatments I will tell you when we go for overhead. But as of now, like there were three treatments. But I said अभी के लिए दिमाग मत खराब करो. Don't. Use your brain as of now for this. I can just say one thing. While getting this answer now, you have written forty-four thousand. But at the year end, you came to know the cost is not forty-four thousand. Actually, what you have spent, whatever whatever was budgeted, you have actually spent. What was budgeted one lakh sixty in one year, and that is spent. So in one quarter, what you must have spent divided by four. Are one lakh sixty divided by four? So you must have spent how much? So your books of account. Should be divided by 40 only because we have not spent 40 for you have spent only 40. But it is writing 44, so you need to subtract that whatever extra you have written, you need to subtract. Adjustment will be done to this cost. C O G S. Samjha? Yes, sir. Acha. Clear hai na? So now tell me there is is there any other cost? Yes. Selling and distribution ka kitna cost aayega? Dekho. You will say like this. Your cost is three lakh twenty thousand for eight hundred units. 
समझता है क्यों टू लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड वॉज योर वन ईयर एंड वी आर डूइंग दिस एवरीथिंग फॉर वन क्वार्टर तो दैट इज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एंड देन आफ्टर एडिंग दिस वन सिक्सटी इज माय कॉस्ट आई आई हैव सब्ट्रैक्टेड फॉर व्हिच वाज एक्स्ट्रा रिकॉर्डेड तो वन सिक्सटी माइनस फोर दैट प्लस सिक्सटी फॉर प्लस सिक्सटी कितना टू लैख एटी थाउजेंड इज योर कॉस्ट दैट विल बी रिटर्न वेयर ऊपर एंड देन यू सब्ट्रैक्ट टू यू गेट आंसर समझता है अच्छा तूने यहाँ तक यहाँ तक कॉपी इट वाज डन ना यू नीड टू कॉपी फ्रॉम हियर आई थिंक थोड़ा पानी वगैरह पी लो सब लोग नींद आता रहेगा ना खाना खाने के बाद हमेशा नहीं है तो तुम लोग तो Understand this. Now, what are they asking in the question? Please check. The one was profit as per absorption. The another one is profit as per marginal. When you say marginal, please be ready with this format. We will try to fill it up. Give us. format like this sales minus variable cost you get contribution minus fixed cost you get profit अच्छा 
already produced or sold sold so when you subtract variable cost also this variable cost should also be of how many units quantity sold ka samajhta hai tumko that comparison like whatever units you have sold that is the value generated whatever units you have sold what is the variable cost of that there is a shortcut but we don't have to use that what is the shortcut first understand this tell me what is your total variable cost it is a can i see this and this is variable so 9 lakh this cost is for how many units what i want for how many which are sold no One lakh ninety. Yes, sir. So one lakh ninety two thousand. But this is now. This is not how I C A I solves. I will tell you the how they solves. But I gave you the shortcut. You add the variable cost. Sales value is of one sixty. You want profit, so you have to subtract cost of one sixty. So variable cost will be this. Total you added. It was of eight hundred. So divide by eight hundred. Total cost you got then divide by eight hundred. Then into one sixty you did. I just know what is your fixed cost. Is this? This is for how many units? Eight hundred. I repeat that doesn't matter. It is not based on units. It is based on period. It is for one year. So what is for one quarter? One lakh. You will add these two. It is for one year. Then divide it by four. So one quarter ka you will get. It is not it. Fixed cost. Is it dependent upon product? No. It is dependent upon period duration. Rent. How many months? So here, up. Can I say how much? You have said one lakh, right? So that is subtracted. You got twenty-eight. So you write this. Then you will get this. One ninety-two detail. Me, how is it? You will understand how did you get this one ninety-two in detail. Shortcut was like this. Shortcut was like this. Six uh, forty plus three twenty. Divided by this is for 800 units, and I want for 160. And here, 160 and how much? 240. Entire value will be divided by four quarters. What is it? You does not solve in this way. They have they go in detail. We will always make that solution only. This is just for your understanding shortcut. Now how they solve? They say now when we make cost sheet, in cost sheet we will consider only which cost variable, because fixed cost अलग से आएगा इधर. It will be shown different, अलग से different. अब मैं भी तो मैं भी distinguish this. We gonna present this first. I need to get my variable cost. Tell me what is my variable cost during the year? Production cost. One seven six. कहाँ से from where will you copy the earlier cost sheet? Then after variable cost, what was there in the cost sheet? Fixed cost. Ignore. Why ignore? Because you will write fixed cost differently. Alag se. Yaha pe. Separately. So after fixed cost, what is there? Cost of production. So this itself is production cost. Do you understand? Arey dekho. Main kya bolta hu? When you switch na, so yaha pe everything will remain same. It will remain same. Only fixed cost you will cut. So fixed cost cut. So score over under absorption cut. Rather say we fix cost cut because this fix cost will be shown separately below contribution. Clear? So I have shown this cost sheet which is 176. After that it is not there. So this becomes my variable cost of production. कितना one lakh seventy six. Can you give me the value if it is one seventy six? What is the value of closing stock? This one seventy six का stock cost is for how many units? बताओ. Two twenty I have produced. उसमें से how many are in stock? Closing sixty. वो ट्रायल वाले अब वो बनाया था ना ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट जीरो वो दें टू ट्वेंटी वैसा तो वन फोर्टी सॉरी फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड
कितना आएगा वन लैक दिस इज वेरिएबल सी ओ जी एस इन वाइल सेलिंग यू विल एड वन मोर कॉस्ट सेलिंग कॉस्ट यू विल एड ओनली विच पार्ट वेरिएबल फिक्स विल बी शोन सेपरेटली ओनली कॉपी फ्रॉम देयर अर्लियर स्टेटमेंट कितना है वो सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड टोटल इज वन नाइनटी टू दैट इज हाउ यू विल राइट आई गेव यू शॉर्टकट ऑल्सो देखो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू राइट दिस इज शॉर्टकट जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंड बट एग्जाम में यही लिखने का इट इज रिकमेंडेड ओके वंस यू राइट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट यू नीड टू मेक वर्किंग फॉर व्हाट फिक्स कॉस्ट आल्सो ये डोंट राइट दिस एक्स्ट्रा इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न ऊपर वो दोनों को ऐड करके दिस कॉस्ट इज फॉर 800 तो फिर 160 के लिए कितना सो वंस इट इज मार्जिनल का दिस नाउ लास्ट में यू कैन शो दिस फिक्स कॉस्ट द क्वेश्चन में फिक्स कॉस्ट देयर आर टू कॉस्ट दीज आर फॉर वन ईयर आई नीड ओनली फॉर वन क्वार्टर बिकॉज़ ओनली वन क्वार्टर का डाटा इज देयर तो डिवाइड बाय 4 यू विल गेट वन क्वार्टर का Only write this much. ये डोंट राइट अगेन अरे बाप रे ये नहीं लिखने का था पर अच्छा सुनो नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव डन वन मोर चैप्टर ऑन एज रिकंसिलिएशन सो सर्टेन एलिमेंट्स आर रिकॉर्डेड बाय फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटेंट बट नॉट बाय कॉस्ट अकाउंटेंट नोशनल कॉस्ट इज रिकॉर्डेड ओनली बाय कॉस्ट देयर आर सर्टेन व्हिच आर रिकॉर्डेड बाय बोथ बट एट डिफरेंट अमाउंट्स डो सो करके डेप्रिसिएशन ओवर हेड्स स्टॉक अदर अच्छा याद है ऐसा चलो तो सुनो भी नाउ कैन आई से द प्रॉफिट एज पर मार्जिनल एंड प्रॉफिट एज पर ऑब्जॉर्बेशन इज इट सेम और इट इज डिफरेंट इट इज डिफरेंट राइट इधर प्रॉफिट कितना है ऑब्जॉर्बेशन वाला फोर्टी और इधर कितना है तो एक जगह पे प्रॉफिट इज फोर्टी विच इज ऑब्जॉर्बेशन में एंड मार्जिनल में प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी एट वॉट कैन बी द रीजन वॉट कैन बी द रीजन अच्छा अंडरस्टैंड दिस In absorption costing, stock is valued at total cost, which is variable plus fix. In absorption costing, your stock is valued at total cost, addition of these two. And in marginal costing, closing stock is valued at marginal cost, which you can see only variable cost. Hello. Samjha ye sentence. So now can I say the only difference between these two is stock valuation? Otherwise, everything is same. Every expense is there. Expense is here also. Expense is there also. Here I have written fixed cost. Here have view of fixed cost. Up and up. Everything is there. The only difference is stock valuation. Tell me, my stock is here. How much absorption will be? Okay. One more sentence. Stock under absorption will always be higher as compared to marginal. 
because stock under absorption will include variable plus fix and stock under marginal is only variable so absorption where there is one extra element of fix which is added now you understand चलो वैल्यूज देखो इधर वैल्यू कितना है प्रोजेक्ट स्टॉक का ये अब्जॉर्प्शन वाला है एंड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू अंडर मार्जिनल कॉस्ट है प्रोजेक्ट स्टॉक 48 मुझे बताओ बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस ट्रांजैक्शन हुज प्रॉफिट विल इंक्रीज अब्जॉर्प्शन का कि मार्जिनल का अब्जॉर्प्शन का भाई दिस इज क्लोजिंग स्टॉक सो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक हायर रिकॉर्डेड बाय अब्जॉर्प्शन वाला so both profit should tally because absorption wala has recorded 12000 extra so you understand 12000 extra so because of that absorption ka profit will increase now suppose if i start with absorption costing and if i want to go to marginal i have to reduce 12000 it is like if i give you my answer is 40000 and if i say i want marginal ka profit so i need to subtract 12000 why 12000 because it is 60 recorded here it is recorded kitna 48 तो बिकॉज़ अच्छा ये रिकंसिलेशन में किया था अब्जॉर्प्शन शुड बी इक्वल टू मार्जिनल बट अब्जॉर्प्शन वाला हैज रिकॉर्डेड 12000 एक्स्ट्रा बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट अब्जॉर्प्शन का प्रॉफिट व्हाट विल हैपन टू अब्जॉर्प्शन का प्रॉफिट इट विल इंक्रीज 12000 ज्यादा लिखा है इसने क्लोजिंग स्टॉक तो इट विल इंक्रीज मतलब इट विल गो अप इफ आई स्टार्ट विद अब्जॉर्प्शन का प्रॉफिट एंड इफ आई वांट टू गेट मार्जिनल का प्रॉफिट आई नीड टू सब्सक्राइब 12000 आई विल गेट द आंसर समझते हैं या तो यहाँ पे जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस फॉर्मेट ऑलवेज ये प्रॉफिट एज पर ऑब्जॉर्शन कॉस्टिंग प्लस डिफरेंस इन ओपनिंग स्टॉक सर वाई ऑलवेज प्लस डिफरेंस इन ओपनिंग स्टॉक मुझे बताओ जनरली हुज स्टॉक विल बी हायर ऑब्जॉर्शन और मार्जिनल ऑब्जॉर्शन बिकॉज इट विल हैव ऑब्जॉर्ब फिक्स ओवर इट्स ऑल्सो हियर ओनली मार्जिनल ओवर इट्स आर देयर सो नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज विथ स्टॉक नाउ ओपनिंग ओपनिंग स्टॉक कम्स ऑन विथ साइड डेबिट सो इफ ऑब्जॉर्प्शन हैज रिकॉर्डेड हायर स्टॉक तो ऑब्जॉर्प्शन का प्रॉफिट विल रिड्यूस नाउ बिकॉज ओपनिंग स्टॉक आई एम सेइंग डेबिट साइड ज्यादा रिकॉर्डेड सो इफ आई वांट टू गो टू मार्जिनल आई विल हैव टू अदरवाइज यू कैन बाय एट वन थिंग यू शुड ऑलवेज ऐड ओपनिंग स्टॉक एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज सब्सक्राइब क्लोजिंग सो दैट वी नो तो ऑब्जॉर्प्शन प्लस ओपनिंग प्लस क्लोजिंग यू विल गेट मार्जिनल लिखो इतना it is extra it was not asked it will be asked in the next question so i just gave you an idea the format will remain same profit as per absorption plus difference in opening stock minus difference in closing stock reconciliation may be have done in detail logic and all karke this is finance book this is costing books by sir even i explain now also Let's go with the similar question now. Ekdam ditto similar question now. You will be say like, "Ha, sir, abhi practice ho raha hai karke baisa." So there is one more question which is uh, almost similar. Then we are done with this topic. So now pay attention to this. Acha, I give you some time. Uh, do one thing. Uh, let's uh, read these first. Uh, these parts. Then tell me quantity. Uh, opening stock quantity please give me opening stock quantity question number 31 read these two lines 10000 easy we can say sir production is 160000 
in the year just ended 30th june the production was 160 and the sales were sir 150000 closing inventory is 20000 so it is 170 170 and this is going to be kitna 10 it was easy yes just make this then we'll proceed ahead just make this format details of finished goods opening stock was not given we need to calculate done so first of all let's read the question question number 3 now there are 11 part we done We are done with this two lines, which was relevant part for us as of now. Okay, now let's read. Sir, X Y Z Limited has production capacity of two lakh units. Normal capacity utilization is. So tell me, you are planning for how many units on very first day? When you say normally you produce ninety percent, what law? One lakh eighty. You must be thinking that less produce one eighty than it is normal. Okay. Standard variable cost is. Production cost is 11. This is standard variable production cost. Take 11. Fixed cost is how much? 3 lakh 60 thousand. Can you calculate absorption rate? Two rupees. Do you understand? Because 3 lakh 60 thousand is your cost, and you are planning to produce how many units? One sixty. So you you will decide. Jab jab I produce one unit, I will record two rupees in my accounts. Correct. Absorb two rupees in my accounts. Variable selling cost is three rupees per unit. एंड फिक्स सेलिंग कॉस्ट इज कितना टू लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड पर ईयर अच्छा तो एवरी थिंग इज ईयर ओनली यहाँ पे एंड इवन दिस इज वॉट ईयर एंडेड सो वी आर मेकिंग वी आर मेकिंग ऑल द कैलकुलेशन वेन एट दॉटर एंड और ईयर एंड ईयर एंड इन दर क्वेश्चन इट वॉज क्वार्टर एंड सो वी सेट ओनली वन क्वार्टर का एवरी थिंग नाउ इट इज फॉर एंटायर ईयर सर द प्रोडक्शन वॉज दिस वी वी हैव रिटर्न दिस अच्छा टर्मी यू सेड Sir, so on very first day, I am planning to spend one lakh sixty thousand ka fixed overheads production ka, and I am planning to produce one lakh eighty because I am planning to work at ninety percent of capacity. So first day, but to get selling price, we have to calculate this rate recovery rate, which is two. It was decided when you produce one unit, you will record two rupees in your books of account. It is fixed cost ka part. It is not paid; it is recorded and recovered, paid in totality. समझ तक आगे मुझे बताओ कितना रुपया तुमने रिकवर किया रहेगा हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू हैव एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस तो तुमको समझ में आता है तुमने वन सिक्सटी मतलब कितना रिकवर किया रहेगा थ्री लैख एंड इट क्वेश्चन इज साइलेंट क्या नहीं सी जितना आपने सोचा रहेगा व्हाट एवर यू हैव थॉट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव स्पेंड एंड व्हाट अबाउट यू हैव थॉट ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे टू स्पेंड थ्री सिक्सटी ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे So if you think nothing is mentioned, you must have spent 360. So you should have recorded 360, right? You recorded only get na 320. Or this is absorbed amount. Absorbed amount is less, so this is known as under absorption, which is 40,000. Budgeted units 3 lakh 60. Or uh, you are expecting to incur 3 lakh 60. On very first day, you are planning to work at 90%. So you are planning 180 units to 2 rupees per unit. You actually produced how much? 160. That is given in the question. So you must have recorded 320. And nothing is mentioned. So whatever have you budgeted, you have budgeted that is paid. It was specifically mentioned in the earlier question that whatever you budget that is paid. But here nothing is mentioned. That assumption will be there. Assume same.
what minus what if you want to calculate profit as per absorption sales minus cost okay can you give me the sales ka value here some red sentence is written actual cost wagera but sales ka value kitna batao are selling price is 20 right and how many units you have uh, sold 150 ना तो सेल्स वैल्यू विल बी कितना 30 लाख तो व्हाट आई नीड इज 150 का कॉस्ट दैट दैट्स व्हाई आई विल मेक द कॉस्ट इट अब्सॉर्प्शन वाला देखो सो नाउ इफ आई गो अहेड इट्स लाइक दिस व्हाट इज समथिंग दैट आई डोंट नो तो आई नीड टू मेक द कॉस्ट One lakh fifty thousand I have sold. So into twenty, every unit was sold for twenty. Nothing is mentioned. So whatever was planned, you sold at that price, which is twenty. Now you want one lakh fifty thousand ka cost, and you will make cost sheet for that cost of sales. So whatever goods you have sold, what is the cost? There is a high possibility you will get uh, first answer wrong. So please uh, give me this answer. Variable cost ka. What will be your actual variable cost? Production uh, variable production cost. वेरिएबल प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट नाइन सेवेंटीन अरे देखो वेरिएबल कितना कॉस्ट है प्रोडक्शन का इलेवन है राइट सो व्हाट यू विल डू व्हेन यू इनकर दिस कॉस्ट व्हेन यू एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस सो हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू हैव प्रोड्यूस सो सर इलेवन इनटू वन लैक सिक्सटी वन लैक सेवेंटीन लैक सिक्सटी What is 17 that 60 is which cost standard? And then there is one sentence that we will ignore. The actual variable production cost for the year were 35,000 higher than standard. So whatever cost you got is standard. That should be your cost. You need to add 35,000. Everybody will forget that, and then it will match your answer. Both answer will tally then. Both answer galat ho jayega. Both dono ka samajhta. Kitna hai ka? 17 lakh 95,000. So I know that you will forget this. So please highlight this for thirty-five thousand because it is given. Alaksha, the only thing which is given is this. Alaksha, otherwise every cost will be same as budgeted. So in reality, you have not incurred this. This plus thirty-five thousand because actual cost is thirty-five thousand higher. They have said. What will be your fixed cost? That is already calculated absorbed basis pe. Three lakh twenty. That is two into one lakh sixty. Kar ke. That is the three lakh twenty. Two rupees per unit rate was calculated into one lakh sixty thousand. It was already done. Still, if you want to show the working, two into one lakh sixty. Absorbed wala. You have that working upper. Here it is 11 into 160 plus 35,000 higher. Aye, khatcha. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
मन है ये अच्छा मुझे बताओ दिस इज नोन एज कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन दिस इज नोन एज योर कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ये डू वी हैव ओपनिंग स्टॉक इन दिस क्वेश्चन ये अच्छा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन ऑब्जॉर्बेशन कॉस्टिंग यू विल वैल्यू ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट और टोटल कॉस्ट इन ऑब्जॉर्बेशन कॉस्टिंग यू विल वैल्यू योर ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एट अ टोटल कॉस्ट और ओनली वेरिएबल कॉस्ट टोटल कॉस्ट दैट इज व्हाई इट इज दैट ऑब्जॉर्बेशन दैट इज व्हाट वी क्लोजिंग स्टॉक आल्सो ऑब्जॉर्ब फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट एंड ओपनिंग स्टॉक आल्सो ऑब्जॉर्ब फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट so now how you will get the opening stock of value sir have they mentioned anything i just know the quantity how many units are there 10 this opening stock is there on first day correct say what will be the variable cost 11 that we know on very first day 11 do we know the fixed cost also on first day yes that absorption ka rate ek unit ka kitna hai samajhta hai so you will value it at kitna 30 and how many units are there 10,000. Can you value the closing stock? Batao, kya karoge? Ye wala cost hai, ye 160 units ka hai. This cost is for 160 units. So this cost is for 160 units. So for 20,000 ka kitna, which is my closing stock. Hello. Arey yeh toh we have been in cost it also. Yeh samajhte kya ye? 2 la, 21 la, 15,000 is the cost for 160. So I will get one unit ka cost. Whatever is left in my business is out of this 160 only at the end. So this is one unit ka value. So 20,000 ka kitna? Clear? And then if you take the difference, you will get what? COGS. Ah, after COGS, what will come? Something will come. Selling and distribution. One set. Or sheet ke format mein agar aap dekhoge. Ah, kitna likho? अच्छा कैन यू टेल मी सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के अंदर वेरिएबल का कॉस्ट कितना फोर लैख फिफ्टी वॉट विल यू डू यू विल से सर सेलिंग कॉस्ट इज थ्री रुपीज इन टू हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू हैव सोल्ड दैट इज वन फिफ्टी तो थ्री ये फोर लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड सेलिंग कॉस्ट कितना है आपका टू सेवेंटी सो देन यू विल अच्छा वन एडजस्टमेंट विच यू आर सपोज टू मेक बिफोर यू गो प्रोसीड अ हेड Uh, you can make at the end also, but that's okay. Under absorption, you understand what under absorption means? You should have recorded how much value. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, 320. But you have re- sorry, you have recorded 320, but you should record 360 to 40,000 less recorded. You need to add that. So then it will come to this. They going to have to add.
डन Now is this done? Now we have to calculate profit as per what? Marginal, sales minus variable cost, contribution minus fixed cost, profit. Tell me, sales value, कितना रहेगा? अच्छा पहले पहले sorry, whatever cost you got, you need to copy this over here. Subtract this, you will get absorption का profit. Hello. Absorption का cost, once you subtract, you will get this profit. Now. What will be the sales value? Tell me after this, what will be the sales value over here? Marginal, it is still 30 lakhs only, na? Yes, what you need to calculate is now? Variable cost. Variable two cost will come. One factory guy is there, one selling guy is there. Achha, this sales value is of which quantity? Quantity sold. The variable cost should also be of quantity sold. So, either you can directly do, but we need to make that cost sheet because the institute generally does that. I can say I will make this format, please make this format, then we will go one by one. Profit as per marginal, uh, you can say sales, same question, uh, here. sales minus variable cost, you will get contribution, minus fixed cost, you will get profit. Done. Now, now we need to make the entire cost sheet again. This cost of sales wala, but except excluding what hit source, so the, because it will be shown separately. So, what is your cost? Seventeen lakh ninety-five thousand. This is your first cost. See, you can check. Acha, please, yaha pe pehle dhyan do this. So then you will do what? Once this is done, there is no fixed cost. So this will become your COP. Now we will value what opening stock. Opening stock will be valued at what total cost or variable cost? Variable because it is marginal cost, it will show separately fixed only that is 11 pay valuation will be done. That is 11 into what? 10,000. So much time to get that is 1,10,000. Okay, this is so how will you value closing stock also? So this cost is for how many units? 160. And how many units are there in closing? 20. Are you understanding? Having subtracted that, you will get variable COGS. Then once you get this COGS, this under that effect will not come. Fixed cost, this fixed cost will also not come. Only this, which is kidna? 450. Having done this, you will get this value. And this variable cost will be written over here. 
subtracting that he will get uh, contribution tell me what will be the amount of fixed cost what is your actual fixed cost you will say what is your actual fixed cost 360 if you check this your actual fixed cost is kitna 360 and it will be kitna 270 तो कितना हो जाएगा बताओ टोटल 360 प्लस टू सेवेंटी सिक्स थर्टी सब्सक्राइटेड दैट यू विल गेट द प्रॉफिट सो राइट ऑन अकॉर्डिंग पिक्चर अच्छा क्या हुआ कोई कंफ्यूजन कोई डाउट है तो पूछो इफ एनी डाउट आस्क मी दर एंटायर स्टेटमेंट इज सेम ओनली थिंग इज यू विल मेक द कॉस्ट शीट बट वाई मेकिंग द कॉस्ट शीट यू विल रिमूव द फिक्स कॉस्ट बिकॉज इट विल बी शोन सेपरेटली एनी वन योर स्टॉक विल बी वैल्यूड एट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इन मार्जिनल कॉस्ट है Okay, so. Hmm. Take a second. You got this right. What is your selling and distribution ka cost? Four lakh fifty thousand. Four lakh fifty thousand. But this is already at quality sold. But this is our quality produce. So for only this, we have to divide by. This is the see. Otherwise, don't do that. That is better. Why is that? See. In earlier question, first of all, there was no increase decrease. Second thing, there was no opening stock. In this question, see what I want. Whatever quantity I have sold, I want to know cost of that. How many units I have sold? One lakh fifty thousand. Right? So I need cost of one fifty. I can give you one fifty is bifurcated into two parts. Ten thousand units are from opening stock. And one lakh forty are from current year का production. समझाइए. First you will sell opening stock ना. So you will have to first get this ten thousand का what is the cost? It is going to be ten thousand into eleven. And here for this one lakh forty thousand, it is going to be you will say seventeen lakh ninety five thousand is the cost for one lakh sixty. तो वन फोर्टी का कितना बट इट विल ये बेटर है यू डोंट हैव टू डू डू दैट बट कर चलो कितना आता वन लैख टेन प्लस दस वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई वेर इज है फिफ्टीन It should be this, no? Are you took this one ten, right? Yes. This is one sixty ka. This is twenty thousand ka. So one sixty minus twenty thousand, you will get one forty ka answer. Ah, yes. so this is better, better. So, ये लिखो. हाँ इसके बाद ब्रेक भी मिलते हैं दिमाग में ऐसे खराब हो गया रहेगा देखो इफ आई टेल यू टू मेक रिकन्सिलेशन स्टेटमेंट हेलो एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस वन वॉज ऑब्जॉर्शन का प्रॉफिट सेकेंड वन वॉज दिस प्रॉफिट कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंस 
Tell me what will you do? You will start with absorption. Then difference in opening stock will be added, and difference in closing stock will be subtracted. Copy. Direct. क्या कुछ बाकी है लिखना If the question is based on absorption versus margin, what you have to do first of all? You always have to make first this working opening stock, quantity produced, then uh, sales, and then you will say closing stock. Something uh, there will be one of the element which will not be given. That can be the balancing figure. It can be opening stock. It can be anything. Having done this, now you need two things. एक तो you want absorption का profit and you need किसका profit? Marginal का. अच्छा. When you need absorption का profit, first of all, what is the format I can tell you? It is uh, sales minus uh, cost, you get profit. Here it will be sales minus variable cost, you get contribution minus fixed cost, you get profit. ये clear है? Yes. To get this cost, you have to make cost sheet. Again, to get this cost, you have to make cost sheet. Bravo. To make this cost sheet, here it will be variable cost plus fixed cost. Which one? Production वाला. Having added this, you will get which cost? Total cost of production. In the total cost of production, you will add what? Opening stock of finished goods, if it is there, minus closing stock of finished goods. This finished goods ka valuation will be done at what? Variable plus fix, which is this. Understood? Achha, then you will get COGS. Then before that, you need to adjust. There will be some under or over absorption. How you will get this? So you will calculate one rate, which is budgeted overhead. What was your expense which you thought on very first day? Divided by budgeted units. On very first day, we were thinking to produce like one lakh units. We were thinking to produce how many units? Fifty thousand. So it was how much? Two. This is known as recovery rate or absorption rate. Into how many uh, units you have actually produced? Let us say you have actually produced forty-five thousand. Actual production is this forty-five thousand into two. That will come from here. Actual production. The bit sir. So that is forty-five thousand. So you will record how much? Ninety. And if nothing is given, whatever you thought you spent, you spent how much? One lakh. So sir, you recovered, you recorded ninety thousand, and you paid how much? One lakh. So it is known as ten thousand under recorded. You have recorded only ninety thousand over here. Hello. So you need to record extra ten thousand over adjustment. So much time. Then you will record selling and distribution, variable and fixed, and it will be based on quantity sold. And then you will get total cost. So much time. That will be written over here. And then you will get this profit. These sales you will copy. Now you will make this entire cost sheet except what removing fixed cost. That entire fixed cost will be shown separately over here. That is actual fixed cost that too. Then you will see variable. So variable cost of production. Add opening stock. Of, fixed cost is not there. So add opening stock of finished goods less closing stock. It will be valued at which cost? Variable. You will get COGS. After COGS you will add what? The selling and distribution. Only which part? Variable. You will get total value, which will be recorded. Then you will get the profit. Then you will say profit as per absorption plus difference in opening stock minus difference in closing stock. You will get profit as per marginal. That's it. So yeah, once you do uh, overhead for a chapter, maybe in detail you will understand what is this absorption and all that. But still, you got the point. Now, so we are done with the marginal costing a chapter over here.